We're in, baby. Janice, you just did five gift subs before we even before we even turned the cam on. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Thee in there, also a nine monther. Big day, big day. I know you got a submission, Mr. Thee. Chuan Heap uh just gifted a sub. Roaming's a seven monther. Heaps of Ram is a seven monther. We're in, baby. Cal Plops a five monther. Congratulations on the game jam. Yeah, huge congrats to everybody. Astro Turnips a ten monther. Okay, so we got great news and bad news. The great news is that there are twenty three submissions to the game jam. The bad news is that means we cannot play through the entirety of all of them. Most likely. <laughs> That's like, it is l like four times as much as I thought we would have. Four times as many games. Uh, I have extended the judgment period through the weekend. Pick it up again on Friday. Maybe we do something like that. I was expecting like eight. Yeah, yeah. So we have 23 entries. Uh, so many, so many. So we're, we're going to, we'll have to like pace it out. What happened while I was playing some of these games is I'll get into a soft lock, meaning I'll fall off a map and cannot get back. <laughs> uh, things like that. Uh, uh, sometimes like some, just some dialogue won't appear and the game will end. I think if that happens in a game we're playing, we just got to move on. I think that that'll be that kind of rule. Um, write it up. I will write up the bug and send it in. Um, I believe that the way the rules are for the game jam are right now, you can update your game um, if if you would like to. But uh, harsh but fair. Yeah, uh, we got so many to go through. And so... Uh, hopefully the games we're playing, people will be in chat to represent them. There are some games that I got stuck on. There are some games that I can't get to run. Uh, so hopefully we can get some help with that stuff too. There's one game I could not get to run. Everything else I can get running on the PC. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Hopefully this will go smoothly. It's, incre there's, it's incredibly exciting. There's so much good stuff. Tomb Gifts, too much good stuff. Um... If there's a uh, there's some incredible you're gonna see some incredible games there's definitely a strong element of chat in many of these games um in in the best possible ways and in the worst possible ways 
Uh, I got to catch up on more subs and resubs that just popped in. Um, Join Heap did another gift sub. Uncle Biz is a seven-monther. Let's play some video games. Heck yeah. Deficient Monkey's a 10-monther. Nervous. Hope you enjoy the game. Uh, Casey is a nine-monther. Totally forgot to resub. Not a not a problem. <laughs> Brancho Broly did a gift sub. Uh, Neil Dutta is a six-monther. And Sarah Demoness is a 10-monther. Okay. Um... Before we do anything, and as I hear my coffee brew, I would like to go over all of the characters and basically the essential rules of this game jam. Um, 2.0, thanks for being a six-monther. Been busy applying for a new job the past few weeks. Excellent. And actually signed for a great job today. Congratulations. Starting in two weeks, missed Kyle and chat the past weeks. Glad to be here for the jam. Nice, two dots. And obviously, huge congrats on landing a big job, Aruni. When I get I get emotionally excited when someone says that in chat. <laughs> I think I've been there, man. It's 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 like the worst. It's the worst looking for a job. Okay. Bruce D goes to game jam. Here's what happened. We as a chat and streamer created eight pretend video game characters for a, for a pretend fighting game. The purpose of the game jam was to create a prequel game for one of those eight characters. A game in which we learn to appreciate how this character originated or learned a new move or something. We get a greater appreciation for one of these eight characters who will go on to be a fighting game character <laughs> in a, a pretend fighting game called Bruised Egos. Uh, uh, sorry, I missed, uh, uh t hyperactive cyber sloth is a seven monther and then two dots just gifted 10 gift subs. Thanks two dots. Did all eight get games? No. So Izzle, small ego. Oh, the idea, the concept of bruised egos is that characters would have a high or low ego that would affect how they, uh, how the battles play out in the fighting game. Izzel is a popular character. I believe we have five or six Izzel entries. Um, the small ego pirate owl. You'll notice the the abs, <laughs> which are definitely accentuated in this coloring. <laughs> uh, every every person a participant chose really whether to accentuate them or not. Uh, but it is fun to see, you'll see most of the people kind of stuck with the concept art of these drawings. Um, Ultra Mint, a little girl who summons monsters with her valuable trading card collection to fight in her place. Uh, with low self-esteem, she will, uh, will be only be, she will only be able to summon weak cards. Um, I forgot I named this thing Dog Bower until I started playing these games. It really is just Doug Bowser with two without the U and the S. <laughs> that creature's name is just Dog Bower. Um, we got a lot of Ultra Mint submissions as well. Oh, by the way, I guess I should make it clear. What happened was is Chat would we would have had a raffle, and Chat would submit basically um, a brief explanation of what the fighting game character would be, and then I would draw that character, and then. We would name that character. Um, Alexandria, a small ego, undead warrior, ashamed of her defeat. She proudly embraces, embraces her skeletal form with high self-esteem. So this is what she looks like normally because she's so ashamed that she died. She hates having to live like this, but in high self-esteem mode, she's like, I'm cool with being a skeleton. We got a lot of Alexandria submissions. Bulgy Muscles. A big ego clown who loves his own jokes, but primarily fights. Please note, he's not actually wearing a shirt under his jacket. He's very ripped. He's got a six-pack. His makeup fades with low self-esteem. We have one bulgy muscle submission. And only one. <laughs> Baz Tech, thanks for being a four-monther. Really excited to see these Game Jam games. I didn't get to finish my entry in time, uh, unfortunately, but I did add some screenshots for the little I did manage. Well, let me grab that then. Maybe we'll have time for it, Baztec. Bro! Well, hold up. Let's just see if I can do this real quick. 
real quick. We're doing this live. Look at this stuff. You did it in the Digimon World style. Nice dark shippy doos. Cool. And there's dog dog bower. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Scratch Ballista, low ego reluctant fighter who just has a natural build for this kind of thing, gains good posture and flowing hair with self-esteem. The analogy was uh, how sometimes if you're just a tall kid in high school, the coach wants you on the basketball team, whether you like basketball or not. Uh, Scratch Ballista has one game. Samurai SJL, thanks for being a four-monther, and Riot Donkey, thanks for being a nine-monther. Executive Cobra, big ego businesswoman who uses her wealth for strength, purchases and equips bulkier, slower mechanical armor with low self-esteem. So for most of these, you're, what's featured is their normal version. You're seeing her low self-esteem version here. Um, the Basically, the idea was that she became worse the more armor she put on as a fighting game character. Uh, we have three or four Executive Cobra games. I think three. I think we have three Executive Cobra games. Haver, a big ego RPG protagonist who just finished his first adventure, his sword turns back into his girlfriend and walks away if his self-esteem gets too low. Um, girlfriend is BB. Um, <laughs> I think we have only two Haver submissions. <laughs> but as you'll see, that's not the only time we'll see Haver. And then finally, there was Wafuru, a small ego, small ego waffle mutant. Forged in a freezer when a foolish adventurer tried to protect themselves from radioactivity. Becomes a cute, smooth blob with high self-esteem. Um, nothing for Wafuru today. The rules! GGL Adam. Thanks for being a brand new sub. Uh, the game must star one of Bruce Digo's eight characters, who we just went over. The game can be any genre except a fighting game. The game cannot take longer than one hour to complete. And boy, did I blow that. The main character, well, you know what? The whole game jam isn't this stream, though. You know what I mean? The game jam exists beyond this stream, and so anybody can play any of these games for any period of time. Anyway, uh, main character must discover a special move they'll eventually have in Bruised Egos. You must give the move a name. And finally... The game must feature an optional boss fight against Dark Shippy Doos, pictured below. Little is known of Dark Shippy Doos. There is no incorrect interpretation. Dark Shippy Doos can be defeated, but must not die. The most important rule of all. Uh, I will stream each game Wednesday, April 7th at 4 p.m. ET. Hey, we're doing okay there. Voting ends two days later. I should fix that. It's ending after the weekend. Maybe we give it a... I don't know. I want to be able to just say on stream who won. We'll see. We'll see how many judgments come in. Uh, we could extend the judging some more. Criteria for judging will be rated, rated equally. Uh, character investment. How much we now care about the hero. Stick it to the rules, because rules are important, and actually a fun game. Because with all this, the time constraints, the dark shippy dues, we realize it's hard to make a fun game on top of all these things. Um, the winning game of this jam will be the only entrant to be considered official Bruised Egos canon. Meaning you have now created the only canonical depiction of Dark Shippy Doos. Whatever backstory you come up with is the actual backstory for these characters. Is it ethically wrong to participate in judging if you submitted a game? Uh, I would just not uh, judge your own. But no, I think, honestly, it feels super nice to have your game judged. Even if you're giving out two stars. Even if, like, <laughs> even if I worked on this thing for weeks and I'm getting two stars, it feels really rewarding to have somebody play your thing. So we need as many judges as possible. I think it's totally cool if you are a participant, to go through and judge other games. I don't know if I relate to that experience. Oh, of getting the two stars. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't, like to to the the true I guess uh reward I, the true like good feeling to me is not like the five stars, but it's that somebody gave you their time. You know, somebody somebody hopped into the world that you created. So to me, that's the real thing. Sweet nothings. Thanks for being a ten mother. Okay, uh, our first one we're gonna look at was an email that somebody wrote to me a while, like a week ago, who said, "Look, I'm just not gonna be able to finish this." Would you just show an A sprite file? And I was like, okay, sure, I'll show an A sprite file. This is pretty cool. And also, like, it would be complicated to show this at other points. So, contains unfinished art and story for the Bruised Egos Game Jam animations and missing unfinished dialogue and story is a rough draft with errors. Okay. So, it's going to be Izzel and the Pudgy Pug Pirates. Here are some diary entries. I'm not going to read through all of these because the, the art is the real appeal here. Wait for this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here's Izzel's uh, idle an animation. Izzel, once a lowly dock worker, joined the PPP. His dream is to become a pirate captain one day. Uh, can I do the run too? Yeah, here we go. The melee. Tied up. If you don't have a sprite for your character being tied up, you're not done with your game yet. Full ego. <laughs> uh, oh, oh God. You're going too fast now. You're going too fast now. Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So look at that. Let me see if I can just select scene one and let that play idly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is like what a scene would look like Look at Dark Shippy Doo's whispering in the corner. This is cool stuff. So Alexandra would find Izzel and mend his wounds. Oh my god. Going too fast again. Going too fast. She gets stabbed. You put a necklace on her to keep her alive but she's still ashamed of her death. So like this game would have the incorporate, it would still incorporate a bunch of the other characters. Here's M Mu Xiao. Find me a golden skull and I'll give you something nice. <laughs> what was this something nice? The magic cat's paw, strongest weapon in the game. <laughs> I really like these idols. Uh... Oh, so you made a bunch of animations for this one character. Cool. Oops, did I go too far back? I think I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show me that laugh. This, I've never used a, a sprite file like this. Obviously, this is far beyond where we went with our stuff. Very cool. Give me that dark shippy dues. Ultra ego creation. Cool. Cool stuff. Who made this? You're right. There's nothing. Wait, hold up. Hold up. That final frame was credits. I'll have to open the email. Special thanks, Kyle Bossman and chat at the end. Yeah, wait, I don't have <laughs> I don't have a name on that. <laughs> Hold up, real quick. I'm gonna have to, you know what, I'm gonna have to check my emails probably for a few things. So let me pull up my email regardless. Dearbossman at gmail.com. Beep, 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 beep. Neil Bond Steel sent me cheat codes for one of these games. 
Okay, ooh, this person's first and last name is in the email. Is that okay to expose you? It's not like a username, you know what I mean? That's a first and last name. Don't. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we won't. If that person shows up in chat later, let me know, chat. Um, okay, so... The game that I couldn't get to run will play after this. I want to kick off with No. Okay, actually, let's get this let's get this game working. So, uh There was one game I couldn't get to run, and I'm going to say I'm going to say out loud what the like file error was, so hopefully we can get that working. Cuz also I realized I got to drink some coffee, chat. Dark shippy don't. <laughs> Uh, how about Dark Shippy don't use DOSBox? I'm so glad nobody sent a DOS game. God, that would make me mad. All right, let's 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 actually unzip to... Uh, the folder that I made for this whole event. Maybe that will help. God, chat. That's not a folder, bro. That's not a folder, bro. That's not a folder, bro. There you go. Unzip. This is what happened. Okay, 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 okay. So I think somebody named their files the same way. Would you like to replace the existing file? Users, Kyle Bossman, desktop, bruised egos, game jam, slash data, dot, win and it's like would you like to replace that and i say no i don't want to replace that so i think two people named their game or their file structure bruised egos game jam all caps create a new folder you're right you're right let's make a special folder just for this game um let's skip that file okay 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 good idea good idea just for this is the name of the folder okay so now we go to that winzip unzip two. Damn F, thanks for being a seven monther. I think I missed another one. I'll catch that. I'll catch that. I wanna make sure like you know what I mean? I know everybody spent a buttload of time on this stuff. Like I wanna I want everything featured. I just, I don't want to be like, we don't have time. Sorry. That worked. That worked. Okay, 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 okay. So let me, um, Jeremy, uh, Vatour. Thanks for being a five-monther. That's the one I missed. Maybe Sweet Nothings, too. Um, let me, um, of course it did. Okay, Chad. <laughs> Alrighty. Was this more or less entrance than Glenny's Cauldron Jam? I don't remember the number. We actually looked at it. I think it's about the same. JM Sebastian, thanks for being a nine-monther. It is more? It is more submissions? Yeah, it's wild, chat. Glenny was 16. Whew. Okay, so let me grab a coffee real quick. The file name sounds like a game maker data file, so if you're extracting all the EXE files into one folder... It probably is going to replace. Yep, I think that's what happened. All right, cool. Give me one sec. And the nice thing is, like, if that happens at any point, again, we'll be fine. We'll be good to go. Okay, so let me do good old window capture. Let's get this game going. So what I, I made a list. I made a list where I'm going to try to mix up the genres of games and the characters we're playing as. 
a couple of people ask to be later on in the day. Um, we're going to definitely do that. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get through the list. We'll see how we get through it. Woo! Do I have a good idea of who the winner will be? No, and I did not for Glinny's Game Jam either. This won't be a single stream. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to make this a single stream. I really am. I would like for it to be a single stream. It was always pitched as a single stream. For singles. Scrap it, Kaiser Princess. Tap to play. This is cute. So this is like a binder. These are Polaroids. That's good storytelling, chat. From all of us to you, we hope you find this binder, you fill this binder with fun memories and powerful cards. Your adventure begins here. Happy birthday, little minty. Starter card. Okay, here we go. Cowboy Spitball. This card can only leave your binder for duels in the alley. Okay. Okay. Pac-Man 99 on Friday? I don't think so, chat. I don't think I'm going to compete in Pac-Man 99. Mindy made dual dark shippy dues. Oh, we're not doing that. Kids can work the lemonade stand to earn bucks. Okay. Ooh, so this is kind of, um... We have to manage our time, huh? Do we have to choose who, which player? We're, well, we gotta play as Mindy. Blazing Spirit. We have 10 Ego. Okay. Oh, we're the whole crew. Got it. Okay, so let's send Mindy to Playground. Yeah, you work at the lemonade stand. One additional buck. Gain two cards off the top of the deck for free. Hell yeah. When trading at the playground, Spiff gets plus five strength. Yeah. And then Link. At the store, Link may purchase cards for two bucks each. I only got five bucks, dude. Nobody's going to the alley yet. We're not going to challenge Shippy Doos yet. Whoa. We'll get one card. Okay. Whoa, dude. I'm overwhelmed. Okay. If Penny's at the lemonade stand, she does not gain any bucks, losing five instead, if possible. Oh my god. Go away. Oh no, I didn't, okay. Griswold comb over. Ooh, I like this. I, I, Captain. Day one, the playground. Mindy. All right, let's trade, what do we got? Boost strength. Oh, Griswold's got like a combo. Well, obviously I want Griswold's rollerblades. Purchase power is zero. How do I put something up for trade? I can't. Oh, I can't get it. I can't get it. Okay, all right. Can I get this? Add to your binder, okay. Ooh, no, I want to get rid of these photos of my friends. Uh-uh. Today you got three new cards, lost five ego. Okay, okay. How do I get rid of the photos of my friends? <laughs> Arctic, thanks for me to 10 monther.
If you hover over them, it gives you a rundown of what they can do and impact each other. Right. Let's get more bucks, dude. I spent all my bucks. Okay, so day two, guess what? We're getting bucks. If Link is at the store, he loses four bucks purchasing any booster cards. Okay. Okay. Now we're all going to the store. Well, you still work at the lemonade stand. Ooh. We do have enough ego to buy those rollerblades. Hmm. Yes. Neon Dream, thanks for being an eight monther. Unexpected holiday. Send all kids to the store at the store home. Return any held bucks at the buck bank. No. Shelly's is closed today. George was locking up when I got here. So this does play out like a board game, basically. Actually, should we get El Banana? Actually, Banana. El Banana. <laughs> I think we should get the full Griswold. Author says it was a board game. Yeah, yeah, so I, I think it was listed as a board game, and I assumed it just meant straight-up card game. But yeah, this is a full-on board game. Uh, Kirk, thanks for gifting us up. Oh, Zokal, you're in chat. Only Mindy can spend ego. Gotcha. Okay, so, question, Zokal. How do I get rid of these pictures of my friends? How do I add Griswold's rollerblades to my binder? I don't want these photos of my friends anymore. That's so sad, Kyle. They're on my phone. You need to gain enough ego to unfriend them? <gasps> Are you dead serious? That's a mechanic. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get rid of Cowboy. Ooh, we can't even get rid of Cowboy. Bummer. Okay, so I kind of did all... Ooh. Well, no, I want that Griswold combo. Okay, there we go. Yes. So now we got Griswold's beard, comb over, and skates. For some reason, the Cowboy can't leave the deck. Okay. All right, so at 25 ego, we can lose a friend. We're at 16 right now. All right, let's get some more ego. How do we grind ego? You just It just kind of happens at the end of a day, right? You have to duel with Cowboy Spitball. All right, let's see, let's see what happens. God, what an interesting game. So, your friends get you resources. <laughs> but they take up slots in your binder. <laughs> and you need a big ego to say to let go of your friends. <laughs> Ooh, okay, great. So, you get ego, ego equal to the highest card in your binder, which is six. So, we're going to get six now. Um, there's nothing better in the playground. So, I think we send everybody else to the lemonade stand. Oh my god. Strength is immediately gain amount of ego, you bet. Oh, this is hard for me to read. 
you win this duel without getting ego gain ten ego other what I know I know it's meant to be hard to read. All right. Um. Okay, so strength 15. Lose one buck for each ego you bet. If you cannot pay the full amount, you cannot gain this card. We have to. Oh, look, but I'm actually so total strength, I'm at eight. If you win this duel without getting ego, gain 10 ego. Otherwise, lose the ego you bet. We're doing it. Bossy Bestie. Jessa may move to another location after activating her current location's effects. She performs another action as if Mindy were her with her. Okay. Bucks, 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 bucks. Okay. Hey, can you do something for me? You mean in addition to what we've been doing all week? Pretty please? Ooh. Ugh. Thanks, you the best. Okay. Jessa, you hang out at the lemonade stand. Ready. Bucks, 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 bucks. Okay, you're on Griswold's rollerblades. No! Dog Bower's dead! <laughs> yeah, I lost. Oh, just by one, though, because I had plus three, three strength. Dang. He goes 20, though. We still got four at the end of the day. Okay. 20 ego. We're close to losing a friend. So. Uh, still not impressed with anything there. I'm going to send Link to the store. Spend our bucks that we're earning. See if we got any good cards. Replace each card in the playground with a card from the top of the store deck. Replace cards and shuffled. So this is cool. This is a digital representation. I believe this game you can download the the actual cards and play this game. Is the way this is actually designed. Here we go. Beasel bud. Robo Squeep. Uh, no, I gotta keep my Griswold combo. Sorry, Robo. Oh, I it won't let me. Damn. Pizza. Oh no, this is awful. What have I done? V in twenty years is very funny. When you buy them, you have to put them in your binder. Okay, okay, okay. Rhino Suave. How many cards did you make? Derrip. No! Yes! Frork! Sorry, V, in 20 years. We got a seven now, baby. Shy Bean. Uh... Sorry, Rhino. Yes! Fuzzy Tuber! Yes! Godzuki. These are great designs. Um, Shy Bean's gone. Dark Justice! Hell yeah. Uh, I gotta go, Fuzzy Tuber. Black Hole Guppy. Uh, damn it. Penny is no longer your friend. Anything they were carrying is now lost. Whatever. Oh my god. And now we took her picture out of our book. She's crying now. Can we still tell her to do stuff? You cannot. Wow. Thank you. 
Here we go. We got this. Did you happen to see a wallet around here? I lost mine. Yes. We're in the alley. We just got 10 bucks. Come forth, Dark Justice. Ooh, did you write a new thing for each card, too? <laughs> Baby Philkis, immediately gain the amount of ego you bet. Yes! Buy Link. Bye, Spiff. Did we just max out our ego? Why is he losing friends? Because our ego is getting too big. <laughs> yes. Plus 28, 14 strength, total 23. We destroyed that little baby Filkus. Add to your binder. Ooh, I get to keep the baby too? Card sucks. So all we have is our best friend, Jessa, left. Yeah, we maxed out our ego. Lost two friends. Oh, my God. <laughs> you did different portraits. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, uh, Jessa, why don't you go to the store? What's my goal now? What's my actual goal now? I guess fill up the binder with good cards. I'm looking at this guy. Slendelian. This is the last day. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Get Slendelian for free if they both go to the playground. I can do better. Are we still friends? Oh my god. <laughs> Brutal. He who flattened. Sick. I like that card, dude. This is nice art. Uh, dude, I don't want to replace you with anyone. Black Hole Guppy. Not that, Darby. I feel like this is probably worth it for that ability. I really liked Godzuki. Idiot boxing. Oh, no! Why? How does it choose which cards I have to replace? This is my two best cards. All right, idiot boxing. Griswold's world. No! 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 Oh, dark justice. Dainty shocks. Okay, get out of here, cough noir. Actually, idiot boxing's gotta go. I think it cycles through, basically, because I think we had a new cycle there. Yeah, okay, so it cycles through. So no matter what my next card is, I'm going to have to replace these next two. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, damn. Today you got six new cards, lost four cards. Tell me about it. Final score, 38 bucks, 50 ego, 30 total card strength, one friend. How do you lose your last friend? Rank A. Nice. Mindy's last card drops to the ground. It was a tough fight, but it looks like Carl will keep his title as Scrap at Kaiser King. No! Ah, oh, she was so close. But what is the sensation in the air? She suddenly realizes that there's a mysterious mist surrounding the stage, and then it slowly flows into Carl. You are strong, little one, he says. Dangerously strong. 
dark shippy doos smirks from the rafters. Nice. That's a good game. That was really fun. Wow. You implemented losing your friends as a gameplay mechanic. <laughs> Did you do all the art? Zokal and Mebid is what I, what I see here for submitted by. Really good stuff. Yes, I did all the art. That was some good stuff, dude. Wow. Okay, that was fun. All right. Two down, baby. Next up, a 3D platformer. Let's hope this runs. Here we go. A bit too high still? Okay. You got it. Ugh. Design art and programming by Mr. Thee. Audio? Weens. Two, three, four. There are many fabled treasures scattered amongst the Elton Archipelago. The one most sought after is the legendary hall known as Black, Fe Black Feather's Legacy. Our story begins with a young, timid owl named Izzel. A month ago, Izzel. Oh! Game's frozen. Okay, 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 okay. Good looking out, chat. I think it's because I'm doing window capture. I think we got to do game capture for this kind of thing. One moment. Stand by. Boom, baby. That appears to be working, right? Cool. All right. So I'm actually using the controller. So this game is pretty sweet. Uh, you can just fly. And then this works kind of like uh, kind of like Mario with the wing cap, but honestly, like a little more fun. Massive score. Thanks for gifting five gift subs right there. 3D a short hike. Yep. Yeah. No game audio. I think... I'm not sure it has audio. Well, shoot. We had the music playing before. Hold up. I'm messing up with the cannonball. Load. There we go. There's some audio. It's very quiet. Okay, so I think this is the title screen music was super loud. Okay. I think that's what happened. Yeah, we're, I'm, I see levels there now. Let's hope this cannon blast isn't too loud.
Uh, fire is that. My eardrums, Kyle! No! <laughs> All right, sorry. I forgot you could shovel, too. Yeah, I got it turned up a bunch. Maybe I turn it back up a bunch, too. Okay, so you can collect coins. Uh, you can dig around the trees. That's normally where you'll find some treasure. Not there. There we go. We got a coin. Let me back up a little bit. Oh, I did better in my first playthrough getting coins out of these trees. Hey, hey. Okay, so our goal is to collect five pieces of treasure. We got a pirate ship. Chat, there are uh, there are two 3D adventure games in which you control Izzel getting a pirate ship, and I tried to put them as far away as possible <laughs> on the lineup. Because they're both amazing, you know what I mean? <laughs> so here's our pirate ship. Uh, it can do a lot of things. Uh, first I'm going to, I'm going to buy some cannonballs. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's all you can do with your money. That's all I was able to figure out to do with money is just buy more cannonballs. Okay, we have taken the anchor up, and now we unfurl the sails. Boop, boop. Okay. And now our boat is actually moving. Stop this. Okay. And you can steer it from here. What's a really good design decision in this is that you can speed up the game dramatically. I want to go this way because I haven't been here yet. Here we go. So the camera's a little freaky when you're at this speed, but obviously this makes sailing the seas a lot more uh, tolerable. I lost my objective. That's where we came from. Don't go there. Okay. So, what we need to do is load treasure onto our boat is our objective with those five gems. The reason I stopped playing this game the first time is I got my boat stuck. So our goal is to not get the boat stuck. Yeah, this island looks really cool, right? Yeah, it was just trapped on the side of an island. It just couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> Tab opens the menu. Okay, cool. Uh... Bro, even with five speed, it takes a while to get to this island. Let's look at that menu. Ooh, it does not open the menu. There we go. So we do, we got a Wind Waker style sea chart. That's really cool. Yeah, I really want to see what's on this island. I don't, I've not seen what's on this island yet. But it looks like we're at the very edge of the map. This may have been the longest trip we could have taken. From the center anyway. Okay, let's re go to regular speed here. Okay, let's go to triple speed. Careful, Kyle. Don't mess this up, dude. I won't. I'm good. I won't. Okay. 
good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Regular speed. Okay. Stop that. Lower the anchor. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. No. Unfurl. Furl. Lower the anchor. Okay. I think we're good, dude. Lower the plank. Oh! Ah! I think I need to inch up a little more. A little more, 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 a little more. Raising anchor. Okay, a little more. Oh, oh god. Oh god, this is how I get stuck. Okay. There we go. Nice, dude. Okay. So if we find some treasure, we got a clear path of getting it back on our boat. Oh, I didn't even notice that hand behind us. Cool. Let's get to the top of this. I realize the thing that the camera is covering right now is the indicator of how fast the game is running. The key treasures are listed on the chart with question marks. Oh, okay. So this island has nothing on it? It's just a big hand? Huh. This is a nothing island. So be it. Wow, dude. Look at this game running. This is so sweet. Alright, let's hope we get some treasure out of this. The middle island is a face? Oh, I, I missed that. Okay. It looks like this is just... just a hand. This is a Tale of the Sun reference. Oh, are you saying that's a nose and that's a mouth? And the two hands. Yeah, that's freaky, dude. Yeah, that's a fist for sure. I don't like that. I wish we didn't talk about this chat. Okay. Steer that ship. And don't be don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. So let's go to an actual island with something important on it. Here we go. Yeah, I can't imagine what it took to get this mechanically working. Because what's crazy is I could actually stop steering it, right? And there's still physics being applied to this boat. Oops, sorry. Let me go regular speed. Like, look at this. This thing's actually just moving through the sea. Where's the ego? The ego actually didn't have to be implemented into the game's mechanics. That wasn't one of the rules. That's something they worry. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, that's something we worry about when they're, they're making the fighting game. That's not our concern. 
We gotta find shippy dues. Yeah, you're right. I don't think we're gonna have time to find all, all the gems. But we gotta find shippy dues. The fact that the boat operates on its own with its own maintained state of anchors, sails, and speeds, everything is so wild. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. I want to go to that tree island, too. I hope that's got something on it. Yeah, this was a... This is somebody's one-month project. I think I'd just make a cool pirate thing, you know? Uh, stop, stop, though, stop, though, stop, though, stop, though. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Regular speed. There we go. Okay, double speed. So we're going to make it so I can just hop off of this island onto my boat. Triple speed. Here we go, 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 here we go. Okay. Steer it right in, right in, right in. Okay. Oh my god, lower the anchor. Lower it. Unfurl the sails. Okay, cool. I hope we're close enough. <laughs> Piece of legacy lives in the plateau above. Nice. Midway tween the mightiest pine and her youngest sibling. Okay. The halfway point between the tallest tree and the smallest tree is what that means to me. Is that our tallest one? Right here. This is it. Right here. And treasure. Ooh! Okay. Good stuff. <laughs> when you're designing a game and someone just bullseyes it on their first try because you're a good hint, you're pretty stoked, I think. <laughs> I would legit play this. Yeah, sorry. Somebody said something really interesting in chat about the nature of game jams. This is MDS Veritas. It's actually the crazy thing about game jams. With projects you know will take years, you sometimes focus on the big picture too much. You don't re realize it isn't coming together until the end. Game jams are so good for helping you focus on a vision, and it's why some game jam games are just head and shoulders cooler than some bigger releases with long dev times. I hear you. All right. This is actually... A little hairy. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna lower the uh, plank. That's the wrong button. There we go. Now I got this. Now I got this. Okay. All right. Let's do this, Sizzle. E ah uh, uh, no <gasps> oh okay well I thought I had it for a second <laughs> lost to Davy Jones okay okay I'm getting you on the boat somehow what would be the the waters are great. Yeah, this is some high-level water. Okay. All right. And then let's just hope we get the prompt from here. Yes! Okay. Great. Good stuff. And then we put it down here. Uh, There we go. Drop off treasure. Boom, baby. Amethyst, Topaz, and Black Feathers Legacy PC. Hell yeah. Raise the anchor. For all the sails. And then we're going moving on. Yellow Swaggins, are you the Alexandria first person game? I downloaded it. So we might be able to play it still. 
It can't be a part of the competition because that was a hard deadline, but maybe we can still stream it today. Oh yeah, and definitely share it with chat too. Kitten Clinic says we missed it by a few minutes too. Yeah, I mean, we could still sneak some stuff in. Sorry, chat. I missed actually what time it was when we started playing this. I can't believe, yeah, it's 5.07 and we've played two games. Well, three. We gotta, we gotta include that one that was an A sprite file. Yolo Swaggins. Yep, fair enough. I did miss it. Here you are, chat. Yep, check out that link. I'm going to try to sneak that game in today. Okay, this looks like a nice spot for us to be able to plank down on. This looks good. I'm not going to lie, devs of this should turn it into a full game. Is a big, as a big fan of Sea of Thieves, I would legit play a left fleshed out version of this. I, uh oh. Oh god, I did it again. I did it again. Okay, let's go to regular speed. This boat is very stuck. <laughs> I was trying to turn it. I was trying to turn it. <laughs> okay, so let me see if maybe I can... <laughs> I had one goal. I had one goal. I told you all. Like my goal is to not get the ship stuck. I think we're I think we're moving. We are moving. We are we are moving. We are moving. Or is that my imagination? Speed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We're totally moving. Not my imagination. Oh, oh God. Eh. It's wiggling. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe we try steering in the other way. No, oh, no. This looks good, actually. This seems... No, you're getting it worse. Oh. Okay, let's at least find the treasure that's on this island. Oh, no. What have I done? Man, I actually really like the flying mechanics, too. There's no treasure here? Oh, no! <laughs> no! No! You're right! I was so far off the map! <laughs> oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let's restart real quick. Can you tell me the fastest way to shippy dues? It's time to set up camp since you're stuck. Yep. I didn't have time to include shippy dues. Okay. All right. What's the coolest island? It hasn't been a half hour yet, right? Yeah, sorry, chat. I turned up the music for the sound effects, but forgot about it for the, that title screen. Oh, I forgot there's a ton of treasure in the room you start in. Dude, amateur mistake.
Dude, I mean, how sick is that flight? Just flying from there to here. Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. And you know what I mean? It's like, there's no limitation onto how many times we can flutter. Why not fly between islands? So you have to collect the treasures and put them into uh, the spot of the uh, pirate ship. Okay, so we're going to the northeast island. Okay. So while the character does have infinite flight, yeah, it's actually worth bringing up like game design-wise. It is interesting that to complete the game, to collect all the treasures, you can't just fly around. This is so good. Please continue making this and I'll gladly support slash buy it. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a sweet thing to see in chat, but I don't think they're I don't think it's all hot fluff, you know what I mean? Put it on the switch. <laughs> So that island to the left of us is just a cool looking island. That's so clearly where Dark Shippy Doos lives. There are worse games on Switch. I've definitely played worse games on Switch. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. By the way, I've never seen what the actual face on the uh, sails are. Had to learn. I only have two more shots. Load it in. There we go. If this is put on Switch, would it count as copyright infringement? Okay, so I don't actually know. I think the answer is no. I think because of all our goofy stuff was just public on a stream. Um. I don't think anybody owns any of these characters. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What, what's going on, Cannon? Cannon, no! Cannon, no! Cannon, no! Cannon, no! Cannon, no! Cannon! 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 Oh, you're so lined up and perfect, too. I think I saw it for a second there, right? The prompt. There it is. Yes. Okay. All right. We got two shots. This one's going to hit, though. Don't even worry about it. Bop! Oh! Okay. Not that. This. Nice to beg, Greg. Thanks for being a three-monther. Nice to be Greg. Nice to be Greg. That's pretty cool. <laughs> beg, Greg. Uh, okay, so let me check the map. There's still treasure on this island. That was just a bonus. Okay, so the way it works is you tap jump to do the multiple flaps you hold down the button to go into uh glide mode however you can switch between the two multiple times throughout flight how 
How cool is that, dude? Ooh. You think I should dig in the volcano? I'm digging. Oh, the treasure's actually in there. We just have to try to pick it up. Okay. It wasn't rendering. Gotcha. I'm really interested in this flight. It looks great. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Thea, it seems... Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, wait. No, I got invisible gold coins, but I don't have an invisible chest. Check your hall. Okay. We got this. Was that from this run or the last run? I actually can't remember. Hello, Shabello. Thanks for giving me a sub. It's there. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. So that is that is from this run. Let's do one more island. Let's do at least one more. Is that one an island? Uh, C chart. It is straight ahead. Okay. Okay, bring this bad boy up. By the way, I almost broke this. <laughs> The plank mechanic's pretty wild. Oh, no, I might have broke. Okay, come on up. <laughs> you know, I mean, look at this point. It's like twisting. You're like, oh, buddy. Okay, okay. Let's uh, let's just leave it alone. The plank will figure itself out. Anchors up. Oop, on for all the sails. I said on for all. Let's look at the face on it. Oh no, I'm getting blown away. My ship's leaving me. <laughs> okay, all right. No, no ship. No ship, no ship. Don't leave me, ship. Don't leave me. This is what's so cool. This is the, like the actual physics. The ship is moving under my feet. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay. We're gonna be crunching so hard at the end of the stream. I know, I know, I know. Okay, we're just going to visit the island. You're right. We can't spend too much time on every game. I'm not even going to try to do a nice soft landing. I'm just going to crash straight into this one. Every Anyone who finishes this by putting the treasure together, I promise there's a cool reward. I have a guess. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's another thing we got to blow up. Right? And there's the treasure under there. That's so cool. Well, I don't know. My guess was sunglasses. Because of the shape of this. <laughs> what engine is this? Yeah, chat's actually curious what engine this is running on. Unity 3D. Nice. Uh, let me mute the thing real quick before, before we go back to the title screen. Okay, cool. All right, we got it. You're right. Chat, you're right. We got to move on. Sick game though. Izzle's Adventures, Black Feathers Legacy. Available on the page. Thank you, Mr. Thee. Alright, what was our next game? Oh, our scratch game is next. Oh, this happened last time too. Okay, okay, okay. That's happening because of what chat was talking about. I replaced one game with another game. There it is. Okay. Hopefully not too loud there. Still loud? Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, maybe a 
try game capture again. That seemed to work well last time, actually. Sometimes you gotta do window capture, sometimes you gotta do game capture, it's weird. I think for the more intense, like, 3D games, it has to be game capture. But here, window capture is working fine. Okay. Um, let me click in here. Okay, so this is Scratch's Adventure. Hey, Mom, I'm heading off to basketball practice. Okay, Scratch, have fun. Oh, and don't turn the volume up too high in your earbuds. It's dangerous. You can't hear traffic. Yeah, yeah. Love you. All. Bye. Ahem. Love you, too. That's better. Ooh, a quarter. Maybe my luck's turning around. Welcome, my friend. I'm sure you have questions. What the hell's going on? How did I get here? One thing at a time. You are in hell. My master- HELL! Wait, I'm dead? Well, <laughs> you were milliseconds from being- from that being the case, but my master saw to it that you were transported here instead. Your master? Yes, Lord Balthus has taken a special interest in you. He is willing to bring you back to the realm of the living if you can complete his trial. What do I have to do? Simple. Just escape from here. There may be a few obstacles along the way, but I'm sure you can manage it. My master chose you after all. Guess I don't really have much of a choice. Okay, so this is our 2D platformer. We have Slash. For, that, for now, that's it. That's all we got. Um... I found Shippy Doos in this game, but I could not beat Shippy Doos. We'll give we'll give Shippy Doos one shot. Um, I did switch to the uh, Xbox controller for this game. Oop. Okay, so you'll notice I got a hit on that guy, which increased our ego by one. Are you cool? I never talked to this guy before. Whoa, stay away from me. Those things are sharp. So, uh, this character's thing is his claws. I like that it's not only your attack, but you have infinite wall climb. Okay, so now we have boosted ego which I think does double damage. HP increased by one? Ooh, I missed that last time. Nice. Guys just like to talk. Yo, when my ego is high, I just feel stronger, you know? Not just stronger, but I can attack faster, too. You're lucky I'm not violent, bro, because my ego is sky high. Okay. It's not like I can attack super fast. So red demons are good, and you can talk to them. Absolutely missed that my first playthrough. <laughs> ah! So we lost an ego notch. Ooh. All right, I don't have that yet. Okay. So this is our second mechanic, the phase ability. That right there. I think it also deals damage. It does. Doesn't seem like it's that much though. Kyle, if you made a cameo in a game, would I hard quit?
Uh, no. <laughs> and like, don't put it, don't put it past chat to just put me into games. <laughs> I gotta get that. I gotta get that. I did get this thing last time. Okay. Fell for it twice. Oh my god, I fell for it. So I'm trying to jump again. It looks like there's a bit of recovery. Ow! I count it up. No! Now you can see how many hits it takes with a uh, weak claws. Move. Stop doing that. Move. Move. Okay, we gotta take the hit to get the collectible. We have to. A musty old pillow. Okay, so I don't know what that does. Ow! Foolish, Kyle. I know. you had some kind of phasing ability. Chat! It's risky. It's risky. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. No! No, please! No, please! Just get that checkpoint. Yes. I think this is a checkpoint. So I like this a lot. Uh, that width is too much for you to phase through. However, if it's in movement, you can make it through. Like, I think that's just so sweet. So yeah, I think the like here is an interesting level design that's uh, based around the game's mechanics of us being ha able to have this infinite wall crawl. So that's something I would always commend, and phasing actually. It uses like both of those are well implemented, so it's not like we're playing a normal platforming game that just uh, accommodates our character, you know. Cool. Last time I ignored every ogre. Oh. It's a shortcut. Weird. Oh, I guess that shortcut's probably there for if you didn't collect the pillow yet. Five words. Give me five words. Banana, dingus, hot, egg, tetranodon, abominable. I definitely had to read abominable before saying abominable, which is good. Well, we're gonna die on our first try anyway. We got three, three pellets left. Here we go. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't let you through here. Are you part of my trial? As if. Then what's your problem? I can't have another from your dimension getting too powerful. M my dimension? What are you talking about? You know what? I'm bored stiff. I'll let you pass if you can entertain me for a while. Ah! Okay. Yeah! Just give up already. Ah! Nice. I, 
guess a good idea would be to grind Ego on those first enemies before showing up to this fight. He'd be twice as dead, you know? This song rules, by the way. Ow! about the dash attack? Okay. A little risky. A little risky. But that's, uh, that's good. One more try. One more try. We do... We got a lot of games to play. Man, I didn't get much ego from that. I got hit. Oh! Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, I phased into the wall. And, uh, much like our friend Nightcrawler, that's just gonna kill you. I mean, there's something down here. Oh, okay, that's the way back from Shippy Doos, probably. Ow. You go up, baby. Yes. Ah. Uh oh, you're in trouble now, Buster. Yes, get that slime. Just a bit further, Bend. Okay. This fight with full ego is nice. I was definitely greedy there. No! I meant to wall grab. I meant to wall grab and I phased into the wall. <laughs> wall grab is L1, phase is R1. Skip the phase there. Okay, buddies. Okay, buddies. No, Kyle, no! You know better. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Generous checkpoint. Oh, I forgot about this part. This game is not over. checkpoint so there's there we go right it's clearance it's clearance there's basically an invisible boundary around the spikes that uh blocks your head eh? 
Go, buddy, go, buddy, go, buddy. Nice, dude. Nope. Oh. Okay. So I never actually went all the way over here. Infinite ropes. It's infinite ropes. Let's be real. That was a really good level design just now. It really was. When talking about like uh, accentuating your mechanics. So you have claws that stick into walls and you have the phase dash. And both of those were used perfectly there. I really do like that style, that level design, I mean. Where am I, what is this? You said I would be brought back to life if I finished the trial. I said you would be brought back to the realm of the living. I didn't specify where. What do you want from me? As I said before, my master has taken a special interest in you. He wants you to enter the Ultimax tournament on his behalf. What? What tournament? It's a tournament held every millennium between the greatest fighters from the eight dimensions. This iteration, it fell upon my master to field the competitor from our dimension. Where's Balthus? There has to be a better candidate than me. I just want to go home. I'm sure he will grant you whatever you desire if you win the tournament. It's not as if you have any other options. Fuck! <laughs> Efficient monkey, great job. <laughs> I love the last line is just fuck. And then you made all the music too? Pedro, nah dude, thanks for being a five monther. It's a great setup too for as the, like the concept of this being a prequel to a fighting game. Yeah, I love that. I arranged all the music. Good stuff. Game Maker Studio 2. You're in there, chat. That's me! <laughs> so look at that. 57% collectibles. There's stuff in there I missed, dude. Eight botches. I think it was in the teens, my first try, my first playthrough. I think I had a lot more. I think it may have been 30, actually. No true ending. Yeah, I gotta get those collectibles. Oh, well, yeah, obviously shippy dues I missed, of course. There's gotta be some place, some stuff that way. Yeah, that's cool. So is this live? The best time in the world is 12 minutes with zero, zero botches. Um, let me refill my coffee cup chat and we can play more games. This will be a quick trip. Not, not a real break, quick trip. Next time, just one squat. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if for like a future game jam, we should do a thing that's like awards for like best soundtrack, you know, best original character design. Um, okay. Nice. This is this is good. Good good playlist balancing, Kyle. Next up is a text adventure. We got two text adventures. I should have blown my nose then. My no I'm just like I'm stuffed today, dudes.
the bossies. The official bossies. Yeah. Okay, so then let me go back over here. Wait, I said to skip mine. You wish. You submit, you're in. Wow, look at that resolution. Um, Here's the thing, though. Uh, this does include a mystery. And it's basically like, uh, who, who do we fire? And I will admit, Screaming Argonaut, that in my playthrough, as Executive Cobra, I was like, I don't care who I fire. <laughs> Choose the route with less reading. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So it's still dark when the alarm goes off. Picking up your phone, you see it's 5 a.m., which means you only got four hours of sleep. You notice you have three new email messages. CJ, Max, Judith. Always Judith. I took the advice you gave me, and something's definitely up. With Joey at the retreat, so this would be the perfect time to get this settled. Meet me in my office at 8. Judith Kim, project manager. Brock's Gibbon Enterprises. Our input means nothing. Okay, okay, okay. What, you all wanted Max that bad? Hi, boss. How was Cancun? You didn't miss much on Friday, but apparently R&D have something big that they'll be showing off soon. I did manage to get you on Team A like you wanted, and I arranged a cab to pick you up at 6 to take you straight to the DAC. I don't know what they had planned, but they sent out a memo reminding everyone to dress casually? For Roger's sake, I hope it's not paintball again. Thanks for letting me work from home today. Let me know if you need anything. Max Cromley, Executive Assistant. No, chat. No, I'm not taking the Max path. I'm not taking that path. Is he, do you, you really want to go the Max path? Max's is the least amount of reading? <laughs> Judith is the most. Judith is the one that I went through, actually. I never finished this route, so I'm glad we're doing this one. Okay, all right, all right, fine. We're doing the Max route. After you send your reply, you start your morning routine. A long shower. You barely finish your coffee when the cab arrives and you're out the door. When you arrive at the dock, you see a yacht-sized boat dressed up as a pirate ship. Just say yacht! <laughs> what do you mean, yacht-sized boat? <laughs> Balmo Devar, thanks for being a two-monther. <laughs> a man in a striped shirt and wearing an eye patch walks up to you. Ahoy, matey. Do you be part of the Brox Gibbon crew? You nod. Ah, you look the part of those landlubbers. He gestures to the boat behind him. Welcome aboard to Captain Blackwater's ship. Take one last look at the solid ground. You may never see it again. You roll your eyes and follow him out of the ship. He takes you to the main deck, where you are handed a green name badge and instructions to find the rest of your group. You find them gathered next to the refreshment table. After getting some coffee and Danish, you greet the rest of your group. As you had hoped, Atherton B Brox, the CEO, is there. The rest of the group is made up of Carlene Reynolds, Brox's assistant, Carlene Reynolds, who's Brox's assistant, and Myra Dutz from HR, and Joey Brindle from Research and Development. We're going to kill this man. You already have a headache from the sea shanties being played by the time a number of the boat staff gives the signal to Brox. He gestures for silence and begins his speech. Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad to see you all made it. Welcome to the Brox Gibbons annual leadership retreat. As you know, Myra here only came on board a few months ago. So let's give her a round of applause for pulling all of this together so quickly. You and the others clap while Myra looks shyly at the ground. 
Brooks continues. This has been a challenging fiscal year, but we have something coming up that is going to change this company forever. So I want to see you all working together today because we are going to need teamwork to take full advantage of this company's future. The rest of the group start to follow the boat employees while yours stays on the deck. Once everyone else has left, Brox nods to Joey, who reaches beneath the table, pulls out a box. You're all very lucky, Brox says. You're getting a sneak peek at our newest product. Joey hands you all what appears to be ordinary backpacks. When you put it on, for however, your face is scanned and a holographic display appears. After you confirm your identity, you are suddenly surrounded by a solid but flexible material. Material. The... These are some of the world's first carbonic biopolymer reactive armor units, says Joey. So this is Project Cobra, you ask? Yeah, replies Joey. Your friend Corvus was the one who finally solved Ulysses' equation and made this all possible. And yet you get to be the first people to try one outside of the lab. I'm asking for my credit. It's asking for my credit card information, says Myra. Because these unit, oh, because these units can do almost anything, we need a way to ensure that our customers get charged appropriately for usage, explains Brox. I guess I won't be using this much then, says Carlene. You swipe your card when the prompt appears. Just send in the paperwork reimbursement, you say. Carlene laughs. Easy for you to say, Janice. <laughs> Not everyone can afford their own island. It's a family island, you reply. Okay, says Brox. That's enough. We're here to work on teamwork. And, as an incentive, the person I think demonstrates the values of teamwork best gets to keep their CBRA prototype. One of the boat's staff members appears and asks if you're ready. Brox nods. And Brox nods you, her, off the deck. She leads you to an ornate... You and her, most likely. I get it now. She leads you to an ornate cabin. Captain Blackwater welcomes you to the Golden Siren, she says. How long you'll stay is up to you. She leaves, closing the door behind her, with a click of a lock falling into place. The door has an old-fashioned keyhole, but there's no one in sight, no key in sight. Well, says Brox, I guess this is where we start. Okay, team, let's see what we can do. You look around and see 10 objects of note. Whoa. The bottle contains a beautiful model of an elaborate square rigged, rigid, square rigged frigate. <laughs> a small plaque reads Queen Anne's Light, New Providence, 1824. Got it. So now we go to the painting. Oh, okay. All right. 1788. Let's get that folded piece of paper. What fool of a bilge rat did you get in that map from? They mixed up Malta with high tech. Next time, spend the extra doubloon for some quality, or you'll find yourself in David Jones's locker instead. Okay, 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 okay. Write that down. Exactly. Um, where's our map? A map hanging on the wall. High tech. There's a circle with a line drawn on this island. So Malta. T4. T3. Okay. Okay. That's easy. That's easy. That's easy. That's easy. Okay. T4 and T3. Okay. Great. Uh, small chest. Three digits. We don't have three digits. Okay. On the Isle St. Marie, my sweetheart waits for me. Beneath her stone, she lies alone while I'm adrift at sea. 
Okay. Okay. Was that on the map? It is. Okay. Oh, my bad. Day 97. We had nearly given up hope when we heard a sudden explosion outside. We peered through the smoke in a vain attempt to figure out what was happening. Suddenly, young Jim appeared, brandishing a set of keys and a grin. We had finally escaped, but at the cost of half our crew. May we never have to step foot on the dark shores of Tortuga again. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The only way to sail forward is to go big. Oh no, we've looked at everything. Except, of course, ask your team for help. <laughs> Why was that song to the melody of Winter Wonderland? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was implied. Chat, have you figured it out? No. That mystery is beyond me. <laughs> it was my understanding that that was the implication. I'm sure anyone who read that would have thought the same. Nothing happens. Okay, 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 okay. Let's ask our team for help. Come on! Okay, so we got three islands that are mentioned in the map. Isle St. Marie, High Tack, and Malta. Or actually, Tortuga is mentioned as well. A fish with... Red ink. A circle is drawn around it. A5. So I think what... I think what we would have to do is kind of draw a map. We'd have to kind of draw a grid. But I'm going to try like three, four, three, nothing, four, three, three, nothing, four, three, four, nothing, three, three, four, nothing. Okay. Redfish is a red herring. Yeah. So we're looking at T3, T4. What do we have? Three? Oh, nine. Three, nine, and four. Okay, 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 okay. I think the map is important. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> Thanks, Myra. That's actually fun, dude. I think we're out of ideas. Oh, they really are. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got our numbers. Three, four, and nine, right? And something about going backwards. Seven, two, nine. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Where'd the number seven come from? <laughs> Did I see the news that the voice of 90 Spider-Man... Look at the island entries again. All right. Um, will be in Spider-Verse 2? No, that's huge, dude. Okay, so... Where's that map? Okay, so we're looking at high tack T3 and Malta 
T4. We know these have been rearranged. Malta should be T3. High tax should be T4. The significance of that, I do not know. And then Isle St. Marie is 09. So that's why I'm talking about the numbers 3, 4, and 9. Ninety Spider-Man spoilers. Yeah, that could just be canonically him. Three nine four and four nine three. Okay, I'll try both of those. What was the last hint? It was about the ship. New Providence, 1824. Oh, which is probably on that damn map, right? New Providence. Six. <laughs> that was the last hint, was it not? They won't even talk to me anymore. How would a sailor say back? I don't know. This is my long side. <laughs> Aft? Okay, okay, okay. So we're looking for the letters that correlate to the letters A, F, and T, is what you think? Okay, so T is actually four. No, we don't know which. It's going to be T or four. Four is the last digit. Two is the second digit. Is there an A? There is. Five, two, four? No. Thought I had this. How about five, two, three? Ah. Oh. Five, one, four? Where'd that one come from, crazed? Uh, you hear a click and the chest opens inside a key. Well done, Janice. You use the key and open the door. As you step into the hallway, you hear a voice shout, They've escaped! Two pirates are at the end of the hallway to your left and start towards you. To your right is your guide from earlier who gestures toward an open door. In here! She says. You do. As she says, and enter the room. There was an F1. My bad. Oof. Oh no. The bottle of oil is too big? Okay, buddy. Okay, the box is three grams. That's all we know. We know that the box is three grams and we got 500 grams of powders. Add items in the order listed. Okay, okay, okay. This is clearly our next thing. We need to make a person fall in love. Okay, so replace the mandrake with 15 
Acton's dried jellyfish. Okay, 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 okay. So, I'm sorry, was it fever? My bad, my bad. Back to here. Fever. It is fever. Okay. So, no wormwood. We need 15 jellyfish. Okay. 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 Okay, we got 800 thieves oil. Willow bark, nine actins. Oh no. Thieves oil. Okay, here we go, baby. First comes the water. Then the powder. Then the powder. How was it? Brox asks. It's a bit sweet, she says with a grimace. She walks over to the crates and tries to move them. However, they stay in place. I don't think we did it right. <laughs> Screaming Argonaut! The one I did was way different. So you made basically three different stories. The story I went through was super different from this. And it had like a turn-based battle system in the end. These are like the most peculiar clues I've ever had to assess. Okay, let's let's give it a genuine effort though. Let's give it a genuine effort here. Okay, so cure for fever Three, what's a spigot? What even is that? Okay. So, but and then we also know that Replace the mandrake with 15 dried shut dried jellyfish. Okay. So, we got this thing. Uh, what is a bottle of oil? Uh, you don't know what that is. What is the jar of powders? 500. Each jar weighs 500. So, we're going to say 500 equals 1. And then there was one other thing. The glass flask. No, what was the other thing I could... The pitcher. Nope. The wooden box. A box is three grams. If that is important. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going back in, baby. Uh, okay. So first we start with the water. How much water? I want 1,500. Each bottle is 500. Look at the main description of the box. Mm -mm. One more try here. Wormwood. How much? A box is three grams. Nine. Jellyfish. I need 15 jellyfish. Got it. Okay. Ooh, I like how there's different descriptions for when you fail. Okay, 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 okay. Nine. 
Nine actins. Okay, so nine actins is three grams. <laughs> so one actin is three grams. Okay. Got it. Eight hundred milliliters is a pitcher. We still know what a spigot is. But it's divisible by three. And there are only two number, well, three numbers here that are divisible by three. We'll try this one. So this one we kind of do get. So three warm wood would be 9 grams. No, because I need 15 for the next one. So we divide them by 3. Jellyfish. 5. Ah, so it's the water I'm messing up. Thieves oil, four spigots. A small glass bottle is four spigots. Okay. All right. I got this now. I don't got this now. 500? Why would you say 500? What's the math there? Kyle, you said 9 actins is 3 grams. So how much is 1 actin? Oh, it's like a third. It's a third of a gram. Here we're looking for numbers that are divisible by four. Oh, wait, I did, think I did something wrong. Yeah, we're looking for, like, divisible by four. So we have 400 and 800. This is complex. Nope. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I think that... This should be one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So water. Let's try a hundo there. Powder. This should be... Wormwood should be one. And then... The jellyfish should be... Five. Ah! Did you measure how many milliliters the bottle contains? Screaming Argonaut! Kind of! You're asking me- you're asking me to talk in- Thieves oils for spigots! And then I'm like- I'm like- This is a gallon of fresh- a gallon of fresh water. Eight hundred milliliters of Thieves oil. So like, what is- So eight hundred- eight hundred milliliters is four spigots. So one spigot would be 200 milliliters. Got it. So 600 is the way to go. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. This is, this is it. We got it, baby.
There are four pirates waiting at each end of the hallway. You look around for the guide, but there is no sign of her. Suddenly, Carlene starts coughing and collapses. As you reach toward her to help, you are suddenly pulled away by a pirate. Another pirate lifts Carlene up and carries her away. This pirate holds... The pirate holding you says not to worry. He'll make sure she's taken care of. The remaining members of your team are led downstairs. You are led to a jail cell. The door is locked behind you. I hope Carlene is okay, says Myra. I think it was the sugar, says Joey. They probably should rethink that one, you say. She'll be fine, says Brox. Carlene can handle anything. If anything, you're the one in trouble. What the hell? <laughs> Okay. We take the musical notes. Yep. A bucket. We take the bucket. Thumb blister. Thanks to me to seven monther. An empty food tray. Yep, we're taking that. A loose brick. Yeah, I'll take the brick. What's behind it? Who knows yet? We'll take the mop. She finds a what? What's a penny whistly? Oh, penny whistle. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to... Hook, mop, and cloth. Yes, it does. That makes total sense. Bucket, mop. Okay, now how do you reach the keys? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Easy, bro. <laughs> For once the hallway is empty, you head up the stairs and find yourself in the hallway near the first two rooms you were in. There's another set of stairs leading to the main deck. Joey looks toward the second room you were in and starts walking towards it. What are you doing? You ask. There's something I want to check out about that potion, he says. A few feet away from you, from the room, a trap door opens. Joey gives a surprised yelp as he falls. You and Brox rush over and peer into the darkness. You okay? Brox yells. I can't move. Joey's voice indicates he's at least two floors down. I think my leg is broken. <sighs> we'll find someone to help you, you say. You and Brox turn around and see Myra looking terrified. What's going on here, Brox asks. I don't know, she yells. But you organized this, you point out. I didn't. I've never planned one of these before. I asked for help and they took care of all the arrangements. I just made the gift baskets. You hear footsteps and see two pirates walking down the stairs. Come with us, please, says one of the pirates. There's a man who's hurt over there, you say, pointing to the trap door. Oh, he'll get what's coming to him, says the pirate. But first, Captain Blackwater has declared it's time for you to lock the plank. This is serious, says Brox. I demand to speak to the owner. You are all looking at a lawsuit that will put you out of business forever. No. There's something wrong, says Myra. They're not going to let us go. She starts to run down the other end of the hallway when the pirate pulls out a gun and shoots her. You and Brock stare in shock at her body as you're prodded up the stairs? As you're being led to the deck, you turn to Brox and say, is this some sort of insane test for the CBRA units? Because it turns out they don't work if they're not activated. I swear to you, Janice, I have no idea what's going on, he says. On the deck, you are led towards five of your fellow employees. They are shaking and look as though they've been through the same ordeal you have. Mr. Brox, Janice, Lonnie from accounting looks relieved to see you. Thank goodness you're okay. Do you know what's happening? Don't worry, folks, says Brox. I'm sure we'll get through this. Two pirates walk past carrying a large piece of wood. You all watch as they set up a plank on the edge of the deck. You too, shouts Brox. I demand to know what's going on here. I, I want to talk to this Captain Blackwater or whoever is in charge here. You hear a familiar voice say, Oh, Atherton. As if you're capable of doing anything without your faithful assistant. 
you turn and see Carlene walk onto the deck, now dressed as a pirate captain. Brox gasps, Car Carlene, but why? She walks up to Brox and looks at him. I've worked with you for over a decade, and you never once noticed my eyes, she says. Your eyes? Yes. All my life, my family has told me I had my grandfather's eyes. <laughs> but I suppose it's hard to recognize them when all of his pictures have been removed from the offices he helped found. Your grandfather was Jasper Gibbon, you ask? Oh, no, whispers Brox. Yes, says Carlene. She gestures to the boat. It's rather appropriate, don't you think? Yo ho ho! It's always been a pirate's life for the Broxes. So much pillaging, and not a single thought about the family your father left in ruins. But now, thanks to my friend and this toy Joey gave me, I can finally have my revenge. She activates her CBRA unit. Activating your own unit, you step forward and say, you're not the only one who can do that trick. <laughs> Carlene attacks you. Your turn. Okay, so we do a few turns of increasing defense. And now we just kill her. We got this. Don't worry, chat. We'll kill her. Too late, Carlene. Did Carlene do a full heal? What happened there? Or did I fail? <laughs> I must have failed. We must have died. You died. Okay. I got too click happy there. Ah! Carlene! Come on, girl. This fight's hard, dude. We got her now. We got her now. Carlene staggers backwards. She frantically inputs commands in her CBRA unit, but nothing happens. I'm out of money, she wails. You smirk. Haha, <laughs> sorry, Carlene. Not everyone can afford their own island. Her eyes widen as you rush towards her, shouting, It's time for Chrysoplea! You grab her by the waist and leap in the air where you turn one somersault and throw her to the ground. Now, she shouts, You promised you would help me. You notice her forehead start to glow, and the numbers 334 appear. Who are you talking to? You ask. You receive no answer as her body bursts into flames, leaving only a pile of ashes. As Brox and the remaining retreat participants thank you, you can hear sirens in the distance, signaling the Coast Guard is on the way. Your apartment building has never looked so beautiful. Your housekeeper sent you a text telling you the food you ordered is staying warm in the oven, and you just picked up a bottle of your favorite wine. The burnt orange sky is a welcome sign that this long day is finally over. As you step off the elevator to your penthouse floor, you notice a door in the hallway that you've never seen before. It's smoky, and you wouldn't think it was real if not for the fact that you can touch it. It has what appears to be a lock, asking for a nine-digit number. What are the first three numbers? Easy. What are the next three numbers? Ha <laughs> so easy. And the last three? Ah, easy. With a puff, the door disappears. You run your hands over the wall, but it's back to normal. You turn around and finally return to your apartment. Oh, was that Shippy Deuce? <laughs> if you have the right code, you can fight Shippy Deuce. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
Scream Yard now. Put it in chat. Put it in chat for chat. It's already dark when you finally sit down to eat. You check your phone and see dozens of frantic messages from around, from nearly everyone you know. Your life, this whole world, will never be the same. You glance at your front door, hanging from the hook in the last remaining, is the last remaining CBRA unit. Seeing that, you solemnly vow that if this world comes under attack again, Executive Cobra will be there to protect it. Screaming Argonaut, Aspo Zaprooter. Special thanks to Wine the Bard. That was made with twine. The week passes. You're sitting in your kitchen, preparing a cup of tea when you hear a knock on the door. You open it. There's no one in sight. On the ground, you see an envelope. You open what appears to be an invitation. What is the bruised ego tournament, you ask? <laughs> Good stuff! If your story ends leading into the bruised ego's fighting game, I'm pretty stoked. What was the code? Screaming Argonaut, did you put it in chat? You didn't. You're just going to hide the code for shippy dues? Okay. I think that's rude. If the, go if the code can be found in-game, don't post it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You get it at the end of each route. Oh. I missed that thing. Hold up, hold up. There we go. This might be game capture. Let me see. Let me see what we got here. Ray Loaza recognized it from the music. That looks like that'll work. Game capture. Cool. How many games left? Like 20! <laughs> okay, so this game... This is an RPG. This is starring Haver. Huh, so he's the one. I don't know about this. Oh, what a bad dream. You always sleep this much? A uh, flying dog? Wait, you're talking. Am I still dreaming? I tried my hardest to wake you for hours. And I ain't no dog. I'm a fairy kid. The name's Tisku. And we need to get going. Where to you? We have to find Aegis and Faced! What is going on here? I should talk to the Elder about this. Yeah, check out this style, dude. How does this even function? Hey, Chief! Huh? Oh, uh, Hava, was it? This dog broke into my house and woke me up! Is it yours? Fairy, Amora, and I'm a fairy! And it's Tisku! We need to go to the Aegis! Aegis, oh my. Hava, my boy, you need to take this new friend of yours to the old grove. Has it really been a hundred years? What? Why? Do you two know each other? Never mind that. I can explain once you get back. Just head out of the village and go straight forward.
Thanks for the Austria-friendly stream, but probably going to fall asleep soon. Watch the VOD. Have a nice one. Thanks, Danoni. So Leo times in chat. This is your game. You'll help me. I got lost at a certain point. I didn't know where to go. Look at this world map chat. Oop. We got a battle first. This is Unreal Engine 4, huh? I can give some directions if you want. Sure, 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 sure. France in your pants is a two-monther. This game looks like that one CDI Zelda game. Which one? <laughs> I'm not familiar with a Zelda game that has this appearance. Uh, I think your HP gets refilled once you get back to the world map every time. Or maybe it's when you level up, I'm not sure. But we won't have to use our potions for a while. It's a level up, gotcha. Blueprints are in this context. <laughs> A sword? Are you there? Huh? Can you hear me? Yeah. Where am I? I need your help. Help? Yeah, will you help me? I will. Sure. Help with what, though? It's a deal, then. What? What's happening? Huh? I'm Beepy. <laughs> Blueprints are a way of coding game logic in Unreal Engine 4. Gotcha. Visual scripting. So the way this works is with a blueprint. Gotcha. That voice. Was I talking to you? Yes. I needed your promise for the link. Promise? I've linked to you in order to come back. We are connected by a, a life link. Okay. I don't really get it, but I did promise to help you, though. It's good to see you again, kid. Tesku, how long has it been? Too long. About a hundred years. I see. Is there anyone left? Just me. <laughs> and it's almost time. Let's go then. Wait up. Uh, Ramen, thanks for being a six monther. BB, join the party. UE4 has C support but also a graph block based programming scripter called blueprint which can be used to code stuff chat you're already talking over my head <laughs> I 
All right, so chat, we got to get these two characters up to level four. I got rocked last time I did the next fight. We got him level three, so that's nice. We go this way, actually. Jocko, thanks for being a six monther. Uh oh. Look at our home. Look at that, look at that cool mana tree. <laughs> Can't go home yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. One more level up. Actually, I wonder if... I'm gonna go try to pick up a party member. Let's see if we can do this now. Level four, baby. It's very interesting to read chat talking about Unreal Engine 4 and making their own games and stuff. And being able to see something like what we're playing right now, and they're like, oh yeah, I get how you did that. That's really cool. Man, we can get to level 5. kitten bit yeah so the uh isle isle game i was like gonna save for like the second half we're, we're only playing our fourth game right now <laughs> all right we're level five my progress has been slow so far what happened we're too late no yeah He's already back. Yeah! Hashtag all 23. How cool is this? Look at how crazy is this right here? Chief. <laughs> hey. You'll pay what you've done here, monster. My lady, her blade. I didn't do this. No more talking. <laughs> I guess we should do fire. Keep an eye 
Ryan Havers HP. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got this. We got this. Yeah, okay, so, like, past level 5, we start getting into some weird decimals. And I truly enjoy this stuff. We... I'll end this right here! Stop it. Before you hurt everyone else, I said stop it! <laughs> oh, no. She's losing control! BB! Baby! Baby! Listen to me! B... B... What? You came back. Yeah. I'm happy. I got to see you again. Uh, you didn't do this? We've been trying to tell you that! No, but I know who did it. I see. My apologies. Oni, uh, do you sense any more ether? Yes, it's faint, but <laughs> it leads out of town. We need to hurry then. You too. You shouldn't remain here. Hold on a minute. Do you know what happened here? Yeah, it's an Aegis. You're one as well, right? <laughs> Let us come with you. What? We need to find the one that did this as well. And you need to find... And you need the power of an Aegis against another one. <laughs> Very well. Let's head out. The ether leads toward the world tree. More party members, BB. BB. More party members, BB. Now nah, go back to the camp. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been here before. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to camp. We're going to go to the hidden cave. And then I actually don't know what to do after that. We need 1.842 experience to level up. A camp? Oh, humans are adventurers, yes? <laughs> I suppose so. You will do. Huh? Pwn Pwn will join you, yes. Absolutely not. Gah! It's Pwn Pwn, right? You're a Nobu? Far away from your home? <laughs> I can fight. Out of the question. We don't know him. He could be an enemy. And how could a soft, tiny creature like that fight? Hey, be nice to him. Nubus can be formidable, especially with magic. Yes. Ponpon will join you then. Well, we can't stop him from following us. Okay. Alright. Now we're going to go do a tough fight. Oops, I think I just walked right back in. Please don't sue Nintendo. Nintendo, please. Be cool, Nintendo. The damage, bro. Okay, so now we need 1,109.026 experience points to level up next.
Leo time, I have to ask if that was intentional or not. Look at the damage I just did. 50.000002. If intentional, genius. I ran into an issue very late and had to cut back on enemy variety. Interesting. I'm not complaining. Everyone has the same stats? No. Everyone has the same um, uh, requirements for leveling up. However, we can check out their stats. By the way, the other three characters don't have implemented uh, character art yet. But as you can see, Pon Pon has very low strength. Oni's got great strength, dude. Fire strike. Here we go. Got him. <laughs> it was just an echo. Are you all right? You seem a little shook up. It's okay. It just reminded me before he turned to darkness. Darkness? Yes. He wasn't always like this. Back when we were created, he helped me control my power. We were the same, like siblings. <laughs> Back at the village. Was it like that? Y yeah, sort of. Maybe I wasn't ready to come back. No way! Huh? You regained control, I believe in you. We need to get going, my lady. You're right. <laughs> Have her. <laughs> so in this world... Dark shippy doos... What, what used to be... A good force. Oh, okay. So, Leo time. Now go to the world tree. It... Okay. You'll see what happens when I try to go to the world tree. I couldn't do it last time. I tried. Look at this BP squad. Everyone is so strong now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's just bop, bop, bop. I'm not even mad about the uh, random battles. go. Crossing the bridge. Oop. 
How long did this take? So all the games were made within a month. Insert disc two. And then there's an invisible wall. This is the end of the game? <laughs> I mean, look, look how cool this city is, and then look at the world tree. You know what I mean? Man, I was searching for the way to get across this river. RPGs are hard to make. Yeah. There was no warning that that's the... Oh my gosh, Leo time. I'm glad you were here. I'm glad you were watching the stream today because like... <laughs> I was really trying to find a way to get over there. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this is not where these assets and this idea and concept dies. This looks awesome. Wins disc two, exactly. Yeah, don't let that die there. That's sweet. Oh yeah, that was running in UE4. <laughs> that was cool. Very, very cool. Let's do... Oh, no. There's a couple of games that I did not beat, not for length, but for difficulty. Well, let's do this one, and then we'll take a break. This one is too hard for me. Legit. <laughs> I know that makes you excited. <laughs> Let me see if game capture works. No. So let's try window capture. There we go. Nice. Perhaps this project was very mentally draining to make, so I won't do anything like it for a while, but I'd like to make something in a retro style someday. Yeah, Leo time. I think it's a huge success. I think there are some games that are going for like a PS1 aesthetic. I think most of them are like horror games. And I think you really have something there with that uh, RPG style for sure. SD. Oh, maybe I do have to use keyboard. SD. Where, where am I? What? What is this place? God, my head feels like I was struck with a chariot. How in all hell did I get here? I can hardly remember a thing after. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can't be dead. No, I was trying to stop this. I can't... My whole body. There's nothing left. By the gods, there's nothing left of me. Just bones. Okay, focus, Alex. Focus. This is a trick. Okay, stop panicking. Got to go... Got to figure this out. I've got to find her. Uh, can I use the other game? No. Okay. So, that's right. Oh, it's not, okay, okay, my bad, chat. I'm sorry for not even looking up that whole time. So, window capture is not working. Um, We'll have to do display capture. <laughs> my chat, I'm so sorry. That whole dialogue went by and I didn't even see. So, this should work just fine. Oh, my face cam. Oh, my God, chat. Easy fix. Boom. My bad. <laughs> no sound, no webcam. I don't believe this game has sound. Oh. Oh, no, no. Okay. 
No sound, didn't have time to add it. No, that's fine. You feel strange otherworldly strength. Cosmic power surges through your bones, and you have gained the power of the spectral strike. Press L to dash. Okay. So now we can do this, and this works in any direction. So you can kind of just do that right there. Heh <laughs> But as you can see, it's about to get nasty. Oh! Okay, so how did I do this last time? You st still got a double jump. Oh, it didn't activate, but this is fine. This is fine. And then a little of this. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Okay, 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 okay. I actually forget how I got this jump last time. No! You gotta be a little more patient, Kyle. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Whew. Feels like Celeste now? Yeah. Heck yeah. A moving, guying skeleton. I'm, I'm gonna die. Calm yourself, child, small child. I assure you, I'm just as upset as you are to see me in this state. Oh my god, you're so gross and evil looking. Are you here to curse me? At this rate, I think we're heading in that direction. Unless... Uh, unless you tell me where we are. What is this dense metal forest I've been sent to? You mean Zephandra? Yeah? It's a city. Have you, like, never been to a city? Do not attempt to deceive me, Tiny Menace. I know what a city looks like. This is nothing of the sort. Where's the forum? Hmm? The temples? Not even a boiled werehog? The <laughs> food stand in sight. Gosh, you're weird. You're even weirder than that other skeleton. Nice. Other skeleton? Well, yeah... The one with all the old-timey armor running around the city doing bad stuff. Showed up a few days ago when the comet appeared. That's why I thought you were here with them. A comet. Alright, well, uh, I'm not standing around for you to change your mind and cursing me. Bye-bye uh, forever, evil skeleton. Wait, tell me where- Damn. Gone. Could that unsettling child be right? Could this be some sort of city? And named Zephandria? The child also mentioned a comet. Where could it be? This is all too much to process. That skeleton, though. I'm coming, Esty. Okay. So, here we go. Boop, boop. Oh, yep, nice. Uh, I think this one you do. Boop, boop. Oh, God. Nope. Okay. There we go. Boop, boop. Okay. I hesitated. See Elmir. Okay. Don't hesitate, bro. Okay, spikes. No. No. Okay. Boo boo. Okay. The double jump always gets me, bro. So I think I need to be closer. No! Let's try from here. Okay, 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 okay. And then all of this. Oh, no! Okay. How about this, dude? Not consistent. Okay. Uh-huh. There we go. No! That's on me. I was pressing over. No! No! Okay. No! Use the wall jump first. Problem is, I can't get the wall jump consistently. No. God. Being a little more patient. The bottom, the bottom of that being a death is a little much for me. Okay, so we do this, a little of this, and then the... No, no! 
Swear to me I hit those spikes. Swear to me. No! What spikes? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is not the part that I got stuck on. I've done this. I'm dying. All right, chat. Okay. No! What spikes? What spikes? Okay. Celeste is in the never list. It is. And you're seeing why. <laughs> you're seeing why we're never doing a Celeste stream. <laughs> no. Okay, so I think... I wonder if we diagonaled it before, right? That seems like... Yes. That's it, bro. The diagonal. We got it now, baby. No, Kyle, not there though. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Double jump first, then diagonal. Okay. Yes. No, what spikes? <laughs> I'm naming this game what spikes. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why not go straight up there? Uh, right here, you mean? I guess uh, you can't you can't double jump off of a wall jump, and you can't you can't do your dash either. Classiest hobo. Thanks for being a nine monther. Damn, I forgot this was happening. So bummed I'm just joining now. We have a lot of games left. Don't worry. There's still much to see. So you can't do a wall jump after... Sorry, you can't do a double jump after a wall jump, and you can't do a dash after a wall jump. So this is the only way up. All right, Kyle. I've seen enough of this bit. Go ahead and finish the level now. How dare you? I guess we're going to do a diagonal. That must have been how I did it. Ah! No, I know better. I know better. I didn't mean to do a diagonal there. I actually know better. Okay. So we're actually going to get close here. We're going to do a straight up. We're going to do a straight up. Yep. 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 Got our key. Whew. Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay, buddy. First try. Hey there, miss. You seem a bit lost. You new to Zephandria? Don't look at me, please. Whatever strange hell ritual you are in the middle of, just don't let me interrupt. Listen! I know it can be an overwhelming city the first time. If you'd like, come have a cup of coffee on the house. Where's this house? No, let's just come over here a sec. I'll brew you a fresh one. You aren't disgusted by what I look like? Nah, unless you got a bone to pick with me. Just a little barista humor, but uh, don't mean nothing by it. Here's your cup. This smells, this smells delicious. I had a drink like this once. Long ago. Oh yeah? Tell me about it. <laughs> I used to be a warrior. The greatest of my era. Me and my closest companions of Phandrius rose through the ranks of our city's army until we soon became the spear tip at the end, the front of many conquests. None could best me. Even Zavandrius, who was closest to my skill, could never win a duel between us. As I fought, I found only victory, and our borders expanded. Our people cheered. I was their champion. I loved it, but it became all I knew. Death, destruction, I returned from battle each day, only to rest for tomorrow's bloodshed. I knew only glory, and the taste became bitter in my mouth. Much like a dark roast in need of some cream and sugar, I reckon. Very much so. And one day I found my own cream and sugar. <laughs> I 
She was the greatest of our nation's engineers. Hephaestria. I often paid her no heed, yet once we crossed paths after a battle, I had won us victory, but could not sleep for nightmares of the day found me. She was the only other awake. As dawn slowly approached, she said if we could not sleep, she knew something to keep me awake at least. She poured us cups of liquid, quite like your coffee, and we drank together as we watched the sun rise over the hills. We began to do that every morning. The nightmares continued, but I didn't mind. This drink, it brings me back to the best moments of my life. Thank you for this. Thank you for that story of yours. I think it an equal trade. Whatever you're here in the city for, I wish you luck. And keep an eye for my stand. I've got more coffee if you have more tales. I will. Goodbye, coffee man. Get up there. There we go. Okay. No. Diagonal. There we go. Okay. All right, Chatteroonie. Here we go. Okay. Great. Nice. Okay. We actually... God, we're already at the part I can't get past. This right here. Okay. So remember, you cannot dash nor double jump after a wall jump. So, the only way through here is to become a wall jump master. That I am not. Okay, oh, no, no! Okay, 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 we're fine. Okay, so, we do... Uh, uh, oh, no, no! Uh, 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 duh, duh. <laughs> the death count is going to go up. <laughs> Dash first. Oh, to at least get some height, you mean? Yeah, I get... Oh, no. Ooh, ooh, we're doing it. Nice shot. That was maybe five minutes yesterday. <laughs> No! <laughs> okay. Hello, Bluebird. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh! Okay. No! Oh, great checkpoint. Ah. Duh, go. Okay. Great. No. No. Line them up. There we go, buddy. Nice. Yes. Yes. Oh, no, not you again. I have a name you know. Fine. What is your name? Kugin. <sighs> that has made it unimaginably worse. Why were you nice to that coffee guy? Oh, well, he seemed a good man. Why would I not? Huh. You really aren't like that other skeleton. What's your name? I'm Alex... Who am I kidding? Your mind is too small for grand names and titles. Call me, uh, call me Alex, okay? Now tell me, Kugan, where is the skeleton? Don't know. But they really like the comet in the sky. They attacked SCL Corp to get the scoop on it. SCL Corp, eh? Who is she? Uh, it's not a she, it's a company. Real bad. They do evil stuff to people who make new technology run by a lady so heartless. Some call her Executive Cobra. Anyway, they've been studying the comet. I think they want to use it to make some awful things for money. The only uh, the other skeleton went in to see what they found out. Then I shall go in too. This SCL Corp is just ahead. Yeah, watch out though. The place is a death trip. 
I'm already well acquainted with death. Thank you for the information, Kugan. When you're in there, uh, do you think you could break some of their stuff? Uh, they've hurt some of my friends. Maybe if you trash their place, they can't hurt people for a while. That is not my battle, Kugan. But if I find anything smashable, I'll see what I can do. What? Okay. <laughs> All good, baby. No, game! No! 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 <sighs> okay. No. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't even need to listen to you, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I see so many spikes. No, no. Uh, how about this? Ba no. Oh. <laughs> yes? No. Okay, that's it though, dude. Oh. Uh. Yes, and then okay. Now we do it. Yeah. Boop and then boop me up. Yes. Boop me up. Should we break that box for Coogan? I'm not breaking it. Sorry, Coogan. <laughs> no. No. No, okay. Yep, 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 yep. That's for Coogan. Okay, okay. No. Actually, we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. No. Why are you dragging me? No. No. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. The thing is, it's okay. There we go. And then boop de boop de boop. Hell yeah. Double jump. Yeah, I was. The the spikes just the spikes got some range, you know. No. N what spikes? There. We no. Okay. All right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is good. This is actually good. Yes! Okay. Okay. Interesting. These large glowing wall tablets have writing carved into them. The SEL Corp has been studying this comet. By the god, it is the same comet. They were testing fragments of the comet on innocent people. And it looks like there's a determination. The comet will be closest to the blimp today, unleashing mass amounts of power. Could that be why I... It doesn't matter. The SEL Corp notes that most of their subjects have died from the exposure. Seems it is fatal to most without a... This company truly does not care for the well-being of others. That much is clear. Kugan was right about them. Very well, then. Time to smash. What? What the hell? Okay. Cool. That was nice. <laughs> Hey there, my hoodie cloaked friend. Here, I'll brew you a new cup. Seems like you've kicked up some ruckus in your wake. This SEL Corp had it coming. Their metal palace is a death trap. 
and they hurt people just to fuel their own gain. I won't argue with it. But I suppose I can't be the one to judge. In my day, as champion of my people, I was a monster. I fought and killed without hardly thinking. I loved being praised, being known. But the cost was so many lives cut short. Maybe how I look now is how I have always deserved to look. How I've always been. But your girl wouldn't think that's the case, would she? No. No, Esty always believed in the best of me. She had made me what I want. She made me want to be better. To be the Alex that she knew that she loved. I stopped fighting. Stopped the conquests. Zephandrius was furious. He said our people needed to be strong, but I'd never felt stronger than sitting with Esty. No bad night. No bloodshed. Just her and I at the sunrise. I was so frightened of losing her, of knowing a life without her. I don't care at all about my new empire, my armies. The one thing I didn't want to fade was her and I. Seems like that's something worth trying to keep. But I suppose that nothing lasts forever, even if we love it more than anything. I know. I thought so too. Till I heard a tale of a comet that streaked through the skies long ago, bringing with it magic and life, the power to live forever. Huh? That wouldn't happen to be the comet streaking through the sky overhead this very moment, would it? <laughs> and if the word around town is true, you ain't the only one looking for it. I know. Listen, you didn't hear from me. But there's a shortcut to the roof of the building next door. If you find a few keys to the air ducts, shouldn't be the closest. Should be the closest you'd get to the comet in the city. Thank you. Should probably get going then. Best get to it then. And Alex? Yeah. In my book, you're better than us, SCL bozos. Cause you got something you're actually fighting for. Thanks. No key, dude. No access. Okay. I'm nervous. So we're dead. I mean, like, we're... We're in parts of this game I have not seen yet. Who knows what dastardly traps await. Pardon my snot. Ba 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 ba. No. How about a little bop, chi bop, chi bop, bop? Oh, so close. Okay, okay, okay. You don't have to chase it. It's just as easy to do it the right way. Okay. <laughs> no! Okay, we're fine. A little of this. Zip, okay. Ha! Ye! Ha! Okay. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. What the hell? We're gonna be wall jumping off this stuff right here? Okay, or we could just ride the top. You could have just ridden the top. You could have been cool. You could have been cool. You could have been cool. I'm going to try to do it again. Oh. <laughs> Doodle pop. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, we need another key still. That's just one key. Huh. Okay. Hmm. The other key is in the other direction. Okay. Okay, so we got through that. That was kind of fun. That's some good stuff. Do you mean up there? 
Oh no. How am I gonna get up there, dude? A little do 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 do. Ooh. Okay, how about a straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. Uh, no, dude. Oh, oh, ah, oh, oh, okay. That box is an optional dumb challenge that does nothing. Okay, good to know. I could have been hanging out there for a while. Okay, so you just mean completely left for the next challenge then. Oh, wait, what if we... What if we just... What if we just... What if we just... Oh! oh. What if we just... Come on, bro. Okay, 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 okay. So boop. Boop, boop. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. One more try. One more try. Nope. I actually wonder if I have more height. I do not. Okay. No, we got this. Didn't come out. Uh, it's a pixel. It's a pixel. It's a pixel. It's a pixel. Yes. Yes. Seems like you need another few pixels up there. <laughs> okay. Keep running into you, don't I? Oh no. Oh no, is this guy bad? Seems so! Business gets slow this time of night, so I'll open up here where I can see the city nice. I'll brew you some nice dog roast. Seems you're pretty close now, eh? Yeah. Say, did you ever have any luck when you first went looking for that comet? Yeah, I did. Comet never came back in our lifetime, but I searched and searched. I commanded all of our army against... Zephrandrius' objections to scour the land, sparing nothing to find traces of the comet left here. We found two tiny pieces of it that had broken off and come to Earth centuries before, each no bigger than a tiny rock. They hardly held any of the magic they once had. In the end, the hopes I had for such a discovery were dashed, but I showed them to Esty and she had an idea. She used her engineering skill to fashion us two matching necklaces. Sort of like that necklace you got on right there. Yeah. Uh, you could say that. I had failed to find anything to keep us alive and together. My years of conquest gave way to realizing she was the only thing that mattered, and I couldn't even keep that. But she handed me one of the necklaces she made, and she said it was beautiful. That it was beautiful because I tried to keep us together all the same. I told her, who knows, maybe that comet will come one day, and even if our day has passed, it will bring us back to be with each other again. She just smiled at that, but... But here you are, on the day the comet is closest. You aren't trying to get to the comet at all, are you? You're just trying to find that other one who came back to life. You're trying to find her. <laughs> Don't go sitting around here, then. Go find your girl. I will. Thank you for the coffee, for listening, for, for not turning away at the mere sight of me. 
It's the first thing you learn making coffee. I know the good beans when I see them. Okay. Ooh. Hey. hey. Bah. Uh, bah. Uh-huh. A little zipty zoop. A little... Uh... Okay. Oh no! No! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> we're fine. No! No. Okay, a little zip de doo da. You know what? He. Oh! Okay. Fair enough. No! How long have we been playing this? Good question. No! <laughs> Actually, I think that'll be easier now. <laughs> A little, yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Okay. No! Okay, fine, 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 fine. <laughs> that was a dirty bop. Okay, bud. Boop de boop de boop. Okay. Bop, 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 uh-huh. Come on back. Boop, boop. Great. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Woo! Okay, okay. No! Okay. This looks sick. I want to speed run it. Yeah, I actually really like those diagonals. Esty! Esty, it's me, Alex. I finally found you again. Esty! Hello, Alexandria. Zeph. Zeph, why are you here? Why do you have... Where did you get that necklace? Oh, Alexandria. You really don't remember? Ooh, poor thing. Time has not been kind to you, I see. I got this necklace from you. From... I don't... I don't understand. You lost focus, Alexandria. You went mad. Started using the armies that we once commanded to gather to search for your foolish quest to live forever. No thought to your empire... Our people, me, everyone knew you were no longer fit to lead. I cared about our empire. You only cared about her. I did what had to be done. You bastard. What did you do to Hesty? Oh, please. I never touched dear Hes Hephaestia. It was you I confronted. I asked you to step down, pass power to me. You selfishly refused, as I should have expected. We fought, and despite your claims of always being better, your years of sentimental carelessness left you weak. I took your necklace from iron. If it did have power, our people's leader ought to have it. No. No, that can't be. And if, if you killed me, how am I still here with my necklace all the same? Your necklace? Ha! <laughs> Let me explain. You see, poor Hephaestia was a fool to the end. I fear after I cut you down, she arrived. She rushed you away before I could stop her, hid you from me, and left you with her necklace in some hope it would revive you. In the end, I suppose she was right. Perhaps she was not so foolish after all. This necklace 
has after all brought me back. This necklace, it's, it's hers. Oh, gods, but afterward, Esti. She lived, right? Oh, certainly not. We found her after she had hidden you. When she refused to tell us where your body was, the where body was, the judges deemed she was to be killed. Treason. No. No. Please. Please. Tell me you're lying, Zeph. For God's sake, tell me you're lying to me. I'm sorry, old friend. She is never coming back. Your quest for eternal life only brought her demise. But you are here. Alexandria, don't you see? We have brought... We have both been brought back. And now that our necklaces are charged with the power of the comet, we can finally change the world. I've thought it all through. In the past few days, I've become so powerful, charged by the comet, and now I will bring it down, crash into the planet, and with all that power, we can reshape the world, like we always dreamed, Alex. No more distractions, no more foolish concepts of affections. We can shape the world into our vision at long last. Come with me, Alex. Alex just, just kill me, Seth This city, your world It doesn't matter to me anymore Nothing matters She's gone Please just finish what you started Well, that's too bad I guess she truly broke you You are not the strong woman I knew, Alexandria Very well I will see to the comet before it gets out of range, I will return after to claim the other necklace. Beep, 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 beep. Alex, what are you doing? I just overheard. He said he's going to crash the comet into the planet. Everyone will die. We have to stop him. Coogan? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't stop him. I can't help anyone. It wouldn't matter anyway. God. What did she ever see in me? A bloodthirsty tyrant? Maybe this form suits me after all. I thought you were a good skeleton. I saw you stopped SEL. You wanted to help the people, right? No, I just wanted to smash. Fine. Whatever. You stay here and wallow. But this is my city. This world is filled with my friends. And I'm not going to let that dumb skeleton take that away. <laughs> Romelli, thanks for being a brand new sub. Wait, stop. God has damned it. That foolish kid is only going to get himself killed. He doesn't have a chance against Zephandrius. But why do I even care? Without Esty, why is this world even worth saving? But damn. I can't just leave him, can I? In this world? This is the world where I met her. The world she loved. The world where simply sipping coffee at sunrise was all she ever asked of me. Ah, Coogan! You look down and out, my friend. I'm sorry, I don't have a fresh pot brewed for you this time. I'm sorry I didn't end up being nasty. So, what are you gonna do? I, I think I'm about to go up there and bite a dumb old skeleton to save a stupid kid. You asked... You asked what she ever saw in you. Well, for what it's worth, I think she saw someone who would do something like that. Good luck, Alex. How'd you get up here? 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 The comet fills you with power, and every fiber of your being drives you further ahead. You can now use two spectral strikes in a row! Oh, no. Oh, hell no. No, Celeste. No! <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Okay. No. 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 
<laughs> God. Uh-huh. Cheesy, cheesy. Cheesy works, my friend. Cheesy works. Huh. No! Oh, good, checkpoint. Okay, 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 okay. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, my God. Let's see what's up ahead, bro. I don't think we're going to cheese that. I do. E yes. We play by my rules. Brother, what is the meaning of that wall? No. Good checkpoint. What's the meaning of this? Why did you make this? Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. No, this is okay. No! What spikes? Tall wall. <laughs> It's just a stretched out platform. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. My way. My way. What I say goes. Okay, I don't think we're cheesing our way out of that. Usher chat? Okay, buddy. Okay. Hey, <laughs> okay. No! <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Stop this. We, I just, like, we might have to leave the game at this point. I don't want to. You know I don't want to. I got a diagonal down into that one. Ooh, how did I get a third? No, no. You're cursed. You're cursed. No! Okay, okay. I, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. We don't play like that. We do this usher's way. Okay. No! No! Okay. Was the snow moving before? Those are stars. <laughs> How you call why are you calling the snow? There we go. Oh, spikies. Uh-huh. And then a little uh, uh, No! Okay, good checkpoint. Okay, okay, we're fine. Uh duh. <laughs> no <laughs> okay uh-huh a little this little yes 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 quite yes quite yes quite you're my favorite student after all thanks professor what the hell oh you gotta do another one after that my god Duh, duh. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yep. <sighs> These Kyle voices are unreal. It's this is the only game that gets those out of me. It's intense platforming games, man. Oh, Alexandria, I thought you were just waiting to die. Getting impatient. Fine. Let me just rid the world of this pesky child first. Let. Kugan, go. Oh, that's adorable. You learned its name. When did my bloodthirsty champion of a friend grow a heart? When someone believed I could be more than a tool of war, I'm sorry you never found a way to be more, buddy. Very well, then. Your taunts have worked. I'll see to your destruction first. But if you ever beat me, Alexandria, you'll continue to be a monstrous skeleton living in a world that isn't yours. No, Zeth. I'm here the way I... I'm here the way I am because someone who loved me wanted me to live on, and this world will always be the one she and I shared. You will not destroy it. Very well then, champion. 
try and destroy me. What the hell? Stop this. Stop it. God, stop. Stop. Ugh. Oh, that hurts you to even zip through them. Oh my god. Stop this. Stop this! No! 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 Okay. Stop! When is your opening? Hi, when are you open? Oh! Uh! Oh, I think I gotta destroy these. And then you. Bah. Hi, when are you open? Gah. Celestream when? Never. It's actually on the never list. Oh my god. No! Ay, ay, ay. At least now we know it's all dodge until the three crystals arrive. <laughs> but we need it. <laughs> you don't need it, chat. Oh my god, this is... I can't... I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Oh my gosh, just put the... Bring me your crystals. What, what are you hanging on to? What was that? No, no! There we go. No! <laughs> Chat, we went up to... I don't... I don't, do not feel confident in my ability to beat this final boss. <sighs> I don't think I can do it. No. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Bring me your crystals. Bop. 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 What? Uh-oh, you're about to unleash Cranky Kyle. You give me one opportunity to do damage every three minutes? And you're just going to keep that shield on? Ooh, he's actually unshielded now. Maybe we can get a twofer. Oh, my God. He's open. He is open right now. Uh, hi, are you open? Not open. Next game, uh, well, let me, let me, oh, <laughs> no, we made it. Hey, okay, 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 okay. No, okay, that's it, that's it, that's it, that was it, that was it. I cannot, this would take, this would take me some time to get good at this fight. It's possible. It's definitely possible. But we gotta move on. I like the story of this one. Uh, good backstory. Take a breather. No, the chat, there's going to be more than one game today that we simply can't finish. It's going to keep happening. We can't finish every game today. It's going to keep going on. It's now 742. I think that was our fifth game we finished. We got to we got to pick up our pace. This one had me hooked. 
but I know that this will take this will take multiple tries. Veritas, don't don't spoil that for other people who are gonna play. Break time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna break. That's a that's a good twist, though. That's a good twist. Okay. All right. All right, Chatter We'll take a quick break and then we'll come back and we'll play some more games. See you soon. Bungalow, she felt so young tonight. She was much younger than the others. Feeling like a prisoner there in the life she stuck. She knew they couldn't miss her. And then they took her as her one to the left. You're all to me. Cause she wanted me. Uh, Unity, that last one was. Oops. Uh, hold up. Chat's getting knifeful there. The list and everything. There we go. <laughs> I think it's a cool looking desktop, chat. Final Blade, we already played. We already played Final Blade. So actually, yeah, we're, we, what, we've, so we've gone through, six, one, two, three, four, six, seven, seven or eight. So we're doing okay. And, uh, the next one is, um, a quickie. Um, next one we can do pretty fast.
Yeah, I'd realize straight up dearbossman at gmail.com was like right up there. You could see people's emails. I hope I hope nobody's email address was exposed there or names. I'm so sorry if that happened. The the dumb I it was I forgot I did display capture for that last one and not window capture. My sincerest apologies if that just happened. Uh, is that in downloads, perhaps? I got them saved in two different files, which is not helping. Yeah, there's that Moochie. There he is. Bro, where are you? Oh, I think that one's browser-based, isn't it? That would explain that. Okay, okay, okay. So let me do this. Boop, cheap, boop. <laughs> Dox me, daddy. Chat, that is... Don't say stuff like that. <laughs> Just don't, chat. <laughs> That's the worst. That's the worst one. Don't read it out loud. I don't know what... You're right. Screaming Argonaut. I don't know what impulse that is. I don't know why that keeps happening. All right. I'll scroll down a little bit so you don't have to look at those nipples the whole time we play this. I think I'm running this in Chrome right now. Give me a sec, actually. My bad, my bad. A lot of the games just don't work in Chrome if it's browser-based. I find you gotta do Firefox. Auto mod won't even let you say save come anymore. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, not Chrome. I need you to be doing a Firefox. No, not that though, dude. What the hell? What is it? What is this? What is this? My apologies, chat. I closed. I closed Chrome and then just opened Chrome again. Force a habit. All right, there we go. There we go. Run game. Hell yeah. Window capture. It's all good, baby. All right. Mountain Dew Major Melon, not Diet Mountain Dew today. That's good stuff. Such a nerd, Marina. You always play with your dumb, stupid cards. Oh, sorry, yeah, we're looking at nipples this whole time again. And there you go. Instead of doing cool things, like posting videos on TikTok. That's mean. They're not just cards. They're called Ultra Monsters. Ultra Monsters? That sounds so dumb. More like Ultra Lame. Where do you even get these things? The nerd store? <laughs> I, I found them in a box in my grandparents' basement. Let me see one. Grabs card. Rips it in half. No! <laughs> Hope you didn't like that one. It was my favorite. Cute little chippy dudes. <laughs> Smell you later. Uh, I'm finally free. Time to take over the world. Not on my watch! Marina. Not anymore. I've evolved into pew pew 
Ultra Mint. You're my favorite Ultra Monster, but I won't let you do bad things. I'm going to turn you back into a card. Also, I realized I can summon Ultra Monsters if I, could the, if I put the cards in this fancy binder. That's nice. I'll be back with my evil minions. Okay, so this is tower defense, baby. Yep, 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 yep. So we walk around with this, and then we can place our monsters by pressing different keys. Um, watch and be amazed about how a true pro plays this. Uh, you can pick up tweets over here for your eagle level to stay up. Uh, they leave cards behind sometimes, which gives you another spawn. So basically, all all of your units cost the same amount. They all cost one card. So you would think number one would be the weakest thing. You gotta, like, not have too many of those, you know? However, they have incredible range. Nothing gets past these babies. Making a balanced game wasn't a requirement. If anything, I prefer unbalanced. <laughs> <laughs> like, when you're testing, you're probably not testing this. <laughs> This is just rude. But look at the range on these bad boys. Is this a world record? Yeah, we're probably going to get the world record for this game. A lot of chat insists on using every element in a, in a game. You know what I mean? They're a bunch of berry eaters. Monster Hunter Berry Eaters. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Tomb Guess, baby. So we got this new enemy. I believe when we pick this up, yes. So now we actually have this enemy, too. No damage, but slows enemy in a radius every three seconds. Oh, no! I need to get back in the map. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. you got to let me back in. Oh, my God. I, I just escaped the map. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> but you know me, chat. I read... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, the flames. I read no damage, and I'm like, please. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Six cards available. Hell yeah, dude. Load it up. <laughs> nice. Ooh, another card even. Yeah, this might break my computer. <laughs> Look at those flames. <laughs> I love this. Yep, 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 yep. Mm, little boop, 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 boop. Keeping the ego high. Get them. Get them. Get them. My ego is high. Feeling the vibes. Getting those tweets. Saving those lives. <laughs> you know what like uh we were talking about how we found that treasure chest right we had an excellent clue and we went straight to the spot it was described and it, like it must be feel very rewarding as a game designer to be like yes that is what i wanted you to do excellent message received i bet you see somebody doing this to your game and you're like come on man 
I designed so many cards. Temporarily stuns and damages the furthest enemy based on distance traveled. Like, I had to program that, dude. That was complicated to program. Ten cards available, and I'm just like, I like the fire guy. <laughs> I like the fire one. Oh, I worked so hard on this. Drop one. Just drop one of the other guys. Please. The truth is I love this, though. I love that I could choose all those, those other units, you know? Here we go. You stupid girl. I'm trying to take over the world, and you're getting in my way. I won't let you. You need to turn back into a card and stop trying to hurt people. What is it you want in life, Marina? Money, fame, power. I will give you what you want if you get out of my way. Well, I really, really like ice cream. Ice cream? All right. I'll give you a lifetime supply of ice cream if you get out of my way. Otherwise, prepare to meet your end. Do I have to decide right now? Yes. What will it be? You know what? We're going to beat him in a second and it's going to be disappointed. I think we should do unlimited ice cream and see what happens. Let's do it. I'll take ice cream, please. My favorite flavor is mint chocolate chip. But is there any way I can have, get some variety? Because only getting one flavor is a bit much. Uh, yeah, I think we can arrange for that. Are you kidding me? I would have bought you ice cream if you saved this. I don't really trust you, Helga. I mean, just look at the situation you got us in. I guess that's fair, but I'm still surprised. I would have asked for a lot more than just ice cream if I were you. Well, too late for that. Now, bow before me. You win? You learned a new skill, endless ice cream. <laughs> Get wrecked, Helga. <laughs> that was a fun ending, actually. Okay, so then endless mode, or at least until your computer explodes, really just is pouring it on. I like this, though. I really like this game. Because remember, the shippy, dark shippy-doos fight is optional, was the way the rule was written. So, I guess it's optional in that way, yeah. Sorry, I'm going to be blowing my nose a bunch tonight. Okay, so, after that is Minerva's Lost. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Uh huh. So you're there though? No, I moved you, dude. You're not there. Where are you? There you are. Windows 64. It's so weird that there's not one capture method that works for every game. Okay, here we go. When I'm playing the Paw Patrol game, it wasn't on the list. I think it disappeared. Dad's taking ages. I wonder where he is. Maybe I'll go for a walk. I can maybe find somewhere for a target practice. 
So this is made by the same designer who made the Easy Allies fighting game. Dawn of Dawn currently in production. Do you get a prize for hitting all the bottles? I guess it's not possible to. Ah! Ooh! Oh! Bummer, it's totally possible to. Do you get a prize? There's an Easter egg if you shoot all the wine bottles. Damn! No resets. What do you get? What's the Easter egg? Or you just... Was that a perfect dark reference? I found his that. Calling in my position. No prize. Okay, okay, okay. Phew. Is it... Are you okay? Sorry, Dad. Don't apologize, kiddo. It wasn't your fault. I tripped, though. Such a dumb mistake. We all make mistakes, kiddo. Don't be too hard on yourself. The violence chat? <laughs> Any damage? Nah, just a couple of scratches. Yeah, look at that. Look at his head is chopped off. <laughs> Tonal shift. <laughs> we should get back to the raw. Prepare to set sail. Sure thing, did. You're playing the first version I uploaded. Oh, no! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. If you uploaded a new version, I will play it. This game's pretty loud. Okay. So, let me download your new version. We're playing the Invisible Dad version, huh? I uploaded it before the deadline. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can you can update you can update up until like the end of judgment. Don't worry about it. Chat, n n absolutely no problem. Let me know if I'm uh, playing an old version of your game. Okay. And now I got a shot at hitting all the bottles. Pac-Man 99 in an hour? So Pac-Man 99, to me, looks like it is not fun, man. It looks like you're going to get in situations where you cannot possibly succeed. And that even happens in, honestly, it happens in Tetris 99. Um... NW? <laughs> it looks like real fun? Oh my gosh. Did I see the Street Fighter V update? I did. I did in fact see that. We're back, baby. Did the engine look like that before? Did you upgrade your engine <laughs> since that previous build? Cool. Next gen, it does. It feels like a huge upgrade. Okay, we can't go any closer than this. I'm really gonna try, chat, to hit them all. Ah! Oh.
cool. So now we unlock the super gun. Whoa! So that was the intent there. He's in full ego mode. Got it. Good fix. Good fix. So this was another game I actually got soft locked in. Um, so maybe that won't happen again either. So this is snow. What's up, Daddy? You look a bit down. Oh, sorry, kiddo. I'm okay. Just frustrated that the Vipers found us. Especially when we were so close. I can't wait to meet your old pirate buddies. And I can't wait for you to meet them. For I can't wait for them to meet you! Do you think they will definitely be able to help? I don't know. But I know they'll do what they can. Even if they can get us off the grid. At least we won't have to run anymore. You deserve better, kiddo. Well, I told you a million times, Dad. I love this life. How many 17-year-olds get to sail the skies? I bet nobody else my age can go on such cool adventures. I'm glad you're having fun. 17? That long now? Yup. Two years since Mom... Hey, I forgot. I found you a present. I found this bandana for you to add to your collection. <laughs> Thanks, Dad, but this is terrible. Look at those colors. It's so uncool. Really? I thought it was cool. Look at the cool little circles on it. Sorry, Dad. You can keep it. I don't think it fits my collection. Cats. That feeling when he gives me a crap bandana. Poor dad. I love him. Hey. <laughs> yeah. What if Copperhead catches up with us before we reach your friends? <laughs> Cat and Copperhead? Whatever he calls himself. Uh, you know, it's just some rich guy. I think his name is Bobby. Captain Copperhead is just a name he gave himself. He thinks Minerva's power will help him develop his technology. I hope he does catch up to us. Maybe I can end this once and for all. Sometimes, Dad. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Let's just say if he turns up, I won't be kind to him. Dad, that was terrible. What, you don't think I'm a punny guy? I'm going to bed. Okay, kiddo. Don't tinker with that gun too long. I won't. Night, Dad. Good night, kiddo. So, it's not a spoiler because I've not beaten this, but after that scene, I'm like, there's no way the dad lives through this. That dad is going to die. Trailersforvideogames.com, my favorite website. I miss playing games, but these guys help me feel like gaming is still part of my life. Terrible name for a website, though. I love Sexy Carrot. She's so funny. Since winning Drag Queen of the Year a while back, her career has really taken off. She has the top comedy show in the world right now. Sexy comedy for sexy people. The comedy is more clever than the name suggests. 
and is actually very inclusive. It's not just for the sexies. <laughs> um, we get to pick our bandana. I think there's an easy pick for bandana, and there's an obvious pick for vest. What is this one? What is that? You gotta go with the sexy carrot vest. GOG, thanks for being a seven monther. The arrow on the feather is a nice touch, it really is. And then clearly there's a there's an eighth unlockable vest. Looking good. Oh, it's a Wafuru vest. It totally was. Gross. Yeah, there's the it's a smiling waffle. Got it. And then what is this reference then to? This is cool. We get to choose our upgrades. My last game, Jam Game. Oh, the one with the uh, the stands. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a better job optimizing this stuff this time. You get three upgrades per round. Um, today, I'm just gonna play with max ammo. We'll see what that does for us. We're min-maxing. And then there's a bathroom. I haven't found anything you can do with the bathroom. I think it's just kind of here. But it is appreciated. Upgrade rounds per second. Well, we'll see about that. Look at that. I mean, look at that. So in the previous build of that game, that engine wasn't even there. Do you mind throwing some coal in the engine? Yeah, sure, Dad. I tried. I tried to put some coal in there. There was no prompt. Oh, yeah, so check it out. This is our ship. This is the rock. No prize up there. You gotta question that. That's pretty slick. Okay, cool. I did it. Okay, kiddo, you ready for a flight? I said I did it. I put coal in the engine, Dad. No, no, I mean, we have one of Copperhead's ships incoming. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> By the way, look at, like, the little, the hint of abs this Izzle has. <laughs> you defend the raw while I go on the offensive. Same as always. Same as always, Dad. It's gonna be easy peasy. Yeah, super peasy. Okay, remember to keep the engine going. I know, Dad! I'll be back soon. You'll do great, kiddo. Right. Okay. Defend the raw. So the thing on the bottom, yeah, that's our engine heat. <laughs> so we gotta worry about those two things, the hull health and the engine heat. death incoming for sure there's no way he survives this
how you need to check up the mast? Okay. So you're saying there is a prize there now. Oh. Oh no! Definitely not a prize. Okay, all right. <laughs> No character help to take the hits. Your prize is snakes. after he falls over. <laughs> pretty well, huh? Take the hit. Nice! <laughs> the headshots, man. <laughs> Save us, Daddy. He did. There you go, chat. You got what you wanted. <laughs> Ever tell you about my friend's friend who was a dog sitter? <laughs> uh, no. So she was looking after someone's dog while they were on holiday, and it died. That's so sad. That's not the story. It was an old dog. It had a happy life. But the girl wanted to bury it because the owners wouldn't be back for a while. Okay. So the problem was, she was in the city center. She wanted to bury it in the park, but she needed to get the subway there. So she put the dead dog in a suitcase. No, no, no. It was a big dog. It was really heavy. When she got off the subway, the escalator was broke. No, this is gonna be too cringy. She was struggling up the stairs. Luckily, some nice man offered to carry her suitcase up the stairs. Just as he reached the top of the stairs. <laughs> he legged it! He what? He ran away! <laughs> Come on! That's funny! He thought he was stealing something awesome! 
but it was just a dead dog. <laughs> no? Not funny? <laughs> Sephiroth, thanks for being a brand new sub. There's a limit to how many times you can say dead dog in a joke. It's not a joke. I told you it happened to my friend's friend. It's definitely an urban legend. I don't think I'll break it to him. One thing is for sure. What? Uh, that thief was barking up the wrong tree. Dad? No! Changing the subject. You know that move you do? Yeah, the flaming feather? No, no, no. The one where you dive down with your talents? Oh, the gift of death. Yeah. Do you need my nervous power to pull it off? <laughs> no, no, that's just an owl thing. <laughs> You want me to teach you how to do it? Yeah. Okay, kiddo. I'll show you tomorrow. Cool. Okay, Dad. Bedtime for me. Okay, kiddo. Good night. Okay. Ounce per second. Okay. Oh, that's maxed out. Okay. Go to bed. Sleep? Do a bathroom check real quick? Who do you think said that? Why are you wearing that terrible bandana around your arm? I'm sticking to my guns. I think it's cool. Okay, kiddo. The gift of death is easy. Just jump into the air. Spin. Extend your downs. And let gravity do the rest. Okay, Dad. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Okay, that was a butt stomp. Did it not hurt? Yeah, I hurt my butt. <laughs> Remember to spin in the air and feet down, not up. Okay, here it goes. Well done, kiddo. And just in time, there's an enemy ship behind us. Okay, kiddo, same as always. Good luck. <laughs> Mizzle has learned the gift of death. Great. It's important you give it a name. Give the, give the move a name. That was part of one of the rules. Defend the raw. Do we have a shippy counter? There was only one game that was not able to implement shippy dues. Dark shippy dues, excuse me. Oh, oh I've got it. I forgot to have a new move for that kind of scenario. really like the bullet shells. <laughs> Such an unnecessary and quality addition, you know? Oh, I fell hard there. Oh, that's a big whip. Was 
those upgrades are paying off. <laughs> I love the dad coming in to save the day. I feel bad that I didn't just thank him for that bandana. I was a bit ungrateful. I feel pretty bad. But it kind of suits him. You know what I miss? Beef olives? What? No, I miss cherry tomatoes. I miss beef olives with sweet chili sauce. They are so sweet and juicy. Mmm, yeah. With a hint of spice. What? Oh, it's so sausagey. I'm talking. I'm talking about cherry tomatoes, son. What? God, they taste like dirty water. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You know what else tastes like dirty water? Oh no. What? Cucumber. Tastes of 80% water, 20% dirt. Ezel, stop it. How can you say such nonsense? Why would people put cucumber in a glass of water? Might as well put a spoon of dirt in there. And sushi? Why shove cucumber in every kind? This is insane! If you want to become strong like me, you need to eat better. Think about your necklace, Dad. If I want to be big and strong, can I not just use your amulet? What? Is that not why you have Minerva's gift? You always say the power is in that amulet you wear. Alright. Oh, yeah. No, I suppose so. But I meant big and strong like me without Minerva's power. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have an early night. Are you okay, kiddo? No, no. Yeah. I just feel like bed. Okay, you should catch up on your sleep. 
because we were talking about food earlier. Dad, I'm not in the mood. You gotta make sure you vegetate. <laughs> Are we gonna betray the dad? We're not gonna betray the dad. <laughs> There won't be a betrayal. So this is fully upgraded? No more? Yeah, no more. Yes. Yes. Fine. Kiss Sexy Carrot goodnight. Chat! <laughs> I'm so mad Sexy Carrot is in all of these games. No time to sleep tonight, little owl. <laughs> Silence. Welcome, little owl. To the court of Dark Shippy Doos. What's a Dark Shippy Doos? I am Dark Shippy Doos. <laughs> Oh. Hello. I've not met someone new in so long. Do you like sexy carrot? <laughs> sexy carrot? You know. Yeah, you know, sexy comedy for sexy people. Enough, Izu. You, you know my name? I know many things. Your soul is on a collision course with seven others. I like that kind of thing. Seven people? Will we be friends? You are here to prove your worth, little owl. Prove my worth? Why? Can we not just chat for a bit? Maybe about sexy carrots? <laughs> Oh, perhaps I've made a mistake. Show me your power, Izzo. Defeat me and prove you are worth my time. I think I'm worth your time. I want to go home! Let's do it. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Me? Ah!
your tongue out of here. Did I do okay, Mr. Shippy? Indeed. You are talented, little owl. Can so I pass? Can we just hang out for a little? I love my dad, but he's the only person I've talked to in two years. I've been in so many fights during that time. It would be nice to get a time out. You would want to spend time here? In this place? Just a small break would be nice. I don't usually feel in control of my dreams. Dream. Poor little Izzo. This is no dream. And I have other egos to put on trial. Oh. Okay, Mr. Deuce. But what do you mean? It's not a dream. Little Owl, there is so much you do not know. I have taken a liking to you, Little Owl. But I am to remain impartial. I must return you home. Wait, Mr. Shippy! Oh no, this is what happened last time I played. If it locks, you can reload and skip the shippy fight. It should work. Or you can just press B to skip through it. Okay. Yeah, this is what happened last time I was playing the game. All right, what are, Adam, what are we missing here? Just the dad telling him about a dream he had where the bike had huge wheels. <laughs> All right. Away! Defend the raw. Oh, we're just going. Chat, any, any story moment that sets up the tournament, you know it makes me so excited. <laughs> I just love stuff like that. Through. I feel like this is number eight. I'm I'm coming to accept the reality chat that we'll be playing more games on Friday. I must accept this. I apologize if your game got bumped to Friday. I just think it's a reality of the situation where so many games were submitted. better that way. Yeah, as opposed to just kind of like freezing through them, not giving them the time they deserve. I get it. I think that's just what we're looking at. It's only 8.43. There's still a lot of time left in the night. Oops. I was pressing the wrong button to do my super. Oop. There it is. Yes! Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> the head's popping off, man. What was the longest game so far? Um... Good question. Oh, you know what? We didn't finish it. It was probably going to be the, uh, the 3D Adventure Pirate Fizzle game. You had to you had to sail the seas and collect five gems, and we didn't get too far into it. A community I'm in does a jam of this size every two months, and I've never seen the people that stream those games finish them all in less than three streams. Over that. Gotcha. What community are you talking about? Just blew away, okay. You know what else I like a lot is, uh... How many games, you know, use characters... ...as villains or NPCs or side characters from the other... From the, excuse me, from the rest of the roster. Daddy! Don't save us! Come, brother! There he is. Defense successful. This game's been going for 40 minutes now? Damn. I'm so bad at keeping track of that stuff. <laughs> Adam, how many more levels are there? <laughs> You're a smart owl, Izzle, so I don't want to patronize you. Oh, no. <laughs> but if Copperhead is still on our tail when we reach them... One level. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> We're going to have to abandon the raw. Thought so. I know I've asked this before, but can't you just give up the amulet? What? Oh. Sorry, Izzle, but it's more complicated than that. But if Copperhead gets the amulet, he might leave us alone. Then we could stay on the raw. It's our home. Kiddo, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to trust me. Come on, Dad, this isn't fair. Of course I'd trust you, but I just don't understand. I have no guarantee that if Copperhead gets the amulet that he will leave us alone. And it's all I have to protect us from him. Do you even care about the Ra? How can you give up so easily? Izzle, it isn't easy. Leaving home last time was one of the hardest things I've had to do. I just don't get it! I'm going to bed! Kiddo, wait. Uh, uh, hold on. I'm not in the mood for your stupid jokes, Dad. Bro. Dark Izzle. Oh, we got a Shippy Doos vest for defeating Shippy Doos. Still, we gotta RP this. speed some more. It's kind of just fun to shoot out a laser beam of bullets. Holy cow, 23 games. Great job, chat. It's so many games. So many more than I thought there'd be. Ezel. 
God, it's early. Surprise attack, kiddo. Get up quickly. Stupid vipers ruining my nesting. It's gonna be a tough one, kiddo. I believe in you. I know you can do it, Dad. Easy peasy. Super peasy. This dad is so dead. Click cool gun designs. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I missed it. My bad. Is it too late? Was that our last chance? Yeah, don't worry about it. Bummer. So you, can you change the design of your gun? I gotta get better at shooting the, uh, the bomb droppers. I can customize your gun. Afraid not, chat. Kill the snakes? The snakes do real damage? Okay.
hit any hits on it, but I am destroying the bombs. Stop spawning! Yeah, there we go. of an escalation of difficulty. This is harder than Shippy News! Lower game audio, you got it. So the tip is to hang out on that level of the mast. <laughs> Slippery fella. Oh, it's still alive. There we go. <laughs> this crunchy audio is just so much going on right now. Ugh.
Oh my god, no! The engine! I gotta get back there! Stop spawning snakes! Go, 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 faster, God, faster, faster, faster. Okay. It's happening again, Dad! It's probably a bunch of snakes to the far right, right? Yeah, there they are. Oh, God! Oh! It's the absolute worst! No! 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 I thought I was doing so good that time. One more try. Last try. Last try. Last try. Last try. I thought I was doing so good, dude. We gotta see the dad die. <laughs> that shall be our reward. I wonder if there are a bunch of snakes hiding up there at the end of that last round. Don't worry about the engine until it's low, but it takes forever to refill it, you know? song owns. No question. Go, little buddy. Oh, no. Stop hanging out over there. Stop. Oh my god. This thing is like just trapped in this corner. I can't trick it out. Okay, 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 okay. Let the owl up. Let the owl up. Let him up. Let him up. Let the owl up. No. <laughs> Let the owl up. Oh my god, no. <laughs> No. Oh, it was going so well. That round was going so well. Oh, no. shoot on the floor. I didn't till the end. I was just mashing A. I was just trying to get out of there.
last one. One last one. That one was short. That was a short failure. I don't think the clock even went halfway through. As a designer of the Sifandrius battle, I regret adding no cheat codes. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Quick, 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 quick. Super peasy. Yeah, exactly. This is super peasy. I should have been shooting the whole time I was getting stun locked on the floor. Uh, green snake eyes don't seem to do damage to the hole. They are low priority. They do mental damage, and they do knock you over <laughs> a lot. Go, 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 go. Faster, faster, Izzel. Faster, 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 baby. Okay, okay, okay. God. There's no time, Izzel. Take my hand. We need to leave the raw. But, Dad, our home! Izzel, we don't have time. Okay. 
Jump on my back. We'll head for it. Oh my god. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh my god. Finally, the hunt is over, Ulysses. Minerva's power will be mine. Take it. Just let Izzel go, please. Dad? I have no interest in the boy. But you, you have caused me many problems. Dad! Oh! Hell yeah. No! Nice gun. Oh! <laughs> wow! Oh my god. Look, we all knew the dad was going to die, but not such a gruesome death by our own handgun. Oh my god. That, I mean, we should have known it was going to be gruesome. The game doesn't shy away from violence. So Minerva's power lies within your family. Is it possible the amulet was just a ruse? Ulysses wanted to protect you at all costs. But he should have abandoned you. That would have been the only way to keep you safe. You will come with me, Owl. You want to fight? As long as you're still breathing in the end, that power will be mine. Minerva's gift, unlocked through great loss, Izzel does not have the strength to use it to full potential. Keep your stamina above the blue gauge to attack. Over time, Izzel will master this power as his confidence grows. Strong attack, weak attack, gift of death. Okay. I'm getting wrecked trying to do anything. There it is. Oh. Ow! There we go. Man, even strong attacks not doing... There we go. Okay, so you got to do it close to get the multi-hits. We'll take these trades. He's got combos. I think I let my confidence go too low. Stop doing that. Ow. Okay. Let that meter charge up. Let that meter charge up. Copperhead. Real name Robert. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. We can stun lock him, but you know, we need to keep our confidence up. Ow. 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 Stop it. Stop. God. Okay, 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 okay. Do a super. <laughs> Ow! Not a fighting game because there's no block, chat. There, look, he'll just do stuff back to back. E okay, so you'd think I can punish, but he goes straight into that. Ow! That damn tail, dude. 
Stop! Straight back to back! Stop doing it! There we go, there we go, there we go. Bait it out, chat. Don't jump, because they still get to you. Okay? Da -da 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 -da. Hup. And then another one? You got another one? Okay. Watch for the tail after this. Ooh, he tried a new attack. Cost of your life, copperhead. Bah! What? There we go. Give this soul the gift of death. Oh. We're doing it, aren't we? No choice. Shippy Doos is watching. Dark Shippy Doos, excuse me. <laughs> Why is this so violent? <laughs> Oh my god! Written by Adam Henry, dude. So I think that's a fun action game. So. Uh How long was I muted for? Not a bit? No, I think I like bumped it, bumped it with my, my controller, the button. <laughs> you said that's a fun action game. Yeah, so I like that's the reason why I wanted to keep doing replays. Susan? It finally happened. Don't get my hopes up, Jeremy. He's dead. Your father is dead. And the board? Just as you'd hoped. They want you at the top, Susan. They want you to run the company. Good. Put out my first comms. No more resources are to be wasted on that stupid owl. Well, he is dead. Excuse me? Bobby killed him. So what happened to father? It looks like the son killed him. That little owl? We think so. Are you just going to let him go? That dream... Dream, Susan? Nothing. The company has spent too long on this chase. Stocks are dropping. But I will take care of the owl in my own time. Yes, Susan. That would be all, Jeremy. Congratulations on your promotion, Susan. Jeremy. Call me by my new title moving forward. Yes, sorry. Executive Cobra. <laughs> you did the sound effect, okay. <laughs> Let's play one more game before break time. I think we only played two games since last break time. Let's get another one in there. Uh, yeah, we only played two games since last break. Ooh, yes. Okay. Uh, will I find that in downloads or in my other folder?
or is that a browser game? No, there it is. So you have downloaded this. Apologies, chat. I got a lot of games that have appeared. Probably this. Game builds. There it is. Got it. I won't be here on Friday. If you could play our game tonight, that'd be sweet. Okay, I can play your game next. I can play your game next. You got it, Obopo. Um, sorry, after this one. After this game I just loaded, I mean. If that's cool. Cool. That seems to be working. Ah! It's not. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try... Game capture? Also not working. Okay, so we got to do display capture. Sweet. Hostile takeover. Push any button. Options. Uh, it's all good. In this world, everyone has powers. And the strongest run the show. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up. I'm the dev for the hostile takeover. An earlier build blocked player progress halfway through. We fixed it around 1 p.m. EST. Is there anything in the file name that would indicate which version this would be? The time you downloaded it. Okay, hold up. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, so is this 3-18-2021? That can't be right. That's probably when the when it was started, the file. Oh, 1 p.m. today. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Then this is probably the old version. Okay, 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 okay. So let me... um. Shoot, let me close this. Do a Popo's game, break time, re-download, play this later. I'll do as I please, Ray Luaza. Shisha Luisha. Would it kill you to phrase that as a suggestion? <laughs> I was trying to help. <laughs> it always comes across as demands. Chat, everything chat says comes across as something like just pounding their fist on a table and making a demand. All right, nine hours ago. Yep, this is new. Make some coffee. Now I'm still sipping on this uh, Mountain Dew. Zip to here. Okay, and then when we get to Ultra Mint Quest, we do have a new version for that as well, too. Okay. Good stuff. Thanks. Thanks for sending me that email. Okay. Every single one of these games you download, your PC begs you not to open. Every single time I'm like opening one of these EXEs, the PC's like, please, dude, please don't. I don't know what this is. This could be anything. Please, please, please. And I'm just like, do it. In this world, everyone has powers. And the strongest run the show. But if you're powerless and weak, you're done. Game over. So that's the story of my life, Barbara Co. I thought I would spend the rest of my life as a good-for-nothing, powerless secretary. 
in this lame tech startup until I got bitten by a radioactive cobra. It probably escaped the lab. Is this my chance? My life as a loser is over. What kind of powers would I get? Well, all I got was three weeks in the hospital. But my life did change that day. Meet Chester, a regular here. He's powerless too, but he's got a dream. Something about Chester's color scheme, chat. <laughs> and a law degree. And together, we sued the pants off my lousy boss. And won! The payout was huge. We invested in a top secret... Wait, <laughs> we invested in a top secret weapons lab. So I'll never be powerless again. I love that shot, actually. This world's ruled by the strong, huh? Then it's about time. I get a promotion. Well, here goes nothing. Feeling nervous, cow? Of course I am. I've never fought anyone before. My first fight is with a death machine. Would you like me to give you some pointers? You know how to fight? Of course. I am in peak physical condition. <laughs> Firstly, movement. You can move back and forward with the directional keys. Huh? It is imperative you keep moving. You don't want to be hit. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to getting hit. I'm used to getting hit. Jump with the space bar and up arrow key. There he goes again. Remember, you're not alone anymore. Ah, uh, that you have the super anti-super BB gun. Oh. This weapon represents months of R&D. It's our only chance against the supers. Yeah, I feel powerful just holding it. To fire the SAS BBG, editor's note, super anti-super BB gun, press the alt key, F key, or right trigger. Chester, can you please take this seriously? I might die here. Could you stop talking to yourself and me? I'm... Co? <laughs> yeah? You could also duck with a down key, C key, and S key. Chester! There. That gumption, that fire, that aggression. Co, the most important thing supers have over you is pride. All your life you've let yourself be pushed around. I pushed you to stand up for yourself with that lawsuit. But in order to win this, you need to believe you will because they do. You've prepared for this. You will win. Thanks, Chester. Every super will try to break your spirit first. When they do, just show them your meanest face. Like this. No. Hey, Irons. I challenge you to fight. Oh, ho, ho. Has a lamb come to the slaughter? No. This lamb looks familiar. Why, I'll be. It's Barbara. She's returned to her shepherd. How cute. Blah. Creepy. Cre excuse me, bro. As creepy as ever. Would you respect me when I'm using you as car parts? That's right. You came to fight. Oh. It's a cheap. I'll destroy you. I killed my own maker to get this company. Do you think I'd lose it to a useless mare? Maybe I'll just recycle you. Better for the environment, I suppose. Die! What's jump? 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 Okay, there it is. What am I pressing? Oh my god. I'm switching. I'm. S oh, it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's up on the D-pad. I got this now. I got this now. Game over, bro. Ooh. Ah, nice. Just shooting him in the crotch. Yep, as we do. 
C to crouch. Oh, okay. Okay. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so this game is boss fights. Uh... It has this, like, this is the most damage you can do. So they are long. They're like, you know... Trials. Uh, this game, we will not be doing the shippy dues battle. <laughs> it nearly froze my computer to do the shippy dues battle. Granted, this was the old build, or I was playing the old build. Um... But it was also extremely hard. Shippy Doos has a dark Shippy Doos, excuse me, has a ridiculous amount of health. We'll be turning down that fight. Five more. I gotta do five words for mixing up dark Shippy Doos and regular Shippy Doos. <laughs> I did it, I won. Well done, Co. You are now the proud owner of a tech startup. Is anyone really proud to own a tech startup? Co, this facility produced and was run by a killer robot. As a fellow weapons connoisseur, think of the possibilities. You're right. Maybe the tech here could help us finish that mech suit. Then, whole city is ours. There's that look of determination that could shake a city. He... Shaking a city would be a whole lot easier in a mecha. The mech suit is almost complete. Perhaps if we had more time. <laughs> no matter. My inaugural action as robotics, Robotech's new CEO is to fast track that mech suit. I can't wait to fly that around the city. Wait, Co. Something came up. Seems the bank has withheld our accounts. Withheld our accounts. We can't buy anything. Why? Is it because I took out irons? Perhaps the bank is trying to upend your plan. Chester? The states I could take over... The law states I could take over any company if I'm the strongest, yeah? Are you? <laughs> I'm just going to have a little talk with the management. I made Shippy easier. Okay, we, we, we can try it. We can give Shippy News one try. Hello? I would like to speak with a manager. That's meow. However, I prefer the term me-aster. Me-aster petty whisker at your service. Oh, heavens. It's the Mew mistress of Robotech. To what do I owe the occasion? Don't play innocent, kitty. You froze my funding. I would like it fixed. Meow. The bank hold the right to withhold any illicit funds. What? Madam, listen. A peasant like you doesn't belong at the top. You're meant to be a servant. Please understand. <laughs> well, looks like I'm going to take over the bank next. Please understand. Oh, meow. I'll fix you and my funding. Fixed. I beg your pardon. I am a lady. You're still going down. Did you shrink the money balls too? These used to be undodgeable. Oh, that's a good update. <laughs> it's kind of fun to play the games in their multiple states. Ah. Jumping attack. <gasps> yeah, I fixed the money. Nice. 
Yeah, you, you can kind of actually see the original size of the money ball in that animation. <laughs> they shrink for one frame. They look. <laughs> Yeah, and they used to be almost impossible to jump over. And that's much nicer. Knocking things over. Yeah, we don't... So I think this game's kind of unique in its genre. I don't know. I guess we'd call it action, but it's really just... Boss fights. And so I think that's why your gun doesn't do a ton of damage. It's like, this is... This is the game. Ooh. Like Cuphead, yeah. Ooh. Oh no, I messed that one up. No! Stop that. Okay, we took a lot of damage there. We're fine though, we're fine. They're just called boss rush games? Ow. No. Stop doing that. <laughs> so, maybe I should plug in the old PS4 controller. I am using an Xbox 360 controller plugged into the PC for a fat cat he sure was easy I'm a girl it's hard topping a killer robot at first foe as a first foe perhaps if we had more time <laughs> so you <laughs> I finally understand <laughs> I didn't get that before what you always meant by if we had more time <laughs> and the extended pauses in between I thought that was like a story thing what can I do as your lawyer I can only say to follow the rules and regulations of the state and treat the confidence of the people as your highest honor but as my co-conspirator I would say that you are no longer confined to the system. You are the system. Money talks, and Big Bank has the biggest say in how society functions. Chester, I've been having so much fun today. For the first time in, like, forever, I feel like I'm alive. Like I'm a person. A lot has happened. This super anti -B super BB gun give me power. It makes me equal. I have Robotech and all the political and economic sway of the Petty Penny Bank. I, I set the rules now. Whatever do you mean, Co? I have the means to push weaponry to its limits. See just how far I could push the supers. Give everyone who was like me a fresh start. Make everyone super. And if everyone's super... Co, I told you before, you fought irons. The people need spirit to rival the supers. I just feel like I must do something. Breaking news! Hello, everyone! Hannah Summers with breaking news. A lone wolf radical is attempting to upend society as we speak. Out of respect for her privacy, we refuse to tell you her name. Officials have dubbed her Co-Bra. Really? <laughs> Those close to her tell me... Hannah Summers, that Cobra is plotting to crash the financial market and flood the streets with thugs, all armed with weapons she's produced. Chester, it wasn't me. This fiend needs to be stopped, cut off like the snake she is. Is this all an act of revenge? A ploy to get rich off the animus of the lower class? Is cheese really dairy? All this and more tonight at 7. 7, huh? How better to end our day than with the main news. Co, 
Wait, the media is a different beast. Even the best lawyers don't understand libel laws. I know you're mad, but please, let it go. Chester, if money and weapons aren't enough to change things, maybe the news can. I could spread the message of hope and spirit and change society from the culture up. See? Totally altruistic. And if I get to tear apart Hannah Summers. And if I hope you know what you're doing. Hey, you got be in here. <laughs> assistant production assistant. It's a live set. Where's Summers? Security! <laughs> I'm gonna trash her. You take her business too. And take her business too. <gasps> huh? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is our evening news with Hannah Summers. We begin tonight's broadcast with some breaking news. Resident menace turned radical co Barbara has just broken into the newsroom. Though many would cower, not I. Hannah Summers, I welcome Ms. Co as tonight's guest. Oh, brother. Ms. Co, how are you this evening? Well, why do you seek to undermine society? Could we just cut to the fight? I already beat guys much tougher than you. Whoa! Where's that coming from? Many experts say you've cheated to get where you are now. Are you not ashamed? A loaded question versus a loaded gun. I lack my odds. Whoa! What's going on? Why do I feel so weak? Ms. Co, your money could buy you superficial strength, but it can't give you the sophistication to truly rival us higher beings, correct? Was that a question? Or... My apologies. I'll simplify the wording. Your guns may give you a victory or two against normal foes. But honey, this is the media. We'll chew you up, spit you out, then move on to the next hot thing. We will make them people hate you, and society will put you back in line. Are we still live? How come she's not getting booed? If it bleeds, it leads, my dear, and we'll wring you dry by the top of the hour. You can't stop me, Summers. I will see you to a future where no one is left behind. <laughs> oh, I think I get it. I'll win this with charisma, not with cannons. Time to max out my approval rating. Okay, so... Unfortunately, chat, this is my strategy for this fight. Is to stay on the floor. And shoot the words as they come. I did the same. Okay, <laughs> good to know. It took me a long time to figure out this fight. So the bad words will stick to you and your approval reading will go down. If it hits zero, you die. Um, you're meant to shoot the bars next to the names. However, like, it's super hard to do. Hit any of those bars except for these that are completely level to your gun. Is that a real-time clock? Oh, I think that was real-time. That's pretty slick. You're right. Oh, that was amazing. You shot down every spite hurled at you. No, it was nothing. Nothing I hadn't heard before. Well, the people certainly heard something new today. I've never felt so much spirit. Felt? You understand. If we had more time. <laughs> My message got through to the people. I think they're finally ready to stand up to the supers. My, my. Three hostile takeovers in one day. You've become quite the executive, Co. Ah, oh, thanks. Couldn't have done it without... Chester? Where'd you... You were just... Where'd you go... <laughs> Chester, there you are. What's wrong? I did it, Co. <laughs> huh? I... I'm no longer powerless. What are you talking about? You don't know what it's like. 
living your life in a cast. Chester. <gasps> Chester! Chester is my old phone. Old phone? I am dark shippy doos now, my dear. And thanks to this lab, I was able to fund my research in genetic mutation. That's insane! I am powerless no more! Now I will rule the world! Chester, stop this! <laughs> it cannot be stopped! Go! Run! I, uh, I can't contain it! I gotta stop this mutation from taking over! Time to dust off my jetpack. You sure we can... Okay, I'll do it. Last time, this really almost wrecked my computer. But we're trusting in the new build. Oh, it does. It runs. Oh, and Shippy Doos does die a lot faster. Ow, ow. Ow, stop. Ow. Ow! I wonder if the secret strat is really just this, like, stand and get your kills. Nah, I'm still getting hit a lot. I don't know what to do for this fight. Go back. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Walk backwards! Oh, there must be... I don't know. Man. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. This is stop doing that though. Move forward. Okay, okay, okay. Stay in the air. All right. Well, I won't hit him if I stay in the air. Stop. Go backwards. Okay. <laughs> Johnny Bones, thanks for being a four monther. I think we gotta let Shippy Doos get this kill. Our dear friend Chester. Clark Shippy Doos. What's that? What's it? What? What the hell? Who's dodging that? He's not even taking damage, is Clark. Oh my god. Clark Shippy Doos doesn't even take damage. Dark hippie dudes? No! Oh my god. What have you done? Dark hippie dudes is healing. <laughs> Shark hippie dudes! <laughs> This is very good. <laughs> oh no, Clark's back. Uh, almost got him, I know, I know. We need, we need shark sh hippie doos again. Shark shippie doos. No, Clark. No, Clark. Don't do Clark back to back. No. Eh. Yes. Dark hippie doos. We did it. Whew. Whew. He's too strong now. I can't beat him. Unless. Time for my secret weapon. Cobra Bot, activate! What the hell? Sick. That should do it. Do what, my dear? But how? That should have put you back in that cast. First of all, rude. Second of all, did you really think that little toy was going to hurt me? 
I'm now the most powerful being in all the land. Wait, where are you going? Dark Shippy does as Dark Shippy pleases. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a president to fight. Chester, don't go! Don't worry. I'll remember you when I'm famous. There he goes. I was lucky to have someone like him pushing me. But he never had someone like that. Someone to push him. He was all alone in this messed up world. And it broke him. I won't let that happen to anyone else. I will change the world. Oh, that's the end. This art rules, dude. <laughs> That's really good art. I'm glad we didn't skip the Shippy Doos fight then. That's where's the credits? Who made this? Oh, display capture off. There we go. Almost did it again. I'm going back to the page. I got to know who made that. The Quiet Men. <laughs> A squad called The Quiet Men produced that. JJM Smith in chat. Thanks for all the support, guys. Whoa, you made the tank game for Glenny's Game Jam. That tank game was wild. <laughs> Those are two very different games. Huh. Cool. Let's do one more before break. One more before break. Well, let me see how long the next one is, actually. Next one's super short. Let's do this one more before break. Next one, very short. Hi, this guy here. What's happening? We are playing through the submissions to the game jam that we set up at the beginning of April. Um, we are almost halfway through. I think we're going to be more than halfway through after we finish this next one. Just having a good time playing games, playing games that chat made. Is this one a browser game? No, this is download. Oh, there it is. Got it. There it is. <laughs> Sorry. It was March. We set it up at the beginning of March. Excuse me, chat. Such attitude. Oh, no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to take a break. I'm so sorry. Obopo, I absolutely forgot. We're playing your game next. Okay, 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 okay. My sincerest apologies. I don't think you were even in chat to be complain. My bad. Okay, so we're going to play Obopo's game after the break, and then we can get back on our uh, playlist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot. I was about to like start playing this game and like, wait a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sweet. So we'll take a quick break. We'll do our squats, stretch our butts. Thanks for remembering. <laughs> Just took me a while. Um, we'll play a Bopo's game and then uh, we'll get back to our playlist. And it definitely does seem that we'll be playing a few more of these on Friday. We'll see. We'll see what we get through. Cool. See you soon, chat.
We're back, baby. Uh, words and dreams. I can, um, I can, I can download the new version of your game. If you uploaded it. Yeah, if you uploaded Fix, I can do it. It's probably going to be Friday. Or it's currently slotted anyway. I just saw that about Koji. What do you see in chat? What's happening? Kojima might join the Xbox family. <laughs> all right, all right. New Vegas resident, please don't use the phrase Xbox family. <laughs> I hate that. Potty fish, things we just six month or their lingo. I know. That's what they're like. Uh, that was the, the Bethesda trailer. We were friends. Now we're family. It's like, shut up! Shut up! You're not family! <laughs> we're family. You're not! You're not family! of Alexandria. Oh no! Hopefully it plays the cutscenes though. It does. Okay, okay, okay. We can still hear music? That's the game's music, I think. Yeah, chat, that's the game's music. <laughs> I was very confused. Like, we can still hear music! What are you doing? <laughs> it is from Epidemic? Oh, that's cool. Good find. Hello, Jims. How are you doing? Seems as though you've been everywhere lately. How many of your disgusting selves do you have roaming around here? Why, thank you. Well, last I checked, I had 389 of me. I thought that I had 390, but that was actually my brother, and he was... Well, that's fantastic. As for me, I'm stuck writing reports on dungeon activity. Screen's frozen? Oh, okay, 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 okay. That means we just gotta do a display capture, not a big deal. This is what you're missing, chat. These two talking to each other. It's part of the display capture family. <laughs> Game audio could be bumped down a bit. You got it. Well, that's fantastic. As for me, I'm stuck writing reports on dungeon activity. How's that been going? Any exciting dungeon developments? Oh, if only. It's been especially dull. Nobody ever comes in and the boss is off somewhere doing bigger and better things. Emergency! The half of the hero has been spotted by Jim127! He's coming up the mountain! Seriously? Now, ah, uh, the dungeon isn't remotely prepared to deal with anyone, let alone a hero! Someone contact the boss! He's up designing moral dilemmas for heroes. He won't be available for another three weeks. Well, someone must ready the dungeon and stop him. Uh... Oh, okay, fine, I'll do it. I'll just have to work with what I've got. I'm gonna defeat Haver and show the boss that I'm worthy of something more than writing dungeon reports. Trust me, peeps. This place will be easy to clear. Just look at it. Our boss is even trying anymore? 
I'll clear this place, no problem. Seems kind of creepy to me, but I'm excited to finally try this dungeon diving you're always going on about. The creepier the dungeon, the better the loot. Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> He's already here. How could boss leave the dungeon unattended in such a fashion? I don't know the first thing about how to run a dungeon. I was a warrior for Gobo's sake. Okay, okay, calm down, Alexandria. And what do dungeons have to stop heroes? Looks like there are some spike traps left in this room. I doubt that alone is enough to stop Haver, but perhaps, perhaps more spikes? Yeah, sounds good, more spikes. Hey Haver, this won't take too long, right? Well, usually I like to explore every nick and cranny of a dungeon to an almost unhealthy degree of scrutiny. <laughs> But since it's your first time, I'll try to take the shortest path to the exit. That sounds good. Okay, 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 okay. So this game's design I'm pretty into. Let me move my cam, actually. Uh, here's good. So we got $300 coins. We got 300 coins to spend. Um, so that last thing was the hint, right? This character is going to take the fastest path to us. There's stamina and health at the top here. Okay, so that would be a fail. So now we know the path that the player, the CPU will take him on. So now we just put spikes in spots he's going to be on. Easy, right? Hey, level one. Easy peasy. That'll block some dialogue? To be in the top? Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, how about by the trash? That'll block dialogue too. Right here. Haver, are you okay? You went through a lot of spike traps. Uh, I'm fine. You don't look fine. I think we should head back to town. Okay, but only because you want to, not because I was defeated. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Pogo, warp us out of here. I did it? I did it! Yes! Take that, you dumb alive hero! Nobody's getting through this dungeon while I, Alexandria, am in command. Nice. Can I put the camera over the nipples? No can do, chat. It's part of his character. Looks like Haver's on his way back, Alex. Again? It's only been two days. It's quite resilient, that one. No matter, I'll just do the same thing as last time. Also, please refer to me as Alexandria. Are you sure this is a good idea? It didn't go well last time. Don't you worry, Biebs. <laughs> I did some grinding last night and I've got a buttload more health. <laughs> Watch me conquer this dungeon now. All right, if you say so. Wait, he's stronger now? What happened? Jim's. Has he been killing you? One moment, let me take inventory. Checking in. Check present, present, present. Okay, present. Yep. Yeah, I'm at 357 now. He's killed 30 of you? How much experience are you worth? Uh, just about two or so. My brother's worth three and he's been... Oh, good. I should have known you were worthless. Still, Haver is stronger now and I only just survived his last expedition. I'll need a new strategy. Hey, BB, check it out. Meat! If I eat meat, it'll restore some of my health. Oh my gobo. Ew. Are you really going to eat that? Who knows how long it's been there? Hey, <coughs> meat's meat. <coughs> It'd be a shame just to eat it. You got to <coughs> be resourceful in a dungeon. <coughs> Not bad. Oh, gobo. He really ate that dungeon meat. <coughs> that is absolutely vile. Oh, wait a moment. If he's truly that crazy about meat... Perhaps I could use it to my advantage. Jibs, fetch me more meat. I can use it to distract Haver. Roger that. Okay, so now the quickest path there would be boop de boop de boop de boop de boop, right? But if we lure him over with meat, <laughs> uh, he'll have to go through these spikes. I think that'll do it. I think that's a win right there. So it's like whatever anything's in his line of sight. 
Isn't this a cool design? As I guess we would call it a puzzle game. I'm way into this. Bah, bah, bah. Success. Great work on those dungeons, Alex. Thank you, James. But if Haver keeps getting stronger each time he comes, I don't know how long I can keep this up. Also, please refer to me as Alexandria. Oh, sure thing! Why isn't the boss willing to come back? Haver is actively trying to siege the dungeon. All right, I got a hold of him today. You did? What did he say? He said he's far too busy, and since you managed to repel him twice, you should be able to keep doing the same thing and don't need his help. Oh, great. He didn't say you could increase the dungeon budget a bit to help out. Well, that's better than nothing, I suppose. I could get some new traps for that. He's yet again gotten even stronger. This isn't good. Might have to be able to. I might not be able to hold him off this time. Beep! Don't worry about it. We'll be. <laughs> you know what it is now? It's the guy from Daria. Oh, I realize I'm covering his face too. I guess we could cover the nipples. Beep! There's just no good camera spot for this game. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep it there. We'll be in and out of here in no time. Okay? Okay. <sighs> All right, Haver. But if you spend too long in here, I'm leaving. <gasps> That's it. If I can simply distract Haver for long enough, his annoying sort of a girlfriend will up and leave. The new springboard trap I bought. This should be perfect for running Haver around in circles. Then I'll have, he'll be all alone and weaker. This will work perfectly. <laughs> okay. So this is cool. Um... This mission is about draining the green meter as opposed to draining the red meter. I kind of forget my trick. We'll see what I got. I think I have to do one there as well. We do one there. Uh, you right click to rotate the springboards. So then he'll come here, he'll come there. How many more can I afford? What's that? Okay, okay, okay. So we'll do this, and then this. And I don't think that'll work. Oh, ha 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 Easy, okay, 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 okay. Got it. Hopefully that'll work, we'll see. Can you put them in an infinite loop? No, they are spent. You do spend them. So you'll see now on a second way over. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be real close. Ah, we're not going to make it. He's going to kill us. Bummer. What was my trick last time? Okay, so I'll show you if you don't have that one there. His AI is like, I'm good. I'm going straight back. So you have to have that second one there. Don't forget me. Great tip. Okay, so when he comes up here... I believe he'll have the vision to see the meat over there. I mean, this is a unique game design. Once again, this is like, man, you could you could make a whole thing out of this. Yeah, dude. Oh, you fool. You absolute fool. You did not eat, need to eat that meat. Oh, you dumb fool. Man, kind of worried about BB. I've <laughs> been in here for a while. Maybe I should go check on her. What do you think, Pogo? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Come on, let's head back to town. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, was that stage three? Yeah, I gotta actually keep track now. Coming too formidable an opponent. Distractions have been useful, but they aren't enough. I'll need to up my arsenal. Perhaps I should ask some of the other monsters to help. Ah, oh, fine. Jims, would you like to help with a dungeon? I'd love to. I'm not very strong, but when one of me dies, the slime just gets everywhere. <laughs> it's like real bad. We're gonna have a hard time. You're gonna have a hard time moving about if that stuff gets on your grundle area. Thank you, that's very disgusting. Please leave now. <laughs> Okay, so you do this. I feel like you go straight down after that fight, right? It's funny, I did all of this yesterday. I'm like still forgetting the stuff. I don't know when his AI will move down, basically. Let's just watch. Let's watch for a second. Great. So we got in his grundle. Tooks, thanks for being a nine-monther. Okay, I think with, like, a couple more spikes, we got that. Easy, bro. We got him, we got him, we got him. Nice! That's some great work back there, James. You got your gross, smelly stuff all over Haver. Well, my goo is actually... Okay. <laughs> we need something more. <laughs> Let's see what the next dungeon room has in it. <laughs> and plan our next strategy. Oh, before that, I just got a hold of some of my friends who can help us out. Fair warning, though? They're a little bitty. Oh, I'm fine with crazies as long as they can help us out. Oh, that kind of baddie. Got it. Well, don't hang around all day. Let's get to work. All right. I think it's time we can make it. I think this time we can make it. Haver, I know this dungeon has been kind of giving you the runaround. So here, I brought this for you. Oh, cool. A health potion. You're the best, Biebs. <laughs> You're <always> welcome. <laughs> A health potion, huh? And that rolls out trying to repel him with traps. I'll have to waste his time again. Looks like those bats arrived at the perfect time. They're so hard to hit, it will take Haver some time to take them all out. Cool. So, he's gonna be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. so let's put some meat up here so he has to deal with those bats, right? Uh, we'll probably go this way, so then we put meat here. Hee hee hee. Okay. How much money I got left? 150? Cool. And then meet here. Honestly, that's probably good. <laughs> that's probably enough to ruin this man. Let's see. Let's put some bats here just in case. You don't actually get anything for uh, having money left over. Okay, remember, we're trying to drain the green bar. Oops, I'm covering that dialogue again. I wonder why he went back up. Why'd you do that, bro? I still think we got him. Oh, yeah, we got him. Didn't really matter. He has pretty good vision. He does. Oh, by the way, we just received the funding to add locked doors. Oh, dude, I love the doors. <gasps> yes. Every great dungeon needs a locked door and a key to go with it. Glorious waste of time for intruders. Oh, and I just had a splendid idea. We could place the key behind the door so Haver can't get to it. Why don't all dungeons do that? Well, according to the International Dungeon Design Code, Section 430, all locked doors must have their corresponding keys placed in an area accessible by an intruder. You're such a buzzkill. Whatever, we'll make it work. Okay, so this is super fun, dude. Uh, if the AI encounters a door, 
they'll go to it first, so then they have to go back and get the key to it. Um, fountains fill up life. So I think this is another time waster level. However, this is here. So it would imply that, like, you should really try to kill him. I forget, man. I totally forget. It's so weird. I just played this yesterday. Oh, you can only do one locked door per level. Okay, 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 okay. Well, we know he's taking two trips through here. Actually gotta try to kill this man. This is something, huh? Look at it, look at how this spins around all this way. Eh. good. We'll see how we do. So does the fountain do full health? It does not do health. It does stamina. Oh, we're in good shape. Chop, chop, baby. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Yup. How about another trip, buddy? Yes! Yes! That was a good run. Good run. So there's, like, multiple ways to beat these levels, even. Was that stage six? Or was that stage five? I feel like that was six, wasn't it? This game is cool. Yeah, I really like that we have a new thing introduced each level, right? That was six. Okay, stage seven. Here we go. Wow, those locked doors worked like a charm. The frustration in BB's face, it was just... Mm. I'm definitely going to be using those more. I just love a good door. Well, I never really liked doors. Too many handles, too much turning. I just never got the appeal. Well, is that because you lack hands? Of course. What if I absorb some hands? Great idea, thanks. Don't mention it. Ever again. <laughs> I like the writing in this game, too. Alright, I hate to do it, but I think it's time. We need to bring out the gas. Why do you hate it? Because it smells awful. Sticks to your clothes for days, it's horrendous. It was always my least favorite trap to deal with when I was alive. But skeletons can't smell. Huh, I guess you're right. I guess there are some upsides to being a skeleton after all. Good example of a situation where we have different canonical interpretations of whether Alexandria can smell or not. Um, I think he goes north. No, he goes south. Okay, okay, okay. Our basic idea is, can we send this boy through both traps? I'm not actually sure it'll be necessary. Oh, I can't afford another gym? Damn. Money's tight. You know what? I'm gonna try something. You 
no, 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 you want to do that first. Okay. Well, how about bats? Are bats cheaper? Same price. Let's try this. This is fun. We're trying out new things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I want a gym for here, too. Okay, 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 okay. So hold up. Oh, devious, bro. Will that even work? Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. We're ignoring the free, the free gas we've been given. Let's see if we get any results. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. I was outsmarted. Oh, it's some damage is not going to be enough. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. This was a nasty trap, but it was not enough. Taking the whole axe out of this? Yeah, I don't like it. Okay, so we're going to ignore the axe. Let's try that. Damn, I don't think so, dude. Oh, no, no meat, no meat, no meat, no meat, no meat, no meat, no meat. Not necessary. Spikes. We got him. Oh my god, I forgot about locked doors already. I think it just maybe our budget's a little tight for this mission, but you're right, we should do a locked door. Yeah, that's the key. You know what, that is what I did last time, too. Right here. Just go straight down, won't he? Yeah, he's gonna ignore the door. Oh, we're so close! We're so close! We're so close! We're so close! Oh, we got it! We got actually got it! Okay, all right. Nice. Huh, we need some new traps. I wonder if the boss has anything useful tucked away in storage. Let's see, no. No, we already tried chandeliers. Catapults don't work either, too destructive. Ew. Hey, is that, is that George? Jordan's been ages! We all thought you were transferred! Yeah, I've, uh, I've been here the whole time. Well, what have you been working on? Inventory? No, nothing. I already gave my two weeks notice and was just trying to blend in until I can leave this dump. Well, it's my dump, and you're just the thing to help us defend it. Now go sit out there and do some mimicry. Me and my pig mouth. Oh, big stretch. Thanks for being Nate Mother. Hey, beep. Thanks for sticking with me while I figure out this dungeon. I know it's not really your thing, so this time I brought you something to drink while we explore. <gasps> you remembered! Foxtel cocktails are my favorite. Thank you, Haver. Don't mention it. Hopefully that'll hold you over if I get too distracted. You know it is. Aw, you can get distracted all you like. Let's go. Okay, so 
This means we're not going to win by depleting the green bar. Now she can drink that at, in this part of this level. So really, we got to focus on doing damage, bro. I forget uh, which way he goes automatically. Okay. We're definitely buying a locked door. Not sure which path he'll take out of there. Let's see. about getting the key. We might have to lure him with meat. I wonder, he probably still won't care about that door. He just won't care about it. I think that will actually do something for us. So I'd obviously want to do this again. I think that'll do it. Was good okay cool we have 250 gold to spend to ruin his life for the rest of this um <laughs> i think we should make him fight a gym up here before he enters that gas and then a bunch of bats while he's in there oh i can only afford one bats okay and a spike trap Oh, you're right. Putting a springboard here works really well, too. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, you're getting gassed on this whole time, bro. This looks good, chat. This looks really good. Didn't touch us. Didn't touch us. That felt good. That was a good round. Okay, stage nine. Here we go. No story. Just go for it. Okay, 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 okay. Wild. participate in the rating i just stopped by to see like, some of the games for the jam um i think you just set up an account on itch.io
Okay. That's some good stuff. We're doing a lot of damage. We got a lot of money left over. Obviously, I want him to go through this sideways. Maybe that's still worth doing. The gym there. And a locked door. Mm, this is not a time-wasting mission. I'm not going to do a locked door, actually. Locked door is good for rerouting him. Um... the skeleton man a lot. Let's make him find a gym right there. <laughs> okay. Big line of springs is a cool idea, chat. I haven't tried that. That'd be so annoying. Okay, he's pretty hurt. Good stuff, skeleton. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh, Jimmy. Good shit. We finally did it! We got through! Don't relax yet. There's bound to be more of those weak skeletons around here. I don't think so. It looks like this is the last room. Look. Oh, I think I got their mint voices mixed up. Oh, whoa! Treasure! That was the whole dungeon? Where's the boss? Who cares? We did it. That was pretty fun after all. I honestly wouldn't mind doing this again sometime. <laughs> he still beat me. Even after all I did. After all my hard work, he just kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Can't compete with that. I'm not like I used to be. I'm just a weak skeleton. I'm, I'm not even skin and bones. I'm just bones. You're right. I feel like a bunch was skipped there, huh? Maybe it's because my second playthrough. <laughs> we gotta do stage D. You really think you can beat me, Alexandria? Let's see your dungeon deal with my shadow clone technique. <laughs> you wonder if Nintendo has exclusivity on, on Pac-Man 99? I'm almost positive they do. Okay, so we got two shippy doos. They have a health potion. <laughs> um, but the weird thing was when I beat this, they didn't hang around. Sorry, the one that is upstairs stopped moving. Um, we do another gas trap here. Little Jimmy here. Spike here. Gas trap there. Another Jimmy. <laughs> another Jimmy. Okay, let's see how that works. Yeah, look, the one on the top just stopped moving. There's a cutscene of Haver and BB going super mode. Yeah, I remember that. It happened to me on my first playthrough, so I wonder if that's just because it's a second playthrough thing. Oh, weird. I have no idea why that bug happens, but I'll take it. 
Kyle using an exploit, you know I'm not too proud. <laughs> Jims, where are all of you? Here, sir. Jims, get rid of Alexandria. She's gotten out of control. Uh, sir, she's the only w reason this dungeon is still standing. Without Alexandria, I'd probably all be dead. I don't care, you idiot. Just do it. I'm the boss of this dungeon. Not anymore, you're not. Come on, Jims. I know you care about this dungeon just as much as I do. Do it right, Alexandria. This is all 362 of me. Me's home. We're not just going to let it go down. So get out of your dark shippy doos. You cannot do this. I am dark shippy doos. You're just a skeleton of some slimes. All right, Jims. Let's do the thing. I've always wanted to do the thing. Super Jim's wave! Charge! Wow, get two of this! <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Yeah, man, I like this game, the way it introduces its mechanics and it's like it's simple, like design and concept. Really good. Really, really good. I dig it. And I gotta add this to the playlist. This is some epidemic track. I just wanted to let you know I just added a new build of Alex's comment on Itch.io that scales the difficulty of the Savandrius battle way down and adds a chapter select to jump right in. In case you wanted to play through the ending of the game. Nice. Know this, chat. Anybody who's uh, looking to play that game. Pixel Ghost by Hip Color. Nice. Uh, what is next for us? Oh, that one that I queued up. Right, 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 right. Yeah, Chad, I feel like if we did, like, like, best design concepts, you know? Like, there's there's some good stuff in there. Tough act to follow. That's why I kind of, like, uh, kind of made, like, a playlist here where, you know, we bounce off to something else completely different. I mean, I can make this full screen. Let's do it. Yeah. I know that's not like, that's not like full res, but I like it. I think it looks good still. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> hey man, what's wrong? You look real sad. Nothing. Doesn't seem like nothing. You haven't said anything all day. Please. I'm sorry. I get I get so distracted by the things that Auto Mod chooses to mute. Game audio is too loud. Okay. Wine the Bard merely said, "Everyone has blown me away." And auto mods like, uh uh. <laughs> okay, auto mod. 
This is what I'm saying. Automod is randier than anyone. Well, it's just because daddy's been gone for a week and mommy gets all quiet whenever I ask her about it. Oh, I see. That happened with my grandma last year. Yeah? Yeah. Jay rustles through his superhero-clad backpack. Here. He slides a card in, her, in your hand. I know everybody thinks he's pretty weak, but he always makes me smile because he was my first card. Dog Bauer? <laughs> Five whole years later. Love Dog Bauer, dude. And post. You slam the enter button, publishing the latest installment on your blog. It reads, Hi to all my loyal fans. Okay, so I have big news. I'm going to win the card tournament this Tuesday. The grand prize is $300, and I intend to scoop it up. I will have to skip school, but I'm not, I'm sure mom won't mind when I bring home the big bucks. And it's only at the Portal Comic Shop, which is barely a 15 minute walk away. I don't even need to cross the freeway. I'm definitely going to push my cards extra hard this week to train them up. You never know if someone will be able to summon them like I can. Though, even if they can, Mito Stick works wonders in the intimidation part department. I'll be drowning in booster packs with their help, and all my friends at school will be begging to look at my piles of foil cards. Okay, that's all I have for now. I'll update you with a longer post when I win that mule. I better get to training. <laughs> the freaking cages, man. Who will I summon? Lumbi? Okay, I see, I see I see a couple of votes for Lumbi. You tell it to twirl. Lumbi spins violently around the room, knocking over your cages. Ooh, that was good. Treat. You give Lumbi a jelly bean, but it falls through Lumbi's body and onto the floor. You ate it instead. Cute. <laughs> good morning, Mint. It's Monday. You're going to school. At break time, you see Avery opening some cards. Packs. This captures your attention. You walk closer to see if there's anything good on the menu today. Avery visibly tenses up as you approach. <laughs> she tries to casually move her hand over something. Hey, it's new boosters, Avery. <laughs> uh, yeah. You got anything good? No, no, just common so far. She's avoiding eye contact with you. N nothing at all, then. Nope. Why don't you move your hand, Avery? Now. Avery looks defeated and lifts her hand, revealing a foil stoking card. You reach for it, but get, inter get interrupted. Hey, Mint, knock it off. You're always picking on Avery. Just leave her be. Well, this might be trouble. Who will you summon to make the problem go away? Let's stick with Lumby. Get him, Lumby! Lumby floats towards Jay, its fists crackling with energy. Jay stumbles backwards. You can see him shaking. Mint! Stop it! He trips over a chair leg, his butt collides with the ground. Lumby looms over him. You can have the cord! Avery shouts as she holds it out. The foil gleams slightly. Please don't hurt him. Lumby, halt. Return to me. Lumby listens and moves away from the thoroughly scared Jay. You can swipe the card from Avery and the pair walk away. You spend the rest of break alone. <laughs> okay, this is good. You check your blog when you get home. Your last post has a comment. Do you read it? Nah. Actually, I chose not nah my first playthrough. Let's see. We'll see you sure. The comment reads, Oh, 
from shippy doos those cards seem to wield a great deal of potential little girl i would quite like to see them put to the test against something or someone truly awe-inspiring best of luck at that tournament you're interrupted by a knock at the door minty honey yeah what is it jay's mother called me about what happened at school today I know you've had a hard time recently, and I'm sorry I can't be home more to help you through this, but please don't take it out on others. I, I know, Mom. I really hope you do. How would you have felt if Jay was hurt or in the hospital? I wouldn't have let that happen, okay? They always listen to me, and then I would tell them to stop if they got close to hurting someone. Man, you shouldn't be creating situations where people could get hurt in the first place. I love you, sweetheart, but sometimes the things you do scare me as well. You have a sinking feeling in your chest when she says that. Those of us with powers should never use them against those without. I need you to promise me this will never happen again. I promise. Is there anything you would like to talk about? I know how to... I want to know how I can help you. No, there's nothing really. All right, I'll be in the living room if you need me. Mom? Yes, dear. I'll make things right. I know you will. You're a good kid, Mint. Thanks, Mom. Of course. You hear her walk away from the door. The guilt you had been pushing away has made it to the forefront. You disappointed your mother again, but you promise yourself that will change, starting with the tournament. Even if $300 is not a lot of money, winning one tournament means you can win more and more. Eventually, you'll be at the World Championships making some, taking home hundreds of thousands of dollars. And your mom will be there. You have to focus on the tournament. There's only one day left to prepare. Time to train. All right, chat. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? <laughs> I, for the record, I did stoking and I liked it. You tell to dodge your attacks and start throwing stuffed toys. Sexy carrot suavely dodges out of the way. It starts to incorporate dance moves like the worm into its routine. Oh, that's a treat. It flexes its tendrils before returning to the card. So it's just, it's got little emphasis lines on this butt. <laughs> Always punish the carrot. God. Oh my god, chat. Stop this. Good morning, Mint. It's Tuesday, but there's no time for school. You got a tournament to win. Your mom's already at work, so you don't have... She won't be any wiser if you head to the comic shop. <laughs> Their identities are safe, thank you. You saunter through the door of the comic shop and slam your binder down on the counter. I'm here to enter the tournament! Yeah, man, uh, you already paid your entry fee last week. Just go sit at one of the tables. Game starts in 20. How? Wow, rude. You pick up your binder and eye up the competition. Most of the faces are familiar, though there is one person who is definitely new. They're sitting alone in some sort of cosplay. Though, you don't recognize the character. You decide to sit across from them. It's always good to get a feel for new opponents. They stare at you with a strange intensity. One that contrasts fiercely with their Chester getup. <laughs> What's really fun, so making the rule about Dark Shippy Doos as an optional boss fight, I didn't know Dark Shippy Doos would be so prevalent still, so present, I guess I should say, in most of these games. You know what I mean? I thought it'd be like a little side thing, like, oh, okay, so to do this, just do that to, the, uh, to get to Dark Shippy Doos. Like, <laughs> Dark Shippy Doos has been a staple for some of these games. <laughs> Icon. We like a villain. That's too true. Too true. The games aren't long enough for side stuff to be prevalent. I guess so, right. Yeah. 
Hello, Mint. Hi. Nice costume. A costume? I would never lower myself to the level of dressing as another. Oh, so it's like your OC? <sighs> I see that there will be no gain from talking to you. Let us commence with our battle, child, and be prepared to fail, as I am dark, shippy dues. Oh, so you're my weird fan. Do you want me to sign something for you? You small fool, you misunderstand me. I know of your powers. I will test them fully before I eradicate you. What in the heck are you talking about? As soon as those words leave your mouth, the tables around you start to rise. You look towards Shippy, whose hands have become distorted by some kind of vortex. They have a deadly serious look on their face. I think we have to. music's sweet. I don't think we have to. No saving. Chat, no saves. No saves. We don't do that. Okay. Um, Doug, Dog Bower first. I can't do it. Dog won't stand a chance against them. Okay. Save Sexy Carrot. Lumby. Lumby uses Bop It. It slams its fist, sorry, fist square into Shippy's chest, throwing them back into a stack of board games. Shippy stands, gasping for air. Lumpy floats towards them, humming with energy. But as it draws close, Shippy smiles and forms fields around Lumpy. The fields vibrate incredibly fast. Lumpy's gaseous body is forced apart, molecule by molecule, until only a mist is left. Damn. Keep that dumper in your back pocket. Okay, chat. Mito stick uses one plus one. <laughs> Shippy levitates Mito stick before it gets close. A whirling vortex surrounds it until there is nothing left. Before it disappeared, you heard it screaming from both mouths. Damn. This is kind of cool. So I believe in my playthrough, I trained Mito Stick, and it did better in that fight. Stoking uses Reign of Fire. The card tables are set alight and rocket around the room. You instinctively stop, drop, and roll. Great. Chippy seemingly sucks away the vacuum around each fire, including Stoking. You watch as it grows smaller until the only thing left is a smoldered crown. Be junk. Thanks for being a three mother. Okay. Sexy carrot uses thrust, but it's not Shippy's type. Dark Sh in this universe, dark Shippy dudes is impervious to sexy carrot. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> He's all I have left. Attack them, boy! He waddles around him at full speed, which is about normal walking pace. Shippy stares at Dog with amusement in their eyes. They don't even bother with a vortex. Instead, Shippy winds up and punts Dog Bower as soon as he's close enough. Dog is hurled through the store and collides into a case of figurines. Dog, no! Truly a miserable show, child. You utterly lack the capabilities I seek. Let us be done with your insignificant life. Shippy moves towards you slowly as the vortexes start to close in. The flashing lights and twisted motion makes you sick. You sink to the ground and shut your eyes hard. You pant and scream, even though it's futile. Your lungs ache as Shippy slowly closes in. They're enjoying every drop of fear you give them. You call out one last time. Help me, Dog Bower. You expect the vortexes to pull you in, but instead you hear a loud crackling sound and a yelp. <laughs> the 
This did not happen on my playthrough. <laughs> you open your eyes to see Dog Bauer in a new form, standing tall. Shippy's attention is also turned towards Dog, leaving you safe for now. It matters not that you have evolved, you pest. This one... What? Dog Bauer learned the ultimate ability, Get Decked, and sent Dark Shippy Dews flying mid-monologue. The vortexes in the shop dissipate as you stand. You run over to Dog Bauer and hug him. After making sure Shippy is unconscious, you call the police. You wait in the store just in case, though. Some of the patrons who were hiding in different spots start to emerge, realizing the danger is gone. Whoa. That guy did all this? Yeah, but don't worry. I saved the day. With Dog Bauer, of course. You know? You kind of did, kid. Dave turns and enters the back of the shop, returning with a trophy and an envelope? Oh, look at the stuff around. You go, Mint. So much power. I wish I could be like her. That's cool, dude. Here, Mint. I think we can call you the winner of this tournament. Without you, we might have been goners. Oh, heck yeah. You snatch the prizes and hoist them in the air. With an app... What an absolute idiot thinking he could take more. He could ever best my cards. Sorry, Shippy Doo Doo, but I'm the greatest player there ever was and will be. I'm Ultra Mint! With your victory speech over and an ambulance taking away Shippy, you proudly walk home with Dog Bauer, ready to tell your mom about how big of a winner you are. Wow! I don't even know what I did right that time. That was the good ending. What did we do right? That was sick. Testing, programming, and art. That's pretty cool. You trained Sexy Carrot. That must be... Yeah, you have to train Sexy Carrot to get the good ending. I had to check these. Uh, Heatley Bros is like uh, royalty free music. Thanks for playing. World's best. Ultra fresh. That was fun, dude. Good playthrough. Good playthrough. What is next? Oh no. Mediocre Apple, thanks for being a 10 monther. Praise, praise, good job, chat. Lots of amazing games tonight, too true. So, the next game is a game that I stopped because it's too hard. Let's see how far I can get this time. I had to end it last time because it I, I I like couldn't progress. Okay. Izzel's quest. The Izzel one of Bopo, you too? <laughs> we got one hour left. Yeah, we'll save the rest for Friday. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. Love this style. I posted an update. You get more HP now. Oh, okay. 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 Maybe I should uh, tell everybody what's on deck. You know what I mean? Because we're getting... Oh, yeah. You, you updated this one hour ago. Okay. Okay. Version 1.2. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Boop de boop. Easy. Crazy how fast that stuff can go, huh? Loading that patch. 
What do you want? Uh, I want to be a pirate. You an owl? <laughs> no owls allowed in this crew. Please, I'll do anything. Anything? Shove. I just realized that character's name is Chat. <laughs> Get us the treasure from the tower, and I'll consider letting you join. But it's forbidden to enter the tower. I guess you don't want to be a pirate. Okay, these are tutorials. We got this. Okay, so this game is actually... Oh, it's hard because there's like three frames before the knife comes out. You see Izzel do like a little, little twist? Right there. That thing hit me as I was getting my knife out. So that's our that's our primary point of difficulty for this game, Castlevania style, yeah. This fight is hard because this guy backs up as you stab him. Like that. So you can take damage even after attacking. Where's your health? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm covering it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just cost Okay, after this fight, if I don't die, I'm down to 1 HP. There, I'm dead. Shouldn't have done that. There we go. Ooh. Okay, great. Hey, what does no DC mean? There's another game that says no DC in the upper left-hand corner. This fight is legit hard. It doesn't look hard. It doesn't look. It doesn't look like something that would be hard. Hey, hey, nice. Knife extender plus one. You got 40 marbles. Play previous levels again to get more marbles. Uh, upgrade. Oh, everything's so expensive, though. You only get 40 for beating the level, so we'd have to beat that level two more times to get one HP. Man, you said you, said you updated the game to get you more HP. Okay. There's a money cheat? Ah, oh, we're gonna want that money cheat. Oh, God. Oh, this fight. So this fight I can't beat. We're already to the part I can't beat. Uh, okay. 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 Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Okay. So then you're like, okay, obviously you have to kill the babies to win this fight. But there's no time! There's no time to kill the babies! Ah! They meant the enemies have more HP. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait for it to dash, yep. Oh my gosh. Babies! There's too many of you! Babies! No! God! I'm entering that money ch cheat. Press P to exit level. Okay. You can mash F5 three times while upgrade is highlighted to get money. No, 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 no. I just did that to chat. There we go. <laughs> I just f 5 to chat. <laughs> Show hands. Does that mean we did it when it says show hands? Oh, yeah. We got a lot of marbles now. Okay. Okay. There we go. Hopefully, we're good now. F5 me, daddy? Chat, no. Oh, look at that sword. That's a laser beam now. Okay. Now we're talking, baby. <laughs> Stupid shark. Okay. You should definitely add that cheat code to the description of your level. I feel like everybody playing this game should uh, be able to do that. <laughs> Danger. Go back. I can't become a pirate unless I get the treasure. You learned dash. 
Nice. Okay, so th that is uh, on the level description now. Great. Ooh, can I do it in midair? Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Great. Now we're talking, baby. Yeah, I get why some of these games don't have sound effects. It's a huge undertaking at the very end of your project, you know? Can I dash up? No. Okay, 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 okay. We get it, we get it, we get it. Knife length is making you uncomfortable? What's that supposed to mean? No, this is a knife. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. With this much HP, though, you can kind of just grind out most of these fights. Oh. Good stuff, Izzel. Wow, this is so funny. This game I could simply not beat yesterday. Don't forget your dash. I totally forgot my dash. Ah. Ah. I'd say the battles are kind of Mega Man-like. <laughs> You're strong, Ripples. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here to find the tower's treasure. The treasure only brings trouble. Best to leave. I can't become a pirate if I don't find it. Who cares? Pirates are lame. You learned super jump. Nice. Sick. Ow! Ow! <laughs> yeah, I'm still using the 360 D-pad. Ow! I'm gonna see about plugging in my old uh, PS4 controller to the PC. <laughs> or you know what? You know what I should be using is the Wii Pro controller. Oh, come on. There we go, dude. Oh, ow. My little owl body. No. Eh, nice dodge. No. I guess it's a particular kind of game that just gets me to scream at it, huh? No! Okay. No! <laughs> no! No! Okay, okay. What do I do about that jellyfish up there? We might have to kill it. Combined with the silence, it's unnerving. Okay, chat. What do you think is in there? <laughs> we need sound effects. We just have Kyle screaming no all the time. Ow. Okay. Don't bounce. The jellyfish take too many hits, dude. Why does a jellyfish have so much defense? Why? Why am I... Don't even bother with... God! I lost half my health to that one dumb jellyfish. What do we think is this way? More babies. 
Oh, it's it's just a bad penalty room. You don't want to be there. Okay, okay, okay. As far as I'm aware, no health pickups. This game is hardcore. No. No. Okay. No! Okay, I knew better. I knew better. I knew better. I knew better. Dash first. The key is to dash first. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Pros only. Okay, buddy. Man, this would be so hard with a regular little knife. Oh, <laughs> you, you just got to go. Don't wait for the the balls because you can't dodge them. No. No, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. And then, yes. Okay. Ooh, you learned super dash. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ten marbles, brutal. Dude, dude, that's pretty slick. Do you think there's a secret on the top? Well, I can't gain air, can I? Oh, oh. Uh. Yes. Ow. Ow. Stop it. No, no, though. 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 <sighs> I feel like I can just brute force this easier than what I'm doing. Okay. Ah, you turn left too hard. I chat. There's a secret up there. It's probably shippy dues. Oh, okay. That's what I'm missing. Is you just gotta press the dash button again. Ow. Okay. You can't hold it in. You gotta press it again. Ow. Ow. Come on. <laughs> chat. Is there a cool secret up here? <laughs> Don't say owl, please. Not the time. <laughs> All right, chat says yes. Okay. Oh. No, we had it, little buddy. We had such a good momentum, little buddy. Okay. No. What is this? You got like double jumps? What is this? Okay. You got to be patient on the last one. No sound, no sound. Oh, had good momentum there. Oh, but you don't want to use your double jump because you only get three of those. Got it, got it, got it. Ah. Start from the gap before. I know you do get a little more height. Whew. We got it, baby. Ah, ah, da, ah, da. Okay. Okay, okay, Shippy, okay. Come down, come lower. Are you just going to stay up that whole time? What's up? 
There we go. Oh my god, stop it. Stop. There we go. We got a hit in there. The cutest chippy doos. Not cute. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> ah. Can I kill those balls? You cannot. Okay, you gotta deal with them. You gotta double jump too if you want to. Okay. Ow! <laughs> okay, so the the sword takes too long. Kind of like how I was talking about the startup frames of the uh, attack. It takes too long for you to be able to slash at the top of that jump. Nice. Uh. Yeah, don't do it. Hey, hey. <laughs> Chat. I've been watching on Amazon a series called Documental. This is a Japanese, basically, reality game show in which Japanese comedians are locked into a room for six hours trying to make each other laugh. You, you lose if you laugh. I feel like, subconsciously, a lot of those noises have seeped into the noises I'm making when I go, hey, <laughs> when I'm just exclaiming, I feel like I'm starting to think in documental exclamations. What's funny is I don't actually think the show is that funny. Um, Japanese comedy is just so different. It's so, so different from, you know, almost anywhere else in the world. You don't really have, like, a lot of stand-up comedians who just, like, solo just go up and tell jokes. It's more like there's, like, duos and teams. And you do, like, a very particular kind of comedy. But what I find interesting about that is, like, finding what's similar. So, like, everything's so, so different, right? But, like... Finding the things that are the same, that work across the cultures, I think is really interesting. Manzai. Yeah, I've seen the word Manzai a bunch. We're like, yeah, he's my Manzai partner. I do Manzai with him. And it's like, man, just tell, just go up there and tell jokes. You don't need him. You don't need that, man. You're funny. Just go tell jokes. Okay, we got this. We got this. Not a lot of fart jokes, but by the end, so I've seen the first two seasons. It's mostly just like dudes getting naked and trying to make each other laugh at their genitals. <laughs> when they've exhausted everything else, they're just like, hey, 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 psst, psst. look at this. Look at my junk. Psst, look at this. I'm, I'm like egged up. I'm egged up and naked. Check this out. That's like their final weapon. That's their final Kamehameha wave, is just getting naked and slimy. <laughs> Egged up, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, egg slime. Does it work? Uh, No. No, that's the other thing. That's the other thing is, like, the biggest laughs are the ones they're not even pursuing. So I haven't watched season three yet. Bro, that was worse than last time. 
the biggest laughs are the natural stuff. The stuff that is the same across all cultures. Like when you just mess up a phrase really bad, you know? Like when you just like... When you make an excellent callback, when you draw a comparison to something that just happened to something that happened an hour ago or at the beginning of this competition. That's the funniest shit. But instead they're like, I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> I'm wearing a mask. It's like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, they're bringing up bags worth of props. They're like, oh yeah, if I'm going to make this many comedians laugh, dude, I, I got to have my props. What do you got to have props for? Nobody's laughing at your props. But the thing is, they do think the props are funny. And there is something... I think innately funny cross-culturally, even if I had subtitles off about someone trying desperately to make you laugh. Even if that person is not funny, even if that person has no jokes, it's really hard not to laugh when they're just bombing. And that's something you can do to make the other people laugh too. It's just like, like Hey man, like your jokes suck. <laughs> You're bombing out there, dude. None of that was funny. I'm never going to laugh at your reactions. <laughs> That's one thing that was said. <laughs> I'm never going to laugh at your reactions, bro. <laughs> but then even that guy who they're like, hey, look, you're not funny. And the guy truly did not seem funny. Um, it was like a new guy. Really wanted everybody to like him. Even he was like getting them to smirk and almost laugh. despite his terrible pre-written routines. Then he's like, oh, this will get him. Here's my next strategy. Look out for this. Oh my God. We're so close. We're so close. Just be cool, dude. Just be cool. <sighs> Gets kind of racist at that one black guy's expense. Yeah, he's showing photographs of his dad, and they're like, haha, that's funny. It's like, wait, what is, what's funny about it? <laughs> I almost lost. That was too funny. Like, what, what, what the? <laughs> what the hell? Oh. This is regular shippy deuce. What? Why'd you attack me? Well, you were attacking me. You broke into my home. I was defending myself. Why do you live here? I hate people. Ooh, I like regular shippy dudes. No one bothers me here. You got 400 marbles and that's it? That was the end of that level? Whoa. <laughs> Am I shippy dudes? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, what though? Oh, we could, we got multiple hops. Right, 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 right. Oh, that level was actually easy, huh? If you don't to toil with dark shippy. Okay, let's uh just mash this one out. I'm not playing with your lightning balls, bro. I should hop over that one, though. <laughs> After the battle, Easel takes a treasure. What's happening? You took the treasure! You've doomed us all! By taking the treasure, you've summoned a terrible sea monster! Ooh, you got the sea monsters in here. I just wanted to be a pirate. Well, we're all done for if you don't defeat the sea monster. I I can't do that. You beat up my whole crew, so you're our only hope. Izzel realized he had to do something. He reflected on everything he had learned. Hammer's dash. Ripple's super jump. Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize I was learning those things from the enemies I defeated. That's cool. Izzel learned ultimate technique. Sea Monster Destroyer Lightning Dive. Sick. Yes! 
It was a lighthouse. The end. Yes! <laughs> okay. So, the changes you made from the game that was there at the beginning of the, t of the day to today were valuable. The cheat codes make that game so playable. <laughs> it's weird. It's like, um... We are, you learn tiny lessons, right? And like game design, balancing is so hard. Yeah. The cheats were there before. Yeah. So like without them, I could not play this game, but with them, that was a fun thing to play through. I really like the infinite air dash. Once we got the pattern too, we got through the, to the, uh, the secret fight. Yeah, that was fun, dude. Next level, secret level. No. Is this a, like a secret boss rush? It's the same level. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, that was fun. All right. Okay. That's so weird, man. I'm leaving this with such a better impression of the one that I had from yesterday. We get to see it one more time. Yes. Raged out. <laughs> Can you do impressions? Generally, I haven't been doing impressions for every game. Generally, I haven't been doing that. Um, we talk. We talk a little bit about like, yeah, the Game Jam Awards. what was interesting mechanically in things that again was cool because we have a character who has wings we got Izzel who flies so it's so important for in a 2d platforming game you gotta at least have some sort of flight aspect and so like having the infinite dash i think was pretty sweet it took me a clearly it took me a second to understand the dash jump dash jump dash jump you have infinite dashes, but only three jumps. You could give out special awards. We'll do that next time. I wouldn't want to just come up with them afterwards. That doesn't seem right. But yeah, the, the, their games have been so impressive tonight. Okay, so 1131. We did make it through half the games. Let's um let's do two more. We'll do two more. Bummer. Yeah. We'll do two more games. I'm gonna need a quick break. We'll come back. We'll do two more games. Best shippy implementation. Yeah, that should be an award. Just want to confirm that even though we're we're not an entry because we were too late, it's okay to submit something to you for Friday's stream. Absolutely, Kitten Clinic. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Least sexual award is such a funny idea. <laughs> Highest restraint. <laughs> I love that the show, uh, Sexy Comedy for Sexy People, is not just for the sexies. <laughs> I think even if you're not sexy, you could still enjoy it. <laughs> Which two games are left? Uh, a More Perfect Death and Bulgy Muscles. I feel like Bulgy Muscles is a good one to end on. Cool. All right, so we'll take a quick break. Definitely blow my nose. Man, I got a schnoz full of snot. And uh, we'll come back. We'll play two more games. And uh, that'll be the stream. Cool. All right, see you soon, chat.
Do you hear him? <laughs> uh, Mucho is so upset. <laughs> He's like, why did you leave? It's because the stream's not over yet. You give him a little attention. He's like, oh, hell yeah, stream's over. Time to hang. It's like, no, dude. Shut up. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, so perfect death it must be in downloads. Oh, there it is. Okay. One moment, chat. Mucho should get extra treats tonight. For what? What did he do to deserve to, deser to deserve extra treats? What do you even do? Putting up with you. He does that daily. He does that on the daily. I got him a thing where it's like... It's these cups. Where you slide the cups over and then there's a treat beneath it. So you gotta just learn to like... Swipe away at cups. He like doesn't get it, dude. He doesn't get it, but last time he got the treats under the cups within like 11 seconds, I think. I think he's finally understood it. And so it's this weird thing where like you believe your cat is the dumbest cat in the world and then suddenly he's a genius. Very suddenly, your cat's got it. He gets it, he just hates it. <laughs> Thinks like I have to be doing it by accident. Okay, so, controls up, down, left, right. S attack is space. Um, This game I did soft lock out of. Now, we've been pretty lucky with the soft locks so far. I did get the boat stuck during the game where I was told not to get the boat stuck. Um... So maybe we can get past it this time. <laughs> My sister had a treat ball that you have to roll to get the treats to fall out of the holes. Her cats were too stupid to understand it. Yeah, they just kind of like... <sighs> mm. Let me go back to screaming at Kyle. It's like, don't scream at me! There's a treat under there! <laughs> nah, I'd rather scream, bro. I fought many battles. In many wars, but this was my last. Fortunately, this one keeps restarting. It seems my death has already been set in stone, but I may as well make it the greatest death ever witnessed. Rock. Wait, what was swipe? There it is. Okay, we can swipe again. Okay, so we have HP and clout. We will die. But we're trying to get as much clout as we can before we die. Slime increases your clout, I believe. So it's not only kills. The 
the bats you kind of want to get lined up with you because then they'll come straight at you. They're impossible to hit if they're going back. Not impossible, but it's just super hard to hit anybody diagonally. You can't move diagonally in this game. The music is unnerving, right? Yeah, look at that diagonal hit. That was nasty. What are you yelling about? I swear he communicates with me. <laughs> Cause yeah, he did. He did a no, and I yell at him like, "What are you yelling about?" And then he just goes, ah. <laughs> "Like eh, nothing much." <laughs> So I think we're gonna we're gonna die soon. Okay, 990 clout. Not good enough. Okay, but now we got this slime here. Why you kill? I don't know, man. Ow. It's cheap. We needed 1,000. Bummer. However, last time I played on my second run, we got an enemy that gets you way more clout. There it is. All right. Let this bad boy burn you. Now look at your clout. Everything else is irrelevant. Burn me. Burn me. That's how you do it, baby. Look at that clout. Now look at that clout. Look at that. A perfect death. Let's get that 10k. Okay. All right. We didn't quite get to 10k. <laughs> DGD? I don't know. Not good enough. Okay. But now we got a bat in here. He could get away. So, when I soft blocked the game, I actually was killing every enemy that appeared, including the fire guy. And then just no enemy spawned in. So I wonder if we're till we're supposed to let them burn us. Like don't wipe out the fire enemies. Get that clout. I don't know what it took to get me, to get me on super fire. Ow. Ow. My cloud. Okay, 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 okay. Not good enough. Okay, but now we got a fire guy in here. When will you allow this senseless destruction to end? way. Ooh, okay. Oh. It's the uncolored version. Do you think I'm doing damage? Ow. Borderline experimental? Not even borderline, dude. Yeah, hell yeah. Thank you, Shippy.
hurt me, shippy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that is the game, though, isn't it? <laughs> this game is called Hurt Me Shippy. Like, you want the flame. Not the slime. I want that flame clout. No, no, no. I want flame clout. There we go. Yes. 10k, baby. I feel like dying to dark shippy dues has to be a perfect death. Rack it up, baby. Rack it up. Rack it up. Rack it up. Fourth wall penalty? No! No. <laughs> Fair enough. Whoa! Hello. This is gonna be a good death. Ooh, look at my cloud already. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. What an interesting game this is. You know what I mean? Like, the music isn't action-oriented at all. Good enough. Thanks for playing. Huh. Where are our credits? Is that it? Daventry Vaporworks. We should only look at that page. Oh, that's all it says is Daventry Vaporworks. Man, I kind of dig that. Short and sweet. Yeah, that was cool. It was not at all about killing the enemies. <laughs> it was about taking as much damage as you could before you died. There's something there. There's absolutely something there. Okay, and now the bulgy muscles game. Let me triple check that this hasn't been updated too, right? We should just check that for every game at this point. One day ago. Okay, we're good. We're set to go. Oh, hold up. How's the volume on this? Ooh, that's not working. So maybe we do window capture. That does work. Okay, cool. Volume's low? Okay. Ship me bulgy chat. <laughs> I thought it was Friday. To me, like chat is so rowdy right now, I'm like, you need the weekend chat. It's not even it's not even Friday. This is Wednesday. Okay. We're in. Talk to the rodeo boss is our objective. Obviously, we're not going to do that immediately. Hey, Bulgy. You know, they call me Bulgy not just because of my muscles. You know rodeo clowns don't have to tell jokes. Okay. Froze. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad. God, I got to stop doing that. So we'll just do display capture for this one. There we go. When will you learn? I don't know, chat. Okay, so this is where this that dialogue came from. Hey, Bulgy. 
You know, they call me bulgy, not just because of my muscles. You know, rodeo clowns don't have to tell jokes. Okay. Is this our first for first person game tonight? Oh, hey. I was thinking, damn, I'm so jacked I should do prop comedy. What do you think? Uh, I wish you were a mime. That would just give me more time to flex. <laughs> hey, Bulgy. You here to do the rodeo? Wink? You know it. I recommend going to the training area behind the trailer, and then head on to the ring. Do what you do best. <laughs> Duke Nukem style. We're actually very tall. Well, I guess our eye level is somehow our chest, but you know, you get the picture. First go in the ring. <laughs> I didn't realize you can just jump on people and they're still gonna be at a 90 degree angle to you. <laughs> That's fun. Right mouse button to punch. This is so cursed, I love it. Yeah, this game is, is intentionally cursed. I mean, the thunderstorm, the desert. The chain link fence. The old woman in the shadows next to an empty pool. Yeah. <laughs> you are not ready. So let's go to the rodeo zone. Right now, all we know is right click is punch. Now, these guys are tricky. You got to let them throw out a punch first. There it is. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Them being stacked on top of each other is not good for us. We don't want that to happen again. Oh, come on, you dumb beans. The beans are not explained, by the way. I'm not sure why I'm beating up beans. Oh, God. Oh, that sucked. That sucked. I got to keep my eyes peeled. I forgot about that. That's an element of this game. You always got to look around. They will absolutely give you a little sneaky punch. We're in trouble. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little too sneaky, buddy. A little too sneaky, buddy. <sighs> okay, nice. Now, here's what's fun is the mirror actually serves a purpose. Daddy's back. It fills up your health. Hey, Bulgy. If you're hurt, go stand in front of the mirror. Before the next fight, go talk to Grandma by the pool. Hey, kid. 
You want some angel dust? Dang, this broad knows her drugs. Maybe later, you old bag, or yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I feel different. Maybe I should go to the training area to flex this feeling out and then talk to the boss. And then what's weird is the grandma becomes a movable object. Hey, kid. Sorry, I'm sold out for the day. Unless there's something else you're here for. Oink, but no thanks. Oh. We should try to get the grandma in the ring. I'm not sure why she becomes a movable object after that sequence, but this could actually prove valuable to us. I got her stuck in the pool on my last playthrough. Kid, hey kid, <laughs> hey kid. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. We'll see if that proves useful. Hey, Bulgy. Looks like you talked to Grandma. Have fun in there. Oh, actually, one more thing. I heard there's a mysterious man out in the desert. Just saying. Okay. So now we get this weird gravity gun ability. Now this is weird because it says uh, left mouse button for telekinesis, left mouse button again to throw. Um, so like, if something's being tossed at you, you want to hold down the button. So sometimes when you're holding it down to pick up an item, uh, you got it, like I just did. And then when you let go, it doesn't throw, so then you have to hold down your left button again to throw it. That's not super consistent, but it's what I learned to work with. What I haven't tried is this thing where you're still punching with it. It doesn't seem too valuable. Oh no, I threw the box by accident. Actually, that'll be helpful. Hey buddy. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Here we go. It's so cool the grandma's just hanging out with us in there here. Man, I took two damage already. Thanks, Grandma. So there she just took a hit for me. <laughs> She's a valuable tool here. This was actually super hard my first playthrough. A lot of these games chat you make me learn special strats for. Cool. <laughs> my grandma's still here, dude! Hey, kid. <laughs> I think we can do the shippy dues battle now, too. Oh, let's go fill up our health. Daddy's back. Here we go. Prove yourself. Uh, okay. Okay, so, oh my god, you're a cheese master. Oh, we got hit. That's what I'm saying. Shippy dudes is nasty, dude. Ah. Ah. Okay. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. E. Nice. Isn't this crazy? Ooh, that hit. Oh, I think that hit. Sneaky, chippy. No, oh, I threw it by accident. Ah, here we go. No. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, come on. I think I got it. I did. Nice. Whew. What I really appreciate about this jam is that game that this game is absolutely nothing like any other submission from any other game you've played. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, dude. What a weird concept. Might be able to keep your back on the fence. He won't spawn spawn behind you then. Dark shippy dudes will still spawn directly next to you. But true. You're taking out 180 degrees of spawn. Well done. You're a worthy opponent and have my blessing in life. Do I know you? And that's it. Well done. You're a worthy opponent and have my blessing in life. Do I know you? That's all you get. Ooh, we can't flatten dark shippy dudes. Nor push them. Okay. Let's uh, make sure daddy's back. And then we got one final fight in the ring. Foreshadowing the fighting game. I know to, to have the blessing is scary. What does it mean to have dark, dark shippy dude's blessing in life? Hey, Bulgy. It's time for the final challenge. Head to the arena. Make me proud. Son. <laughs> there is a resemblance. <laughs> Alright. Lucky for us, the grandma is still in the ring. Oh my god. Stop following me! Oh, I think I picked you up. I did. Weird. Oh. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> the grandma's just hanging out, dude. <laughs> that has to be intentional. <laughs> that has to be by design. Nice. Yeah, I think the intent is... Beat the final boss. Oh my god, I've done to three hearts. I think the intent is to use the dodgeballs as you have been. But really, you can get the cannons to shoot your enemies for you. Help me though, Grandma. How'd you get over here already? How'd you get over here, Grandma? How'd you get over here? Help me, Grandma. She is helping. She's blocking them. Oh, you're so clutch. You're so clutch. Okay, we're gonna have to start getting some hits in. Ow! I got hit by that ball. Okay, so the ba baby beans are just gonna keep spawning. Oh, Grandma, you took my ball. Oh, that doesn't help. We gotta get serious here. <laughs> no! Didn't mean to throw it. Just happens sometimes. Ah! Okay, no! Nice. I can't get in close for the punches. Too risky. No. No, 
nice. Okay. God, one heart. Yes! Yes! Whew. Hey, kid. Come back after you first go in the ring. Okay. <laughs> hey, Bulgy. I know this is sudden, but I have some bad news. The rodeo is closing. The feds are onto us, so I'm shutting her down. This was our final night of the rodeo. But what will I do now? This is all I ever know. You're our best fighter, Bulgy. You'll find your way. <laughs> you know what? I heard this rumor about an international fight tournament starting soon. <laughs> Fuck you. That's it. I think that's the end. I don't know if anything more happens. Yeah, I think that that's all there is to do in this game. Yeah, that's the bulgy muscles game. The one. Can we get no yacht? Yeah, we got no yacht. Oh, yeah. A big empty pool. How did Bulgy get a game, but not Wafuru? <laughs> I mean, this was this was a very Bulgy-oriented game. I think this was good. It's the right tone for the character. <laughs> okay this i do not believe is intentional but it's something that we need to develop we found something here <laughs> make her flop over it you can't they will always stare at you at a 90 degree angle Maybe not. Not when she's in a mobile uh, object. Yeah, I'm not sure we're even punching her, really. It seems like she's kind of just dodging every hit. <laughs> but, okay, all right. Some physics are applied to this object in the game, right? That what we just witnessed has to be in part intentional. She's not acting like a box, you know, that just has some texture applied to it. She isn't being hit. She's clearly leaping out of the way with cat-like dexterity. Yeah, yeah, there's no sound effect. So maybe there's just just in case you somehow push the grandma into the ring, she cannot be punched. <laughs> it's like a normal character like this, you cannot move and you can definitely not punch. You can only punch in the ring in the training area. Same with these beans, you cannot push the beans. Take grandma to shippy. Oh. <laughs> All right. Did 
does telekinesis work? I didn't even try. No. Telekinesis does not work on Grandma. Oh, what? I didn't try within the ring. My bad. I should have tried within the ring. You can't use telekinesis outside of the ring and the battle with dark shippy dudes. But yeah, if she could be used as a projectile in the dark shippy dudes fight, how great would that be? Just being able to pick up grandma? We gotta send this image to the person who made this. <laughs> is this grandma an unlockable secret character in Bruised Egos? I believe her death is part of uh, Bulgy Muscle's backstory. They're in chat? Oh, who is it? Who made this? Turtle Sassy? Turtle is Sassy. Was this intended, Turtle is Sassy? Follow the fence? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing along the fence. OMG, I'm dying. <laughs> I didn't expect this. Okay, we know now. That the grandma becoming immovable. Really? Even the way she dodges your punches in the ring, that's not an intended design thing? Nope. Oh man, it just works out perfectly then. That is a that's the true definition of a bug being a feature. She learned that herself. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, uh oh. Can we escape the No, I don't think we can. I'm like, is this something? This is not actually not something. I don't think we can get very far from there. We must dispose of the EXE at once. I'm saving this. My hard drive will die with this game on it. Yeah, so we went I think we went the entire span of the chain link fence. I don't think I don't think there's any of the secrets left in this. We should just leave these two with each other. <laughs> what was this made in? I'm curious, actually. Oh, Unity. This was Unity as well, actually. It's sick, dude. It's really cool. Oh, damn. Is he still playing submissions? Still playing submissions. We have a lot more to go. So we're going to be playing more on Friday. And honestly, it's going to be most of Friday's stream with what we have left. If you go to the training room, there's a move you didn't try. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll check that out. So is it while holding something with telekinesis, hold down left mouse? No, okay, we've done that. Bring grandma. Do you mean this? Oh, I am punching the box. Show grandma your new moves. Oh, chat. She's fine. She's doing drugs with dark shippy dudes now. Yeah, we made it through two thirds, basically, of the games today. You grab people and punch them. Oh, like I did grab that bean. Got it. If you do that to an enemy, it can kill them. Do you remember I grabbed a bean and I was like, how did I do that? I understand now. 
Huh, can you grab the final boss? Can you grab grandma and punch her? Chat, I'm gonna let you find out on your own if you can grab grandma and punch her. <laughs> I'm afraid that's an experiment I'm not willing to indulge. <laughs> not the boss, just the small enemies. Cool, 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 cool. That's cool, actually. That, that's a good thing for, uh... Bulgy. That's a good bulgy move, basically. Can you grab Shippy? Oh, I wonder if you can grab Dark Shippy Doos. Probably not. No bosses. No grabbing bosses. Smile for the YouTube thumbnail. Oh, I mean, YouTube auto-generates my, um... Twitch... Uh, thumbnails. And it only picks from, like, the first, like, three or four minutes. So, almost never do they have anything to do with the game that we're streaming. And just look at the first, like, two or three minutes. Like, here's a picture of him smiling. Do you like this? I'm like, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Mostly tech and video reel, <laughs> yeah. All right, chat. So, right, we made it for, through two-thirds of the game games essentially we got some big long ones still um so yeah i think a big chunk of friday stream will be playing the rest i'm going to maybe extend the voting period even more to next wednesday um because yeah I'm, I'm realizing now that like to play these all of these games there's so many um we got to give you some time talk about how to judge you will need an itch.io account but then if you go to the bruised egos game jam entries uh you should be able to give them stars for each of the three categories that we judge games in um this music will haunt my dreams <laughs> it's officially my birthday on the east coast now can i get a happy birthday yep happy birthday Esther. good job game devs yeah every game we played so far has been unique and fun we have some good stuff today. And I'm happy that, shoot, both of the games that were dead ends for me, or three, there were three games I soft locked that we got to play through entirely today. That was really cool. I'm happy those worked out. By the way, I'm also working on an indie game called Hamster Scramble. So if anyone wants to check that out, that'd be cool. Abopo, you gotta link stuff like that. You gotta toss in a link. Is it also a puzzle game? Yeah, I guess you're right. When it's ready, send the link. <laughs> Fair enough. Oop. There's my start menu. Is that the monkey ball one? I don't think so. Steam page. Let me look at that. Close the spike capture. Bali Baba, thanks for being a brand new subscriber. Oh, it's like a uh, bubble bobble. Hamster scramble. This is sick. Planned release date 2021. Get it out. <laughs> I'm glad that you were able to work on something like that in the meantime. That's cool. Somebody make a game Kyle can push more things around and he loves it. Isn't that true? I just love pushing things. That is that is when I truly had the most fun. Um, uh, with uh, Perfect Dark was the end when I was just throwing knives into a cube and then shoving that cube around the base. Praise all the submissions. Yeah, it's such a fun day. Really, really good stuff today. Fun stream. Um, 
Yeah, apologies for not planning better. You know? That I even was so naive to believe that we would play through all the games today, but I'm I'm happy with our new plan. I think there got to be a point where I was like, dude, you like I gotta just keep playing these games. We just can't cut off each game after a half hour. It seems rude. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more. There's a game project I've been working on for months, and this game jam helped me to fail fast when working on my entry. It pushed me to actually try a lot more and not fear failure. Even for devs working on something, this jam was awesome. Thanks, Veritas. It's interesting. That stuff's interesting to read. Is it storming outside your apartment? Yeah. Out my window, it looks exactly the same as that Shippy Dudes game. <laughs> Sorry, that Bulgy Muscles game. <laughs> Leave this audio going throughout the robot party? Okay, I will. We'll have a stormy robot party. All the games today were magical. All of them are so inspiring. Yeah, I think that's a nice way to say that, too. So, so different. So, so, so different. And, man, the games that we got lined up for Friday, too, are also so different. Friday, I mean, like, we got some wild stuff coming up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff happening Friday, too. Um, if you update your game and it's one of those that we haven't streamed, feel free to send me an email. I think somebody did while we were streaming already. Uh, just be like, hey, Kyle, there's a new update, so check that out. Uh, so we play the best possible version. But uh, it's okay also to update, even if we already played yours, so that judges can log in and play the updated versions as they're judging through the games. Start earlier on Friday? Uh, I don't like to change up my schedule when it's locked in, but it's not a bad idea, Dan Tooby. I'll think about that. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to start earlier on Friday. Please don't start earlier. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll stick with the time that's always locked in then. You owe yourself some Easter time? What does that mean? We have 102 ratings completed. Wow. Easter is one Sunday. There you go. Little holiday action. <laughs> I live spring break 24 seven, baby. To hunt some eggs. We did some egg hunting today. I'm glad that we, uh, I'm glad that we did the, uh, dark shippy dues fight of the knife game. The Izzle knife platformer. Izzle's quest. We easily could have missed that. Six hours is going to be enough? Yeah, today's stream was eight hours. Today's, today's stream was eight hours and we got through two-thirds of our list. Three-fifths. We got through three-fifths of our list. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten left. Okay, we got it. Oh, man. <laughs> Friday stream. Friday's stream is going to be pretty stacked. So we did 13 or 14 today. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. We might have to start early on Friday. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll make a plan. I'll tweet about it. What my plan is right now to stick with six, but we might go late. I think we're probably just going to go late. 
And I think that there's probably no Star Wars that's going to happen on Friday, if we're being realistic. Did I hear that Balan only sold around 2,100 copies? Worldwide or just in Japan? I think I had seen a Japanese sales headline, but I don't think I'd seen that kind of number for worldwide. 2,100 in Japan physical. Yeah, that's okay. That's a, you know, kids are all digital these days. There's plenty of four-year-olds who are downloading the digital version of Balan Wonderworld. <laughs> Did Disco Elysium get bumped again at Star Wars on Friday now? There's no Star Wars. If we're being honest, there's no Star Wars on Friday. Disco Elysium, for the record, wasn't on the schedule. When I was making the schedule, I was like, man, I'd rather play Star Wars than Disco Elysium. But, uh, yeah, we'll figure out our schedule next week. Why no Star Wars? Because we got 10 more games to play through. Some of them are kind of short. Some of them are kind of short. It's possible. It's possible that we could get through them. We'll see. We'll see what we can pull off, chat. I've performed many miracles on this Twitch platform. Star Wars is getting the Hamtaro treatment. <laughs> No one will ever forget the 20 burgers I consumed. Yeah, that was wild. Many said that would kill you. Or at least incapacitate you for at least a week. And... The second thing happened. Did Hamtaro arrive yet? No. No, there's no way that's going to get here on Monday. That's the difference of ordering stuff on eBay versus Amazon, right? Oh, chat. I gotta share this text message, and then we're gonna bid adieu. Hello, neighbors. We've recently received complaints about the smell of marijuana in your building's hallway and surrounding homes. As a result, this is a friendly reminder that the use of any illegal sub substances is prohibited in our community. Who's telling? <laughs> Who's calling up the office? <laughs> Is marijuana illegal in North Carolina? It must be. I wouldn't think it would be, but it, it, it must be. Someone that hates the smell. Chat. Marijuana doesn't smell good. I don't like the smell of marijuana. But it's not like poop. It's not like eggs. It's not a... It's not something that's like... Disturbing. How bad it smells. I don't love it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, 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 it smells like, ooh, oh, okay. But it's not gonna, like, you can still enjoy the food that you're eating. It... I prefer cigarette smell to weed smell. Can I be honest with you? Me too. Well, I guess I haven't really smelled an apartment that smells like cigarette smoke. I think that can get really bad. If somebody, if you've, if you're like visiting a relative who smoked in their house for a long time, that could be the nastiest smell. I found it hard to work when my neighbor was smoking weed, so glad I moved. Huh. All right. I guess, to me, it's just, uh, 
So I guess if it's illegal in North Carolina, it is what it is. But like, what a funny thing to like call into the office about. Excuse me, the hallway smells like marijuana. They're not going to stop. <laughs> who's who's going to stop because of that text message you just got on a Wednesday night? <laughs> Medical is legal and is decriminalized in North Carolina. Okay. I had to do this in college because my upstairs neighbors would smoke and it gave me migraines coming through the vents. Huh. We got an email from our building telling people to stop complaining about noise. That's the thing, logic error. I wrote several emails to my old landlord about the noise my neighbors would make. <laughs> you can stink up you can stink up the hallways with your weed smoke all day, and I'm not going to go write a complaint. If you have band practice, I'm going to raise hell. I'll take smell over noodling any day, exactly. <laughs> the Rock Dog neighbors. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to be rid of them. I'm so glad to have them not be in my life anymore. They're in someone else's life now. You know better. That was toward the end. That was when they did know better. They had been talked to. <laughs> you don't write them? I don't know what their faces look like. <laughs> For two people who lived in my mind as much as they did, I never knew what their faces looked like. <laughs> you have to draw them now? I couldn't I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm pretty sure one had very shaved head, a very like a not bald shaved, but like very, very short hair. And I think one had long curly hair, but there is no way. If they walked into my apartment and said, hey, it's us, would I recognize who they are? There's no way I would know. It's so weird. They'd have to start noodling. You're so right. If they noodled, I'd be like, that's them. In the police lineup, it would have to be noodling. Is noodling sex? No, uh, noodling on the guitar. So that's what would happen is they would never really play a song. They would just improvise guitar music really loud and poorly it wouldn't it wouldn't be something like jazz it was basically someone learning how to skipping to solos narrow p thanks for being a four month or here's to having bad neighbors it's like i want to be a rock god i'm not learning chords <laughs> i'm skipping to solos baby <laughs> CK Warrior of Light, thanks for being a nine monther. Oh, it was it would be so annoying. It'd be so annoying. And then when there's two of them and they're not even playing the same song together, it'd be it'd be the worst. It'd be the worst. But at some points they would have actual band practice where they're like trying to play songs. The Queens in the Stone Age song. The no one knows song. All day long. They just they weren't good. Um, let us end the stream here. Hope to see you all Friday. We're not going to start early. We're going to get the, the last 10 games in six hours. We're going to do it. I love that song. I don't hate that song. I really hated their performance. Um, 
speedrun strats. You know I got them. I got strats for these games. Better practice for that speedrun. Maybe I can download them again and do some practice. Um, Alright, chat. Thank you so much for hanging out for the stream. I really appreciate everybody who's in chat who's talking a bunch uh, to make the creators feel appreciated too. I'm sure they'd appreciate it more than you can realize, you know? To have an audience uh, watch your stuff live is pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah, everybody. every Everything every, everything everybody did today was very, very appreciated. Not just by myself, but, but I'm sure to the creators who hopped in as well too. All right. So long. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. Tie your shoe. It's a robot party. Pet the dog. It's a robot.